capacity crowd, better than 17,000 on hand as the Bulls edge of their all-time attendance record. This the 189th straight shutout at Chicago Stadium. And now Magic posting and got it out for Worthy, who beat Pippen. And at least on that move, the ankle looked fine. Lakers with a 2-0 lead. From time to time, we'll see Phil Jackson use what he calls escort pressure. Pivots to the left-hand hook to give the Lakers a 4-1 lead. Minute and a half gone by. Now Scott on Jordan. Here's Cartwright. Yes. Lakers 4, the Bulls 3. And Worthy went to the left hand. The Bulls looking to run. Jordan from deep. Yes. The Bulls take a 5-4 lead. And immediately Phil Jackson signals to the defense, move up, move up, find the ball, and only put pressure on him. Nice move by Perkins. He was able to get the step on Cartwright. Lakers get back, Pippen on the move. Perkins protecting. Three on two for the Lakers. Scott, yes. And the Lakers now lead by the score of 8-5. The Chicago Bulls have won 15 straight home playoff games. The last home playoff loss to Detroit last June the 2nd. A year ago to the day, Perkins. And the Lakers off to the good shooting start and jumped in front by the score of 10-5. Ebots going Here's Jordan. Lakers 10 and the Bulls 7. Well, Paxson turned his head. He was caught on a mismatch and Worthy able to take advantage. Lakers 12 and the Bulls 7. Open shot for Worthy. Good luck from Scott. It is Byron Scott opening against Michael Jordan. Jordan able to blow right by. We'll have to see how long Mike Dunleavy stays with the matchup of Byron Scott. There is one school of thought as you see Worthy position for the turnaround. And he's off to the fast start. Four for six. Eight points. Jordan battling for the rebound and fires again. Lakers by four. But Byron and Scott shouldn't feel too bad because there are a lot of guys that have lost sleep the night before playing against Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan, four out of seven, nine points. Again, a post-up move by Perkins. Beautifully done by Sam Perkins. He had Horace Grant at his mercy. Bad pass saved by Cartwright. Oh, what a pass from Jordan. And Scotty Pippen cuts it down to four. Paxson off the steal. Here's Jordan for Pippen, rejected by Devox. But it will be Chicago ball. Jordan stepping off the pick and changed his mind. Here's Paxson. Yes. And the Bulls, in the midst of a roll, have come within two. Shot clock, down to three. Perkins from downtown, yes. Sam Perkins hits the three. And Worthy looking to post. Cartwright getting inside, lost it to Devots, and then was rejected. Here's Perkins. He threw the air ball. He had the new 24, may not have realized it. Paxson. Scott. And back come the Bulls. They're down by three. Pippen for Jordan. The Laker lead is one. Just under two minutes remaining. First quarter. Cartwright. Magic checking the shot clock. Three on two. Pippen. Oh, what a move by Scotty Pippen. The Bulls have taken a one-point lead. Jordan off the fake. And he is on fire. Jordan. Shot clock at five. Perkins from downtown. So Perkins with a second three-pointer. Six and three-tenths seconds to go in the quarter. What a pass from Jordan. One and five-tenths 
seconds to go. Now Worthy backing Grant. Shot clock is at five. He ran out of options and goes to the finger roll. What a move by James Worthy. The best option, perhaps. Put it in the basket. For two from Jordan. The Lakers are so tough because they will post any one of five people. Worthy with the post-up move and score right there. Phil Jackson was telling us at practice yesterday that the Lakers will try to lull you to sleep. Then they'll pick you apart. They have a, a way of frustrating the defense. They take so much time off the 24-second clock, and we've certainly seen that here in the first quarter. Worthy with another gorgeous move. Here's Hodges. Yes. The Lakers lead 41 36. Now Pippen taking Teagle down low. Yes, and it counts. Livingston with the rejection. Here's Armstrong. Yes. Magic delivering for Devots. Shot clock out of one. And a block by Pippen. It's a 24. Second violation. I wanted to travel, but Armstrong picked it off. It's a two on one. Here's Shot clock to two. So once again, the Lakers roll that shot clock all the way down. Six points for Devons. Here's Pippen. Scotty Pippen going glass. He has nine. Game tied at 49. Here's Armstrong, yes! E.J. Armstrong with a second field goal. Nice lead from Scott. And Perkins with 16 has brought the Lakers within two. A look away pass handled by Grant. Made the good catch, but under pressure not able to hit. Magic with the spin. The pass off the dribble of Devons. What a play. Magic Johnson with a seventh assist, setting up bloody Devons. And he's tying the game. And he saw Michael Jordan sitting back there trying to anticipate which way he was going. The eye fake left, that's right. Bill Cartwright providing a two-point lead. Cartwright. Here's Grant. Horace Grant with a second field goal, getting the good position. Back come the Lakers. Perkins getting down. Worthy recaptures and hits. The Lakers lead at 61-59. Scott doing a nice job on Jordan, cutting off the move to the left. Scotty Pippen off the recovery. He has 13, and the game is tied at, at 61. And they continue to use most of the shot clock, slowing the tempo down. Magic is able to convert, and that is his first field goal of the afternoon. Here's Jordan. Yes. Quick Levingston have played 10 minutes and played well in the, the first half has checked back in. Devots. Buddy Devots on the follow. It's the Lakers 65 and the Bulls 64. Paxson open. Yes. Paxson has hit three out of four. We approach two minutes to go in the third. And Worthy able to drill it home. Nice bounce back game for Worthy. Ailing in game six against Portland. Did not shoot well Thursday night. Scotty Pippen with 15 points. Magic backing Levingston. Pippen over to help. Freeing up Worthy. Yes. Well, Pippen looked to help out on Magic Johnson. And the Lakers took advantage. They lead 69-68. Here's Magic from downtown. Magic Johnson. Final seconds of the quarter. Magic for three. Yes! Magic Johnson again from downtown. Six-tenths of a second. And time has run out. Perkins posting up on Pippen. Does not want to commit number five. Went for the block, and he got it. Game two will take place here in Chicago Wednesday night. We'll be on hand starting 9 o'clock Eastern time. Game three of the four in Los Angeles next Friday. Game four in L.A. next Sunday night. Michael Jordan has 25. Jordan working against both Teagle and Drew. 
Livingston. Lakers now lead by three. Here's Devots. Lost it. He thought he was fouled. Armstrong. Chicago within one. Magic Johnson says that you turned the Lakers season around. Wait a moment. What, what did you tell Magic? I'm not allowed to tell you. It's a secret. And Michael Jordan has given the Bulls a 76-75 lead. Here's Perkins off the head fake. And back come the Bulls. Jordan with the pull up. The Chicago Bulls with a 78-75 lead. Devots. So Vladi Devots, who has had another solid performance, has tied it. And Jordan rejected. AC Green back on the floor for the Lakers. Patrick. Patrick Johnson, after the slow start, has come on strong. Here's Jordan. Yes. The game is tied at 80 with six minutes and 40 seconds to go in the fourth. In these last seven minutes of the fourth quarter, we'll try and keep an eye on how many times Michael Jordan is involved with the basketball and making the final decision with it, whether to shoot or pass off in the end. Oh, nice move by Worthy. Came up hobbling after hitting on the baseline drive. Lakers with a four-point lead. Jordan changed his mind and found Grant. He was able to hang and extend in mid-air. Jordan. Yes. And it counts. Pippen off the dribble. Yes. The jump shot has not been falling for Scotty Pippen, but it did at an opportune time right there. And he's given the Bulls an 89-86 lead. Perkins and Grant battling for position. Shot clock down to five. Here's Perkins. Yes. And the Chicago lead is one. Pippen played by Perkins. Changed his mind. Shot clock at six. Here's Pippen. And the foul called on the Lakers. He has not been a consistent free throw shooter, although he has improved in, in recent years, up to 71% for the season. Clutch foul shooting by Scottie Pippen. And it's the Bulls, 91. The Lakers, 89. Bulls by two. You see the clock running down. And Perkins goes for three. He's got it. He went for the shot from downtown to take the lead. Jordan is down in the paint, being guarded by Worthy. Pippen must get it, and he does. And here is Jordan. Three seconds remaining, and let's see what the call is. Jordan rimming the basket, the foul against Chicago. Right after this shot attempt, Jordan knows that he had it. He's not going to get much better chance. Disappointed in the fact that it rolled out. Right now, after this free throw attempt, no timeouts left. The Lakers need to jam the guy who takes it out so he doesn't get a chance to see on the long pass. Two-point Laker lead. Cartwright will toss it in. Here's Pippen from center court. He fires it. And he hit the back of the rim. And that is it. The Los Angeles Lakers steal game one from the Chicago Bulls. The Chicago Bulls admit that this is the biggest game of their basketball lives. And they control the opening tip. Here's Pippen off the fake on Worthy. And Grant pulling it away from Devon. Paxson around Perkins. And it's a goal pass. The basket counts. Perkins. And Devox is right there getting the good position. Here's Pippen getting it back out. And you get the idea that Michael is looking to dish it off here at the start. He is not looking for the shot opportunity. Worthy beating the Bulls down. And the Lakers take a 4-2 lead. Here's Cartwright at the step. 
and he's tied it at four. Spots off a beautiful feed by Magic. Something you've heard us mention a number of times, the hands of Vlade Divac, an excellent catch that time of a pass that actually was a little bit too long. What a pass from Jordan. And Grant has tied it at six. Grant coming over momentarily to help on Magic, who now is attempting to post up on Jordan. Jordan got the help, and Magic gave it up. He has Byron Scott open, and that is a three-pointer. Byron Scott did not get the shot opportunities in game one. Was only one for four from the field. Pippen off the steal. Fortunate, but he was not called for the turnover. And Cartwright has cut the Laker lead to 9-8. Jordan backing Scott. Yes. He hits on his first field goal attempt. The alley-oop did not work, but Cartwright is there to convert. Cartwright tried to lay it off for Jordan, thought he'd be cutting by. Thompson steps out on a switch, and Grant able to take the pass from Jordan. Shot clock at four. Evans backing Grant. Here's Worthy for three. Yes! So Worthy hits from downtown, and he has tied it at 14. Pippen and the lane closed. Here's Grant. Good defensive sequence by the Lakers. But Horace Grant looking to come back strong. He admitted that he was very nervous for game one on Sunday. Not happy with his play as we come up on five minutes left. First quarter. Well, Pippen went for the steal. And Worthy took advantage. And Grant did rotate on the baseline that time. Problem too late. Paxson providing an 18-16 lead. And you can see in this first quarter that Michael Jordan is Devots beating his man. And the game is tied at 18. No question that the Bulls' philosophy, though, is to get everyone involved. Jordan has attempted only one shot, and he hit it. Pippen on the reverse. And the Bulls have a 20-18 lead. Good look by Worthy, but Jordan over for the block. Here's Grant. Strong move on Divots by Horace Grant. Magic goes to the finger roll. Rebounded by Levinson. Cartwright from short. The Bulls in the midst of a run. What a pass by George. And a grin. The recipient was Horace Grant. Cartwright stripped. He had the step. Here's Byron Scott. And the Bulls now lead it by the score of 26-20. Well, here's Green for three. A.C. Green from three-point land. Three and seven tenth seconds to go. Shot clock down to five. Here's Grant. That was deflected short. And Magic out of the pack. Teagle with Hodges back for Johnson. Magic Johnson with his first field goal. The Lakers are so smart. They sense that this is their opportunity now to get back in and perhaps take the lead against Chicago's second unit. What a move by Horace Grant. And you saw he lost the goggles momentarily. Perkins easily around Purdue. And he served up a facial. Lakers have pulled within one. Here is Pippen. And the Bulls lead at 32-29. In previous years, the rap on Scottie Pippen was he could not hit the jumper, but he did come through in that department this season. And again, it is Perkins. So the Bulls lead by one. Shot clock at three. Purdue. Strong move by Will Purdue. Pippen remaining on Johnson. Evans. Magic gets it right back. Beautiful give and go. Paxson, yes. So the Bulls lead 36 35. Steal that time by Horace Grant. And Jordan got it right back. Grant could not hold on. Here's Devox. Lakers by one. Pippen had the mismatch. Found Jordan open. Here's Michael. And that is only his second field goal. Worthy posting. Here's Jordan. Over Scott. A 
again worthy with the shot clock running down that was just within two-point range michael jordan a quiet first half by design looking to get others involved now michael looking to break out and he has he's at four of six he has eight points Scott did a nice job in preventing that hard dribble move to the right, but Michael still able to go glass to score. Four in LA Sunday night at seven. That's four o'clock West Coast time. Perkins for three. Sam Perkins from downtown, and he's brought the Lakers within one. Perkins for three again. Hacks it open. Yes. The Bulls, 46, and the Lakers, 43. Again, a nice lead from Jordan, and Grant has been the beneficiary. He has 14. Grant, once again, Horace Grant locating the excellent position, and Pippen able to spot him. Perhaps because they were happy with the success as Magic backs up and goes for a three. He bites with the follow. Another strong game for Vladi Divac. The Bulls lead by five. Paxson on the pull-up. Yes! John Paxson has hit five for five from the field. Perkins. So Phil Jackson attempting to hide Jordan, who now has three. Now the Bulls looking for the goal attack. And Grant able to follow it. He has 18. The Bulls again by seven. Here's Worthy. James Worthy showing no ill effects from that sprained ankle. Front right, getting position on Perkins. It's the Bulls 56 and the Lakers 49. Oh, Magic penetrating and able to convert off the gorgeous move. That is only his second field goal. Michael Jordan. Yes. He has 12. Jordan feeling around for the defender, Scott, and he drew the foul. Well, he felt him. Physical game down low. Bulls like to post Jordan and make that defensive guard play those mind games. Here's Cartwright. The Chicago Bulls on a roll. Here's Worthy. So the Bulls now lead at 62. 53, 7.25 remaining in the third quarter. Jordan with the step and the bucket. The matchup remains. Pippen going up against Magic Johnson and Worthy catching fire now has 16. Magic Johnson and again complains he felt he was fouled. That's at least three, four times that Magic's turned to the official in the last six or seven minutes of play. Michael Jordan. Gives the Bulls an 11-point advantage. Here's Magic. Worthy. Yes. 18 for James Worthy. The Bulls 66. And the Lakers 57. Five and a half left. In the third. Jordan off the double fake. Paxson. Yes. And John Paxson has hit six. Six from the field. Jordan over Scott. Yes. Michael Jordan on fire. 18 points. He's hit his last eight. Here's Jordan. Yes. And it counts. Pippen off the weave. Played well by Johnson. Paxson open. Yes. He has hit seven of seven. One of the problems when you start switching on defense, you forget who you're guarding. You can't leave a Paxson alone. And suddenly the Chicago pressure providing problems for the Lakers. And here they come off the steal. They have the numbers. Devots remaining in the backcourt. Williams hits. The Bulls lead by 16 points. Devots hit on the reach in. And Divac and Williams have some word. Well, they call it a, a jump ball with Paxson able to tie it up. Here's Pippen. 
The Bulls have exploded here in the third. Magic Johnson with 10 points. However, in a situation that has developed here with the Chicago Bulls now up by 14, Lakers have to get the shots up a little bit more frequently than the other day. Paxson again. Make an eight for eight for John Paxson. When Jordan scored the uh, 46, that was the uh, the one loss in the series for the Sixers. Jordan again. He has 24. Half minute to go in the third. Jordan finding Pippen. It's the Bulls 86 and the Lakers 69. Magic getting it down low to Devons. Buddy Devon. With a good catch, he now has 16. Michael Jordan, yes. Make it 12 for 14, 26 points. And here's Jordan going for 12. He's got it, 12 straight field goals from Michael Jordan. A.C. Green. The Lakers only one for 10 from the floor. And the four, Pippen on the alley. We said last game when Michael Jordan's tongue is out, something bad's going to happen to the opposition. Once again, the tongue out. There's the bad thing right there. Here's Jordan giving it up. Pippen. Yes. Oh, they are unconscious. Green. AC continues to fire away. He's now one for nine. The look away to Levingston. Jordan. Oh, a spectacular move by Michael Jordan. That's 13 consecutive field goals. Looks like Michael Jordan is trying to find a way to miss his shot. Instead of taking the easy one, he tries to make it hard and still comes up. He said it to the fans, I love it. The tongue is out. Something bad. Michael Jordan taking off for the deuce. It almost looked as if he remembered the slam dunk competition from a few years ago. It starts out with the flying one-hander. It says, no, 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 I used that one already to win the slam dunk. Let me change up and entertain a little bit right now. Woo! He liked it himself. Bill Jackson, I kind of like having that guy on my team. Scott Williams. An observer, and he can't believe it. Michael Jordan has hit his last 13 field goal attempts. During the course of regular season play, Will Chamberlain once went 15 for 15 in a game against the LA Lakers. That was back in January of 67. That was in one game, 15 for 15. Jordan has not been perfect as he missed two early. Worthy now has 22 on the Bulls with a 97-73 lead. Jordan, yes. Well, he had the audacity to miss one shot, and he comes right back. He is 15 for 18 for 33 points, and he's hit 14 of his last 15. The tip by Magic Johnson. The Chicago Bulls with a burst and the third quarter, sparked by Jordan. Here's Pippen. The Bulls now lead 101-77. Lakers spreading it out, looking for a shot, and still not able to locate one green. And he hits from downtown. AC was one for nine prior to that shot. I'm sure Chicago will live with that. Their defense was very, very good in game one. It's been even better in game two. Tenacious, aggressive, the entire evening. Horace Grant has had a, a splendid game. He's 10 for 13, 20 points. Livingston off, off the steal. And Scotty Pippen extends to a 25-point ball. The Chicago Bulls have tied the series at one and one. They have defeated the Los Angeles Lakers by the score of 107 to 86. Two in Chicago Wednesday night. The Bulls in a blowout, 107-86, sparked 
by Jordan. Overall, 15 of 18 from the field, and at one point, he hit 13 in a row. The Bulls control the tip. Magic guarding Jordan, who's able to convert on his first field goal attack. And the question is answered immediately. Michael Jordan picking up Magic Johnson in the backcourt, pressuring him out here. And I, I would think that Phil Jackson will play it the same way. Start Jordan on him and then change somewhere along the line. Nice fake by Divac, who has come up strong in the playoffs. Jordan goes to the hoop. On the back tap, Pippen keeps it alive. Here is Paxson. Oh, he is on fire, eight for eight. The other night in Chicago, Michael Jordan picking up the early fouls and going up against Magic Johnson the other night. Scotty Pippen did a terrific job against Magic. Worthy. Yes. Game tied at four. Magic checking the floor, looking for the break, did not see it. Magic spinning and then dumping off to Devon. It counts and the foul. Cartwright. Not the touch he was looking for, but Grant is right there. Lakers lead it by the score of 7-6. Here's Grant. And now we see Byron Scott bringing the ball up the floor against the pressure. He'll make the entry pass in, treating Scott almost as the point guard now, and Magic as the off guard posting up down low. Magic looking to get into it offensively early. That's his first field goal. Lakers lead by three. Paxson. Yes. John Paxson again. Lakers with a one-point lead. Now Worthy posting Pippen. Oh, a clean shot. Worthy able to go glass, and he's extended to a three-point lead. Lakers have hit five of five from the field. Grant taking advantage of the overplay by Divots. But the Lakers have a much different mindset now on offense than they had in game two. They understand that the ball will be taken out of Magic's hands. The next person who catches the pass from Magic must advance it, take it up the floor, and then get him into their offense. Worthy angling for the excellent position against Pippen. Magic spinning and hitting. Beautiful move by Magic Johnson, and Jordan hits from long range. His second field goal, he's two out of five. Nice ball movement, Paxson locating Pippen, taking advantage of the Lakers double teaming. Here is Byron Scott, a rare instant of daylight for Scott. Jordan from downtown. Michael Jordan with a three-pointer. Again, Magic looking to put a move on Jordan. The help came over, and Magic able to find Perkins. And that's the second man. Divac is the first option when he flashes across. If he's taken by a defensive player on the rotation, then the second man, Perkins, flashes right in behind him. Here's Jordan. Yes. Well, Michael Jordan getting off fast in this first quarter, which is not necessarily a good sign. Nice pass and worthy. Able to complete the play to tie the game at 21. Magic Johnson. Perkins actually intercepted that pass. But Worthy able to hit. Shot clock down at five. Three. Jordan. Yes. Michael Jordan with a fadeaway. The shot clock was down at two. The game is tied at 23. Scott was stripped. Jordan recovers. Lakers were looking for a foul. Oh, nice give and go. And Grant in perfect position. Michael uh, said to me that he felt that the Lakers were trying to motivate themselves off the taunting. Here is Magic. Yes! That was just within two-point range. Again, a strong inside move by Horace Grant. He is now five for six from the field. The game tied at 27. Devots getting great position against Purdue. Lakers certainly not discouraged about the way the Bulls are defending against the post up here in the first half. No, they were prepared in the first quarter. Seven post up opportunities, five times they scored for 10 points. Scotty Pippen with his second field goal. Worthy tipping it to Tebow. Oh, terrific 
play by Worthy to recover on the pass that was overthrown. Magic threw the double team momentarily. Uh, he feels it. Magic feels the touch. Jordan drawing the double team, able to get it to Livingston. Cliff Livingston going glass for his first field goal. And the Lakers lead by two. Hot right. Feeling for Perkins. And he felt him on that bump, but able to hit. Cartwright's first field goal, and he's tied the game at 33. Perkins, Green, and the Lakers lead at 35-33. Grant, yes, beautiful move by Horace Grant, who is now 6 for 8 for 12 points. Evots battling his way against Pippen, and that hits. Bloody Devon showing the outside touch. Bulls trapping Magic, who was able to get it across the midcourt line. Perkin. Oh, what a move. Five minutes remaining. And the first half, Lakers with a three-point lead. Pippen off the stutter step. Yes. Scotty Pippen with his third bucket. He has six. Worthy for three. Perkins missed the tip. And the Bulls back to the offense. Levingston, yes, a rare jump shot opportunity by Levingston. And he has had himself a very nice first half offensively, hit on a sweeping shot, and now the jumper. And, and you can see the confidence that Michael Jordan has built in Levingston. Two steal right there by Chicago. Jordan twice in a row, dishing to Levingston for scores. And Michael Jordan converts. He has 13. The Bulls lead by three. Magic. Go, 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 go. Backing Pippen and then spinning. Rejected emphatically by Levingston. A steal by Devons. It's a three on two. Worthy with the one on one move. Yes. Bulls 43 and the Lakers 41. Worthy freed up. Perkins. Sam Perkins ties the game at 43. Scott off the steal. Finds Worthy. Beautifully done. By Byron Scott, he drew Michael Jordan to him. Evans getting inside, he now has 11. Jordan off the double team, got it back out. Pippen, yes. Bulls 50 and the Lakers 49. Saved by Pippen. Jordan, Jordan on the rebound. Perkins putting the move on Cartwright. Stepped away, perhaps not looking to pick up number four. Magic posting. Oh, what a pass for Devots. Beautiful backdoor pass. Devots from Johnson. Crowd looking for a foul on Pippen, who plays Magic aggressively. What a pass. Perkins converting to give the Lakers a 57. 54 lead. Devots off the spin. Same matchup in game two, except the Lakers didn't go to it on a consistent basis. There's the second time in a row this evening. Perkins with the rejection. Lakers on a roll. They lead by five. Magic Johnson. Yes. Stacy King has not seen much action during the course of the playoffs. Making his first appearance of this game in his second year out of Oklahoma and now guarding Perkins who whips by him. Just looking a little bit like the way game two started to open up at the stadium. Around a three to five point lead for the Bulls. Then midway through that third quarter, they exploded to the big lead. What a pass! Magic Johnson combining with Bloody Devons. And Phil Jackson wants to talk it over again. Jackson getting in. And that ends the 12-0 run by the Lakers. Oh, a guard, guard, brush, screen. Yeah. I was going to uh, use the same terminology. Again, Devots, who has hit six for six in the third. Rent drawing the double team. Paxson shooting. And he got the friendly roll. John Paxson has eight points. 
Worthy. Perkins. Sam Perkins with the finger roll rebound. That's time remaining in the quarter. Pippen with the step and the bucket. Beautiful move by Scotty Pippen. Hodges, quick spot up by Craig Hodges. Michael is only seven for 19. But as the opposition knows, always dangerous down the stretch. Caught right. Yes. So the Bulls have now come within two. The block by Livingston once again. That is his third for the game. Beautiful look away. Jordan for Pippen. And the game is tied at 74. Shot clock at six. Magic. Lakers, 76. And the Bulls, 74. Cartwright has returned. Cartwright up front with Pippen and Livingston. Jordan and Hodges in the backcourt. Livingston getting inside, and he's tied the game at 76. Bulls by two. Here's Perkins. He recovers. Lakers and Bulls tied at 78. Jordan regrouping. And then fires. Yes. And that is his first field goal in quite a spell. He now has 21 points. Steal right there. Pippen on the break. Pippen. Oh, what a move by Scotty Pippen. That was a Tim Hardaway move. As we come up on five minutes remaining in the fourth, Jordan only two for eight from the field in the second half. Here is Michael. Rebounded by Levingston. Cliff Levingston continues to sparkle. Eight points, three blocked shots. Bulls have a four-point lead. Worthy. Bulls thought that Worthy should have been called for the charge as Levingston went down. Worthy, yes. Lakers and Bulls tied at 84. Has uh, Phil Jackson gone with Michael Jordan too much tonight? He's played all but uh, one minute. He's uh, sitting him down right here. And uh, he's also had to go up defensively against Magic Johnson. Meanwhile, Scotty Pippen with a brilliant drive. He has 19. Grant. Again, strong to the board. Combination of Livingston and Pippen. Grant had it knocked away by Perkins. Magic spinning in. The Chicago lead is one. Here's Jordan. Did not have the shot. Paxson does. And Pippen gets the new 24. Pippen shooting. And again, it's Pippen on the loose ball with a minute 10 remaining in the fourth. Jordan saw the opening. Horace Grant with 18 points. And he's extended to a three-point Chicago lead. Just under one minute remaining in the fourth. Shot clock at six. Perkins. Yes. Back to a one-point lead. Lakers have the two timeouts, but they're moving down. They are trailing by one. 20 seconds to go. 14 on the shot clock. Going for the game winner. Divots fumbled it, recovered, and hit. Yes, and it counts. You've heard him say it a number of times, but Vlade Divac has great hands. He actually loses it, gets it back, possession of it away from Jordan, and then has the ability to concentrate, finish and says, oops, I actually made that one. Chicago calling its final timeout. The Bulls do not have any timeouts remaining. Craig Hodges, the three-point specialist, has checked in. Here's Jordan. On the pull-up, yes! And the game is tied at 92 with three and four tenths seconds remaining. Divots, Jordan knocked it away, Scott got it off, and we go to overtime. Magic dumped it off, Worthy could not handle. Back come the Bulls.
Patrick Johnson slow to get up. Hickson throws it home. Magic was in a collision at the other end, shaken up, but looks to be all right. Two-point lead for Chicago. Campbell getting inside. The series tied at one. This game three of the best of seven. NBA championship series. Here's Jordan. Yes! Michael Jordan hitting on the driving reverse to give his club a 96-94 lead. The spin by Jordan and hits on the reverse. Michael saving it for overtime. Two key buckets. And the Bulls lead at 98-96. Shot clock down to three. Perkins to the hook. And the rebound snatched by Jordan. Michael Jordan for a Horace Grant. And the Bulls lead 100 to 96. Out of 45 seconds to go in overtime. Magic from downtown. And Jordan able to field it. That Laker sequence, not what Mike Dudley had in mind. Now they were trying to get the uh, quick step back by the screener for the three-point shot who was Sam Perkins. Couldn't get it. Now Jordan's just going to run the clock until he gets a good shot for himself or for a teammate. 24 second clock is at three. Grant launches and hits. When it's going good, it's going good. Horace Grant who has come up big the last two games, makes it 9 of 11 from the field for 22 points. And time running out on the Lakers. Final seconds of the overtime. Drew, Chicago Bulls have returned the favor, beating the Lakers at the four. 75 degree day in Southern California. The crowd still filing into the form in Inglewood for game four of the best of seven. NBA final series. Patrick Johnson finding the opening, and he's given the Lakers a 2-0 lead. Here's Pippen, and the game is tied at two. Morris Grant opening up against Lonnie Divots in the mismatch. Pippen stopped by Divots. Magic goes the distance. Divots for the rebound. Yes, and it counts. Paxson, yes. John Paxson, not a factor in the previous series against Detroit, has been shooting extremely well against the Lakers. Here's Grant. And Pippen able to recover. Paxson open. Yes. And that's a three-pointer for John Paxson, who has given the Bulls a 7-5 lead. Rebounded by Perkins. Good box out by Sam Perkins. Magic off the spin. Able to find Divac. Bill Cartwright has not been able to get going in this series. But that time, a beautiful fadeaway move from deep along the baseline. And the Bulls have taken a 9-7 lead. Worthy finding Divac. The game tied at 9. Cartwright feeling for Perkins. Getting the good possession. So Bill Cartwright getting off early here this evening. Jordan off the head fake. Yes. Michael Jordan with his first field goal attempt. Now getting impatient. And Devox once again able to get the step. Cartwright. Yes. Bill Cartwright, three for three from the field. Worthy. But there was some good things that happened right there. The pass into the post actually took place with 18 seconds remaining on the 24 second clock. They had plenty of time to swing at weak side. Grant getting inside. He's been doing that throughout the series. That is first field goal today. Perkins was able to get to the rebound, knocked away from him. And James Worthy with his first field goal. So the Bulls lead it by the score of 17-13. Here's Grant from deep. Horace Grant hitting from all angles. Jordan. 
Yes, it counts, but he came up hobbling. If they're going to force him baseline, you've got to rotate sooner. Sam Perkins waits. It's too late under the basket with Jordan attacking the way he does. Worthy posting. Pippen right with him. And Worthy able to line drive at home. Bulls 22, Lakers 15. Grant from Pippen. Divox with the reject. Here's the problem right now. Once the Lakers give it up, they've got to get it into a scoring area quicker. Just like that, into Worthy down low for the quick turnaround. Ivan stepping out against Jordan. Cartwright. Bill Cartwright wide open. Michael Jordan found him. AC Green. Green had it slapped away. Ivan with the recovery. Lakers trail by three with just under three minutes remaining. Worthy beating Jordan on the overplay. Jordan went for the steal. He gambled. Here's Scott, and he cannot buy one. He thought he was fouled, but Green is right there. A.C. Green, who provided a spark on several occasions in the previous series against Portland, has done just that here. In the first quarter, Grant again getting inside. And the Bulls lead by one. Bulls with the ball, down by one. Here's Williams. Nice move. Ebots got caught in the air that time. Did not want to commit the foul. As a result, just kind of backed off as he came back down. Williams snuck it up in there for the score. And that shot by Cheagle went short. Jordan at the other end, able to hit. Here's Drew. Williams off the boards. Both clubs have gone cold. Pippen for Hodges. Yes. And that was just within two-point range. Here's Armstrong. And B.J. Armstrong has given the Bulls a 35-32 lead. A.C. Green went to the left hand and then rebounds and had it knocked away. Hodges with the opening. Yes. Craig Hodges, known for his streak shooting, able to bury that shot from the tough angle. Shot clock running down to the Bulls. Jordan gets it off, and Michael Jordan now has nine points, despite the jam toe, and you can see he's a bit on the gimpy side. 18 field goals for Chicago, only 11 for Los Angeles, very similar to the first game, where Chicago had eight more field goals. Devots. Getting the good position. He has 13 points. Jordan around Devons. Tremendous ball movement by Chicago. They really trust each other, believe in each other. They know where they're supposed to be on the floor and take advantage of it. Here's Worthy. Kevin got a piece of it. Devons to the reverse. After a complete swing rotation of the basketball, they wind up with Debots trying to move out on Jordan. Just a mismatch there. No way Vladi can guard him off the dribble. This is all a result of the Bulls offense and ball movement getting it to the weak side to take advantage of that situation. Jordan off the dribble versus the center in the opposition. John Paxson returning, replacing Craig Hodges. Pippen. The Lakers missed timing. Off the battle, here's Jordan going left to beat Scott. Pippen missed the tip. And the Bulls now bouncing back off the boards after the Lakers have the advantage in the first quarter. You can really see the difference in quickness that time. Jordan again off the dribble to the basket and foul. Here's Cartwright. Bulls able to get back. Magic. Yes. And it counts. Jordan changed his mind. Levingston eluding Worthy. It's all going in for Cliff Levingston. A five for five on Friday night. Just under three minutes remaining. In the second, Jordan. Levingston. Yes. Cliff Levingston extending to a 10-point Chicago lead. Magic on the recovery. Very offensive-minded Magic Johnson, who now has 13 points. Magic facing the double team, getting it out to Worthy. It counts, and the foul. Michael Jordan fires, yes! And the horn! A 52% has really hurt you. How can you stop him defensively? 
Well, you know, we've made a few mistakes on rotations and which way we're coming to the ball and it's allowed them to get in for some layups. Nice pass from Jordan, and Grant extends to a 56-44 lead. They double up on Magic. Shot clock down to five. Here's Scott with the open shot. Yes! And the Lakers would love to see Byron Scott get started off that jump shot. The Bulls now lead by 10. The result of Chicago going for the steal, missing the best look that Scott's had in the basket in a long time. He had missed his previous 10, but Scotty Pippen with the answer. Perkins backing Grant. Shot clock at two. Patrick Johnson going to the hook. Paxson shooting. John Paxson has hit three out of four. Grant. Horace Grant has been living in perfect position throughout the series. Crowd getting a little restless with the Lakers as Perkins goes to the spin. And finally able to connect. Perkins. Well, the Lakers continue to have their shooting problems. Grant again. Beautiful lead on the hop thrown by Pippen. Pippen lost it. Good play by Scott. Call. Bulls wanted a charge. Worthy. Phil Jackson jumping up along with assistant coaches. Jim Clemens and Johnny Bach very upset. One of the offensive foul. Oh, Grant rejecting Devons. And here comes Jordan. And he's grabbed by Johnson. Uh, Magic did not want to face Michael coming down one on one. To get him posterized, perhaps. Remember the talk of a contest between the two as Jordan is able to drill it home for a 66-52 lead. Here's Scott. Well, Byron Scott with his second field goal. Bulls lead 66-54. Paxson from deep. John Paxson in game two hit eight of eight from the field. Opened up game three hitting his first two. And thus far tonight, four for seven. The Bulls severely outplaying the Lakers in the second quarter. Same story here in the third. Devons has 17 points. He is the high man for the Los Angeles Lakers. Jordan to the fadeaway. Oh, he hit the back of the rim as he saw Devots approaching. Jordan. He beat Teagle off the dribble and then was able to spin Devots. Patrick Johnson opening up. The fourth quarter, the crowd urging the Lakers on. They now trail 74 to 60. Here's Teagle. Devos. It's a 12-point Chicago lead. Craig Hodges back. And Michael Jordan in the backcourt. Scotty Pippen, Cliff Levingston, and Scott Williams up front. Levingston played by Devos. Pippen lost to Teagle with the steal. Important sequence for the Lakers. Magic. Yes! And it counts. Perkins for three. He cannot buy one. Make it one for 13 for Sam Perkins. Has changed his shot completely now. He's on the run before he releases the basketball. Hodges. Perkins stepping out, looking for the reject. Beautiful soft touch by Craig Hodges. Jordan from deep. 25 for Michael Jordan. Paxson with the shot. John Paxson has been a crusher. Teagle. Teagle now one for six, and it leads to this. Devots. So, Bloody Devots has 23, the Bulls 82, and the Lakers 73. Caught right feeling for Devots. Yes. 
Bill Cartwright with a strong move. He's hit five of ten. He has 11. The Bulls extend to an 11-point lead. And then a la the Lakers run the clock down, milk it to the end before you make a shot. Evox with the tip. The Chicago Bulls during the regular season won the Central with a record of 61 and 21, the best record in the history of the franchise, and they have just roared through the playoffs. Paxson from long range. The Bulls lead 88 to 77. Magic's pass deflected. What a play by Devons. Pippen. Paxson recovers. John Paxson. 7 for 11 for 15 points. Final seconds. The Chicago Bulls come away with a resounding victory. In command virtually all the way. And they defeat the Los Angeles Lakers by the score of 97-82. And the foreign crowd into it here at the start. They have had their ups and downs in the cheering department uh, during the final. Lakers control the tip. Magic played by Jordan. Tigo beating Paxson. Yes. Do you think that's a good sign for the Lakers to get a two guard off on the first side of the game? Something they've missed sorely. Tigo forced it. Although when you talk of Terry Tigo, I don't know if there is such a thing as a forced shot. Here's Paxson. Yes. And the Lakers lead by the score of 3-2. to two. Now Cartwright matched with Perkins. No, go, and Magic go, go, go. backing Jordan. Devon. Devox on the follow. Actually, Magic was trying to throw a skip pass across to A.C. Green. He intercepted it. John Paxson drilling home his second from the corner. And John Paxson has all six Chicago points. Green. And it's Devox off the face. The first time that I've seen the Lakers really attack the press. Eagle could not handle that pass. And here comes Jordan. Michael Jordan with a gorgeous move with Magic Johnson back. The Lakers lead 9-8. Devots for the reverse. Lonnie Devots off to a fast start. He's hit three of four. Here's A.C. Green. The Bulls have a three on two. Nice look away from Jordan to set up Grant. And the Lakers lead 13-11. Evans drawing the double team, and he was rejected from behind. Pippen with the good play coming over to help. And Pippen goes all the way. Here's Magic. He had a notion to go to the hoop. Evans has hit on four. Of six. Well, Teagle did play well in the series against his former club, the Golden State Warriors. And Horace Grant making a two out of three from the floor, bringing Chicago with him three. Lakers wasting no time getting down court. Magic to the hook. We have rarely seen the hook shot in this series. He was very effective with it against Portland. That could be a good sign for the Lakers. The tip by Cartwright, a beauty by Bill Cartwright. Coming up on two minutes. Remaining in this first quarter, Jordan off the steal. Michael Jordan with his second field goal. Here's Campbell. Yes, and it counts. Cartwright making contact with Diva. Oh, what a shot by Bill Cartwright. And back come the Bulls. Lakers lead at 23-21. Here's Jordan. A gorgeous move again by Michael Jordan going at Vladi Divac strong and then able to lay it home softly. Magic thought he was fouled. No call. And here's Pippen. The Bulls take a 25-23 lead. Second quarter underway. And the Bulls with a 27-25 lead. That a three-pointer for Craig Hodges. Jordan trying to get it out. Rare turnover committed by the Bulls. They 
coughed it up only five times on Sunday night. That was a record low for an NBA Final Series. With the good pass from Perkins. Tony Smith had an excellent game against the Chicago Bulls here at the Forum during the regular season. In fact, he was player of the game. At the game that saw Magic Johnson go down with an injury. And there is Smith. Bringing the Lakers within one. Pressure by the Bulls. Green going all the way. Able to shake Grant, who did not want to pick up number three. Shot clock is down to eight. Smith had an ocean. Smith with the drive. Well, Tony Smith off the bench to hit his first two. And the Lakers lead at 33-32. Hodges. Yes. Craig Hodges hitting two of two. The Bulls lead by one. Perkins, while well, someone lost an assignment. And Perkins with his first field goal. And the Lakers back to Devots bringing it up, and he lost it. Jordan off the steal. Again, we hate to keep saying it, but that's part of the problem when you have a seven-footer, 6'11 guy trying to bring it up the floor. Wild gamble pass. And Pippen able to come away with it. Tremendous recovery defensively by the Bulls. Here's Jordan for Grant. Ball knocked away. Bulls wanted a foul. Instead, the Lakers on the run. Campbell. Yes. Oh, what a move by Elton Campbell. Magic with a risky pass intended for Campbell. Scotty Pippen to the open. B.J. Armstrong. The Bulls backcourt continues to hammer away. Armstrong and Jordan in the backcourt. Caught right, Grant Pippen up front. Here's Jordan. Michael is now five for eight. He has ten. Evans, not what he had in mind, nearly dropped. Here's Campbell. Here is Teagle. Yes. Terry Teagle has hit four of five. Eldon Campbell getting the position again. The Lakers recapture the lead. Here's Green, rejected by Grant. Shot clock, not a three. And a loose ball foul has been called as the 24-second buzzer went off. It's on Green. Nice play. Elden Campbell from Bloody Devots and the Lakers lead by one. Devots threw up a prayer, thought he'd draw the foul. And here come the Bulls on a three on two. Pippen off the hesitation dribble. A spectacular end to end move by Scotty Pippen. And they had a fast break that time, and they're just getting into the offense with 13 seconds left. Oh, nice move by Tony Smith. He had Paxson committed on the fake. Elvin Campbell off the bench, leading the Lakers. Scotty Pippen recapturing the lead for Chicago. Here's Cartwright. Bill Cartwright with six points, got off to a slow start, missed his first five field goal attempts, but he's come on. Jordan with the steal. Pippen moving on green. Scotty Pippen has 15. And the Bulls take a 54-51 lead. You're coaching Terry Teagle. You live and die by the Teagle jumper. Paxson. Yes. John Paxson has hit on three of three. The Bulls open strong in this third quarter. They now lead by five. Crowd wanted a foul on Jordan. Magic with the spin. And the bucket. Game five of the NBA Championship Series. Lakers hoping to extend to a game six on Friday night. Bulls trying to wrap it. Here's Green. So the Lakers move within one. Jordan had it knocked away by Perkins. AC. Green from Magic. Cartwright. Yes. Bill Cartwright. Magic for three. Yes. Jordan to the reverse. So Michael able to answer. And Magic looking to push it down court. Here's Green. Stripped by Jordan. Pippen with Perkins back. 
They change in so quickly. They go from the defense to the offense and make you pay the price. Teagle. And Grant with the rebound. Pippen. Oh, Scotty Pippen has broken loose in this third quarter. Jordan. Yes. 18 for Jordan. The Bulls by six. Magic off the double team. Lost it. And here comes Pippen. The reverse slam by Pippen, who has destroyed the Lakers here in the third quarter. The Bulls in the midst of a 12-2 run. Perkins from downtown. This has been a pattern for Chicago right throughout the playoffs. Magic. That's a three-pointer. And the Lakers with him, too, as they've gone to the long-range bomb. Each game of this series, Chicago has had one or two stretches where they have been on fire. They are in the midst of it here. Paxson makes it four out of four. Smith nearly picked it off. Jordan with the shot clock rolling down. Magic fires for Smith. Good recovery. It counts. Tony Smith with the field goal and the foul called on Pippen. The double team. Campbell over to help. Here is Pippen. Scotty Pippen has 23 and the Bulls lead 75-72. Pippen. Magic checking the floor for a fast break opportunity. And E.C. Green making the good catch to put it down. Smith. Yes. Tony Smith. Five for five from the field. And the game is tied at 76. And there's that weak side attack as Jordan takes the lob off the back pick play and slams it down. Time winding down in the third. Ebot's putting the move on Purdue. Campbell. Career high, 15 for Eldon Campbell. And the game is tied at 78. 20 seconds to go in the quarter. Here's Jordan. Oh, what a move by Michael Jordan. Going to the left hand and able to squeeze through to give the Bulls a two-point lead. Magic. Right there. Dumps it off. Campbell ties it at 80. B.J. Armstrong. And again, the Bulls get to the loose ball. Horace Grant from Scotty Pippen. Chicago leads by two. Here's Pippen. Changed his mind. Grant had it knocked away by Campbell. Pippen. Scotty Pippen with 25 points. 12 of the 25 coming in the third quarter. A.C. Green has tied it. At 84, two minutes gone by in the fourth. Marv Albert, Mike Fratello, Ahmad Rashad, Steve Jones, Michael Jordan, yes. He has 25. Here's Perkins. The game is tied at 86. Lakers and Bulls tied at 88. 740 remaining in the fourth. Now Campbell on Jordan. Went to the fadeaway. What a move by Michael Jordan. He has 27. Grant picking off Smith, allowing the jumper by Jordan. Rebounded by Magic. A lead for Green. AC Green beating Scotty Pippen. Providing the Lakers with a one-point lead. Magic Johnson working against Michael Jordan. Magic with 16 points, 18 assists. Campbell! Now, did that go in from Magic, or was it Campbell? Phil Jackson complaining to the official that the ball actually was going in the cylinder, and Campbell reached up and touched it. It should be waved off, in his opinion. Keep an eye now. If the ball is in the cylinder when Campbell touches it, no basket. So the basket counts and the foul called on Levingston. Trying to get Jordan in the isolation on the left side of the floor. The other four balls on the right side. Pippen with the open shot for three. Scotty Pippen has tied it. 
Caught right. Stopped by Gibbs. Paxson shooting. John Paxson gives the Bulls a 95-93 lead. Paxson is five for seven. He has 12 points. Open shot for Perkins. Caught right on the rebound. Can't ask for a much better look. 16-footer in the foul line area, wide open, no one playing. Paxson open again. John Paxson continues to provide the crushing shots. 44% from the three-point line and only 41 as Sam Perkins misses on a three-point attempt. Only 41 free throws taken this year. And here's Paxson. Six consecutive for John Paxson. And the Bulls lead 99-93, just under three minutes remaining. Perkins. So Perkins to the driving hook. And the Bulls now lead 99-95. Jordan with the crossover and the bucket. He goes wherever he wants to on the basketball floor. That's how good he is. Paxson open again. He has been unconscious. 18 for Paxson. Scotty Pippen with another superb performance, putting to rest the stigma of the well-publicized migraine headache of a year ago. Here's Perkins. Yes! And it counts! It is a two-point lead for Chicago. The Lakers desperately trying to bring it back to Chicago for a game six. Paxson! Yes! John Paxson again! And the Bulls lead 105-101. Evox from three-point land. Michael Jordan gets to it. As we come up on 10 seconds remaining, he's fouled by Green. And the Bulls beginning to celebrate. Michael Jordan with 30 points. The Bulls lead by seven. Final seconds, Magic's three-point attempt blocked. Pippen comes away with it. And the Chicago Bulls have won their first ever NBA championship. And Michael Jordan has answered a couple of questions. There have been doubters over the years whether a team led by Jordan could win a championship. And it is so rare for a team that has a scoring champion to go the distance. Anyone who ever questioned whether Michael Jordan was willing to give up and sacrifice for a championship was completely wrong. It was a case that Jordan is such a great winner, such a great competitor, and wanted so badly. In the early stages, he took maybe too much upon himself, but only trying to win because he knew the supporting cast had not developed yet. But once they stepped up their level of play, the Pippen moving to a new level, Cartwright doing the job in the middle, Paxson knocking out the open shots, and then Grant blossoming into the player he did, then Jordan was willing to spread the wealth around. Michael, what does it mean to you? It means so much. I mean, not just for me, but for the team and for the whole city. It's been a seven-year struggle. I mean, when I first got into Chicago, we started at the bottom, and every year we just worked harder and harder until we got to it. And, you know, it's, it's so gratifying. You know, I'm appreciated so long in my life, you know, for my family, for my kids, everything. It's, it's the most proud day I've ever had. We read that when they broached the subject of the I'm going to Disney World commercial to you, you said only if all my teammates are involved. Yeah, I wanted that to happen, you know, for them. You know, they deserve it. Whatever I get, whatever financial situation I get from that, I'm going to spread it amongst the team. I didn't want it. I want the team to have it. I want everybody to prosper from this whole event. You know, it, it took a team to get to this point. Is there a sense of completeness and fulfillment for you now that might not have been there for all your other achievements before? Well, I wanted to get here. Uh, I, if, we, if I never got here, I would have never been disappointed about my career, but you know, it capped it off. You know, it, it means a lot to me. It means a lot to the city. I'm just happy that I was able to be a part of, of history in the city of Chicago. Is there a feeling of a passing of the torch, Magic Johnson, to you? And did you have any words with him toward the end of the game? Well, I know we express our love for each other and, and the love of competition. You know, uh, you know he, he, he thanked me. He, he certainly was, he was very glad for me. <clears throat> but passing the torch, I mean, the NBA has got so many players that represents them, and I'm just happy to be a part of it. And I, I think besides myself, David Robson, Charles Barkley, all these other guys, he's going to carry the label of the NBA from now on, and I'm just glad I'm a part of it. Bill Cartwright steps in to go against Jerome Kersey, and it's controlled. Well, deflected out. 
and it will be Portland ball, last touched by Chicago. And the matchup at the start, Michael Jordan facing Clyde Drexler. Kevin Duckworth going at Bill Cartwright. Nice fake, yes, and it counts. Cartwright, and the good box out by Kersey. Here comes Drexler. Yes, and it counts. The foul called on Pippen. Jordan spotting Pippen. Drexler, a line drive jump shot. Now Pippen posting up. Cartwright blocked by Drexler. by Chicago. We saw very little pressure in the previous series against Cleveland. No, and this is exactly what they want. They had Buck Williams and Kersey backhand on the ball near the half-court line. And Terry Porter, who has been on fire during the playoffs, able to convert. Michael Jordan. Portland 9, Chicago 6. Here's Jordan. Cartwright gets to it again. Lost the dribble off his foot. Three on two for the Blazers. Drexler all the way. Clyde Drexler at his best in the open floor. And the Bulls here in the early going shooting the three-pointers. They have not been a team normally that looks for the downtown shot. While Portland does. And the Bulls have been off the mark. Only two of ten in this first quarter. Terry Porter. That was two-point range. He had the foot on the line. Cliff Robinson. Yes. And the Blazers have hit their first seven field goal attempts. To this point, the game has been played at the Blazers tempo. It's tipped home as Bryant was able to get inside to use his muscle. Jordan again from three-point land. Most unusual to see Michael bombing away. That's his third three-point attempt. Now Jordan posting up. Goes to the fadeaway, through the foul, it counts. Drexler picking up his first. Balls again go to the pressure. Porter with the open shot. Terry Porter. Terry Porter during the course of the playoffs has been in what can be labeled the shooter's zone coming off a subpar regular season. He has really turned it on. Lasers lead, 19-15, Porter again. Terry Porter has hit two four out of four from the field. Drexler with a quick shot. Drexler on the follow up. Ah, nice pass for Robinson. Portland 23, Chicago 15. There's Williams banking it hard. Portland 23, Chicago 17. Shot clock out of five. There's Pippen. Setting up Jordan, wide open for another three. Robinson changed his mind, saved by Drexler. Blazers get back, Pippen back for Jordan again for three. Well, Michael Jordan yesterday in commenting about the comparisons with Clyde Drexler said, yes, we're, we're even in every category, although someone said, how about three-point shooting? And Drexler looks for the three, usually. And Jordan made the point, well, I have not chosen to shoot three-point shots. As if to say, well, if I wanted to go that route, I'd be doing the same as Drexler. Well, he has chosen to look for the three here in the first quarter. Tommy passed it up and hits the two. They are not coming to meet the basketball against the Chicago team. You can't wait for the ball to come to you. Oh, a strong move by Kersey to draw the foul. The basket counts, and Jerome Kersey will go to the line. Portland leads by two. Jordan eluding Robinson. Yes, 18 from Michael Jordan. Well, my coach Patello said, Magic, what do you think Michael's going to do? Is he going to come out fast or slow? Here, behind the back, he just tricked Cliff Robinson, went right up. He, he's in his groove right now. He's feeling it. He wants the ball, and he wants to lead his team in his first quarter. Here's Armstrong. A.J. Armstrong hits on his 
first field goal attack. Right from George. The Bulls 31. The Trailblazers 28. Protection by Williams. There's Armstrong on the run for the pull-up. Rebound Pippen. Rebound Grant. The Bulls by five. Robinson. That's Robinson getting the roll. And it brings Portland within three. Porter. Terry Porter continues the onslaught. There's Ainge. Rebound Buck Williams. No box out. And Buck Williams able to put it home. The Bulls enter the first quarter with a 16-5 run. But the Trailblazers have come roaring back. And they now trail by one. Got clock at five. There's Pippen. He's been quiet. That's his second field goal. Eight points for Pippen. Robinson. Yes. Nice touch by Cliff Robinson. His fifth field goal. Porter putting moves on Armstrong. A rare miss for Terry Porter. Armstrong ahead of the field. It's Chicago by three. And B.J. Armstrong taking a page out of Portland's playbook. Took off on the shot. Was down the floor just waving, hoping Pippen would look up. Danny Ainge buries the three-pointer. Scott Williams. Strong move by the second-year player out of North Carolina to give the Bulls a two-point lead. Robinson with the step as he whipped by Williams. Cliff Robinson in his third year out of the University of Connecticut has come off the bench to hit for 12 points. Armstrong, yes. That is his third field goal. He has six. Michael Jordan after getting... A considerable rest has returned. The same for Clyde Drexler, and they match up once again. Here's Jordan to the fadeaway. 20 for Jordan. This is game one of the best of seven. Game two here on Friday. 9 o'clock Eastern time here on NBC. And Grant hit the deck, shaken up, but he's all right. Chicago leads by four. Drexler for three. That's his fourth three-point field goal. Jordan with the steal. Eluding Ainge. Yes. The Bulls by nine. Jordan has 25. Drexler went for the steal. And it's Jordan again. Michael Jordan, 11 for 17. 27. Oh, Kersey with a face goal. Jordan with the one-on-one -on -one move. Found Grant. Tipped home by Scott Williams. Pippen. Rebounded by Grant. Jordan for three. Yes! That is an NBA Finals record. Five three-pointers in a half. The steal by Pippen. for three, air ball. Here's Jordan for three, yes! Did you see that look? Michael indicating he can't believe it. Well, if you take those hurried shots, that's what's going to happen. The wings of the Chicago Bulls can open the game wide open. The defensive pressure, the steals, the transition games, and then Pippen taking it to the hole. Michael following it back up again, throws it down. He feels it. There's nothing else he can say other than the man feels it and lets us know. Oh, here's the three again. You know, and, and just let us know that, hey, I'm feeling it, I'm feeling good. It's my game. I love it. I love it. And Michael Jordan 
with 35 points, has set an NBA record most points in a half in an NBA championship series. And this is a Portland club that opened up by hitting its first seven field goals. We talked at the start about the fact that they have certainly had the reputation about losing their boys. Cliff Robinson. Kersey rejected by Grant. The Bulls with a three on two. Paxson. Yes. John Paxson hitting on his first field goal. And it's Chicago 68. And Portland 51. Cartwright. So Bill Cartwright with his first field goal. To see the Chicago Bulls defense up over playing, denying Portland, forcing him to pop down deeper to start their offense. Paxson checked the clock. Grant. During the course of the playoffs, following the series against Miami, Chicago sweeping by Miami in three, we have rarely seen the Chicago Bulls pippin off the break. What a recovery by Pippen because the ball was knocked away, but Pippen was able to get it back, and Portland wants to talk it over. Another Portland turnover. Paxson open. Yes. Here's Pippen. Yes, and it counts. Now Jordan being played by Kersey. with his first field goal of the third quarter. He now has 37. Williams, Scott Williams did well to get off the shot. Robinson rejected by Grant. Drexler off the recovery. So going back to Magic's inside statement, there's only certain ways you can stop a run and stop the clock. One way is if you get fouled to go to the free throw line and stop the run. Underneath. If you turn your head for a second, Jordan will back cut you, go to the rim. It's just a matter of lobbing the thing up on top. They love starting Michael in the middle of the lane, and then he operates from there. Are we uh, looking at uh, momentary? Scotty Pippen with 15 points. Robinson rejected. The way you beat Portland is to get them in a game like this, where they have to think, they have I'm to uh, make decisions, and uh, usually they come up with poor decision making, and they've done that throughout this game. Poor decision, tip in right there by Williams, but they've been frustrated. Pull the ball out, run a play, because you're down over 30 points, so you got to run a play now. Going to his left, yes. A good move right there by Jerome Kersey. And in this series, they're able to go to the free throw line, I mean, in this game right here, and uh, not get higher fouls and, and continue to make the basket just like there. Not a higher foul, a reach in foul by Jerome on Pippen, and he scores the basket anyway. A blowout in game one of his best of seven. So Duckworth able to convert. And back come the balls. Four on two. Grant finishes it off. Robert Pack, the rookie from University of Southern California, checking in. Pack rejected by Pippen. And the foul is called on Portland. And here's Pack with a very impressive drive. Here's Ainge galloping. It's tipped home by Bryant. Jordan now guarded by Ainge. Levingston. Yes. Cliff Levingston, who has shown flashes during the playoffs once again this season. Very poor shooting by O'Brien. Able to hit. Crowd wanted to travel. Portland only 5 for 21 in the third quarter. Stacey King not able to hit. Bryant sweeping in. And the ball's now lead 106-74. Trailblazers 
opened up by hitting their first seven field goal attempts. And then it all turned around as Michael Jordan went to three-point land. As P.J. Armstrong just did. And the Bulls now lead 109-78. Here's Scott Williams. Well, we talked about Terry Porter being in the shooter zone. You don't think of Scott Williams as a shooter, but he's in the zone. He's hit six of six. Ainge is able to bank it home. Both Levingston and Williams came on in the championship series against the Lakers. Here's Levingston from Armstrong. The Bulls lead 121-82. Only consolation, it's a 33-point differential, which is two points shy of the largest margin of victory in an NBA Finals game. The Bulls take game one. And now we are set for game number two of this best of seven NBA final. Bill Cartwright, Jerome Kersey on the opening tip controlled by Portland. And you recall in game one, the Blazers opened up by hitting their first seven field goal attempts. Look for both teams to go inside early, and Portland starts it out with Buck Williams, who really was a non factor due to fouls and playing time in game one. Here is Jordan. Yes. Michael Jordan from two point range. Buck right. Back out for Jordan again with the room. Once again, Michael Jordan working his way free, and he has hit on his second field goal. Rexler met on the switch by Grant. Nice pass from Williams. And Duckworth able to hit the ball six. And the Blazers four. Rexler with the step. Beating Jordan, then rejected by Grant. Nice play by Kersey. It's a three-on-one. Wexler, yes, and it counts. A facial served up by Clyde Drexler and the foul committed by Bill Conrad. Well, this just might be the spark that this team needs by Clyde Drexler. Taking it to the basket, a piece rejection. Pippen starting out on the break, and then the good hands and deflection turn it right around, and here it is now, the momentum perhaps that Portland's been waiting for. Here's Jordan for three, and it's rebounded by Williams. Grant with the steal! That's the second time now for Chicago that just hanging around the basketball after a rebound has either stopped the fast break, or in that case, produced an easy score. Last time, Portland had a man all the way down the floor, but Courtright hung in to stop the break. Crowd wanted to travel instead, the rejection, and Williams on a recovery is able to hit, plus the foul. So Buck Williams opening up in very aggressive fashion. Pippen with a pull-up. That is his first field goal, and the game is tied. Rexler changed his mind. Here's Porter. Played tightly by Paxson. It counts. And the foul called on Paxson. By Pippen. Getting the roll for his second field goal. It's the Bulls and the Blazers tied at 12. Here's Duckworth. And it's handled by Grant. Game tied at 12. Pippen changed his mind. Cartwright shooting. Bill Cartwright with his first field goal. Bulls 14. The Trailblazers 12. Play by Portland to stop Jordan. Here's Kersey. Jerome Kersey with his first field goal, giving Portland a 16 14 lead. Dunworth getting the contact from Cartwright and hits. Strong move by Kevin Dunworth. Trying to get caught right involved. That is his second field goal. Williams with the step. Rebounded by the Blazers. So Hinge and Porter now in the backcourt. Drexler up front with Robinson. And Williams. Nice move by Porter. Terry Porter able to penetrate. And Portland leads 20-18. With the rebound, Jordan has hit two of five from the field. Porter again on the penetration, but this time threw it back out. Here's Ainge passing on the three, hitting the two. Danny Ainge with his first field goal, and Portland leads by four. Robinson with the open shot. Air ball. Drexler saving for Buck Williams. What a play by Clyde Drexler.
Wexler. The Blazers by six. Well, according to Rick Adaman, his entire team was too soft in game one. It counts. And the foul. Eight. That's two-point range. And he aims. Hitting on his second field goal. Livingston did not look pretty, but he'll take it. 25 seconds of the quarter. Ainge. Oh, he's on fire. Danny Ainge with the turnaround. His third field goal. He's not telling us prior to the game that he is still. Oh, what a pass for Pippen finding Grant. Scotty Pippen saying that he's still bothered by the wrist and ankle injury that hampered him throughout the early series. Drexler buries the jump. Pippen. Setup for Horace Grant. Robinson now matched with Michael Jordan. Jordan with the fake. Yes. Three minutes in, second quarter. Terry Porter got the good look. That's his third field goal. He has six. Got clock at five. Jordan. Michael Jordan has 11. Portland leads by one. And we are seeing all kinds of combinations as Buck Williams connects on his fourth field goal to give Portland a three-point lead. Here's Paxson for three. Yes. Pretty pass from Paxson. Scott Williams was blocked, although he thought he was fouled. Here comes Drexler feeding Kersey. What a move by Jerome Kersey. That the move of the night. Duckworth passing on the shot. 24, Trexler. Ryan Trexler with his third field goal. Round one of the fouls. Paxson took a shot. Buck Williams giving Portland its biggest lead of the game. They double up on Jordan. That a rare sight. Paxson wide open. Yes. Lasers. Oh, that's Kersey once again. Excelling in the open court. Michael Jordan. Yes. The post-up move displayed by Jordan. And Jordan that time turned opposite the way he had been going in game one on that fake jumper back to the basket. Had set Drexler up from game one and changed in game two. Kevin Duckworth getting the roll. Pippen. For Scottie Pippen. Game one, the Bulls exploded, led by Jordan in the second quarter. Not the case here tonight. Michael Jordan with 15. Blazers by seven. Drexler able to receive the pass and hit the shot. He held him off with his body, knew that he had the position. He waited for it to come down, just like a post lob pass, except it happened full court. Jordan hit. It counts to the foul. with the spin. Oh, what a move by Clyde Drexler. Paxson for Pippen. Well, the calcium deposit certainly isn't in Scotty Pippen's ankles because he has the rise. Paxson just laid it out there for him. Porter pulling his way. Yes, and it counts. Conway comes back to Jordan. 20 for Jordan. Blazers by seven. Blazers get down in a hurry. There's Drexler. So Portland beginning to fly all over the court. Earlier in the playoffs, we rarely saw that extended press being utilized by the Bulls. Here's Porter. And tipped home. The Blazers lead 63-54. 7.40 remaining in the third quarter. Jordan with the room. Yes. 24 for Michael Jordan. Duckworth. Rebounded by Grant. Kevin Duckworth not shooting well. Here's Jordan giving it back. Paxson for three. Yes. Drexler goes glass. Yes, and it counts. A gorgeous.
egregious move by Clyde Drexler and the foul committed by Michael Jordan. Jordan. And the Blazers by two. Porter is used to playing Michael Jordan. He's done it in the past. Percy from long range. Jumping out, they double up and leaves Duckworth free. Kevin Duckworth taking advantage. He has 10. Portland leads 70 64. They double up on Jordan. Pippen. Rebound, Pippen. Here's a three thrown up by Drexler. The Bulls on the run. Portland able to get back.
for Jordan. The Bulls by two. Ainge for Kersey. Williams. And the game is tied at 99. That's a lot of minutes for John Paxson. He normally does not play this many minutes in a basketball game, but he was going so well, Bill Jackson had to stay with him. And I'm wondering if fatigue is setting in right now on his last three shots. Danny Ainge has hit five out of eight for 10 points. And he's given Portland a 101. Scott Williams defending against Kevin Duckworth. Duckworth, another big bucket for Kevin Duckworth. Again, the battle between Duckworth and Williams. Nice pass from Duckworth. Danny Ainge executing to give Portland a 105-101 lead. Lasers with the ball and a three-point lead. their previous 12 from downtown. Lasers by six, 115 to go in overtime. Paxson for a three-pointer. He's been off. He's missed his last five shots. And give credit to Terry Porter, who came out and challenged him, did not give him a real clean look. Oh, what a pass from Porter, finding Ainge. And the Portland Trailblazers with a dramatic come-from-behind effort, trailing by as many as 10 with four and a half minutes remaining have come from way back and they now lead by eight as the Bulls take the timeout. Game one was not very pleasant for Kevin Duckworth. The members of his family showered with beverages here in Chicago, which certainly upset him and the entire Duckworth family. 19 for Buck Williams, and then Kevin got himself an early foul difficulty and never got into it. There's Pippen. Allowed to uh, make the move to the bucket with 24 seconds remaining. So the Blazers come away with a 115-104 victory over the Chicago Bulls. And they have even the series at one. And we are set to go. The officials, Bill Oaks, Ed G. Rush, and Mike Mathis. And the call, Chicago ball, last touch by Portland. Big concern by many people, the Bulls' ability to bounce back after the devastating loss in game number two. Did they have enough time to get themselves straightened out in their heads and immediately go down inside low to Grant, which is one of the things that they like to do, Chicago, establish the inside game with either Cartwright or Grant Early. Cartwright going to work. So Bill Cartwright, with his first field goal, and as we have mentioned throughout this series, the Bulls love to get Cartwright involved early. Rexler going to the boards. And it by Kersey. Porter through the double team, was able to rip by, and he threw the foul. Struggling at the line, but not defensively. They've come out very aggressive. Portland leads 5 4. Pippen spotting Grant. He had the open jump, but he saw Horace Grant was all alone. The Bulls lead 6 5. Not worth. Nice move. Duckworth had mentioned to us that. With the game, down two points for Portland. Clock winding down with about six seconds remaining. The fact that the team went to him and he was able to produce the big shot just took his confidence level way up. And he just feels so good about it because he wants to be a main contributor. He loves it here in this city. Well, that's what he said. He wanted to uh, correct the perception of the statement the other day. Jordan able to stop for his first field goal. Now, we weren't there when he reportedly said that he wanted out of Portland, but he claims that was not the case. Here's Kretzler hits the three. And the Blazers lead by the score of 10-8. Here's Porter with another beautiful move around Kretzler. Jordan using the screen. So Cartwright with the pick, and Jordan with his second field goal has tied the game at 12. Rexler getting inside, a fast start for Clyde. He has seven points. Action. 
And then an unusual look for Paxson angling left and then shooting to his right. Here's Brixler. Air ball handled by Percy. Gets it back again. Finds Brixler. Feeds Williams. It is Portland by three. Understanding what this Charles Blazer team is about, you have to live with some of those shots. Understanding they come up with second and third efforts. Scott Williams may have gotten away with the travel. That is certainly the feeling of the crowd. He has brought the Bulls within one. Robinson and Williams now up front. Porter and Brexler at the guards. Nice play by Pippen, stripping Robinson. Three down two. Pippen all the way. The Bulls 20. The Trailblazers, 17. Duckworth set the pick. Pick and roll. Yes. Same shot he hit to tie the game at the end of regulation. The same man rotating over, trying to block it. Grant got there a little bit late in game two. That time was closer, but still, nice jump at that time by Kevin. And John Paxson buries another jump shot. Robinson works his way in, rejected by Williams. Scott Williams thought he was fouled. Jordan with the steal, and then flips it out to Grant. Oh, Horace Grant able to hit, and he drew the foul. Lasers down by six off a 11-2 run by Chicago. With the three. Jordan beginning to heat up. Usage of timeouts by coaches. A little run by Portland. Phil takes the timeout. They come out, set up. Jordan knocks out the J, takes the crowd out of it, settles everything. Oh, beautifully done. Robinson with the perfectly tied pass for Drexler. They double up on Pippen. Williams had it knocked away, able to recover, finds Jordan. A broken play that... The Bulls were able to click on for some good fortune. Bulls by six. Jordan changed his oh. mind. Morris Grant off to the fast start. He has 11. Chicago with a six-point lead. Shot clock at four. Here's Pippen. Strong move by Scotty Pippen, who has looked sharp in this first quarter. Watley rejected by Williams. That's his second block. And it's another time we see Williams coming from the offside of the floor to help a teammate get out. He does that so well, anticipating when he might be needed. Scotty Pippen. Scottie Pippen has nine points. Hot right. Yes. And a very nice setup from Pippen. Hanson. Williams missed the tip. And Porter comes away with it. Robinson, Duckworth, tipped by Robinson. Cliff Robinson had missed his first six field goal attempts. Finally, able to hit. Trailblazers have gone into a funk here in the second quarter. Michael Jordan is back, and the Bulls continue to get to every loose ball. Porter thought he was pushed by Pippen. Pippen for Grant. And the Bulls now lead 42-28. Ainge met by Jordan, finding Porter. Cartwright trying to set a pick. Actually able to brush by Armstrong. B.J. Armstrong with his first field goal. Pippen. Scotty Pippen extends to a 47-35 lead. Michael Jordan. Yes, 10 points for Jordan. It's been a very low-key first half. He's hit five of eight from the field. Now Pippen, try to back aim. Shot clock at two. Jordan for three. Rebound King. Stacy King hitting on the follow to give the Bulls a 52-37 lead. Drexler for three. Clyde Drexler hitting a second three-pointer. Here's Ain. Yes. So the Chicago lead, once 15, is now 10 with one minute left in the half. Jordan. Yes. 
12 for Michael Jordan. Page passed on the three. Here's Drexler. The feed from Williams. Portland shot only 5 of 17 in the second quarter. Duckworth. Kevin Duckworth playing with three fouls. These first couple of minutes now are going to be very important for both of these teams. This is a very hot building. The temperature inside is very high. The fatigue factor, concentration factor as Cartwright eventually knocks down the shot. Grant from Cartwright. And Duckworth off the board. Here's Porter leading Trexler. Paxson wide open. Trexler for Kersey. A 14-4 run by the Blazers. This is on a 14-4 run. Jordan. Michael Jordan is 7 of 11. He has 14. Four minutes had gone by in this quarter. Jordan had taken no shot, so that's how it went Clyde Drexler with 20 points on 8 of 11 shooting. Duckworth rolling in. Shot clock at 5. Jordan. Michael Jordan going right at Buck Williams, who tried to provide the help. Here's Pippen. Scotty Pippen getting excellent position. Extends to a 62-56 Chicago lead. Just under five minutes remaining in the third. Rexler hitting the bottom of the net, but it's rescued by Porter. Here's Kersey. Yes. Only his second field goal. Throughout the summer, took 500 jump shots a day, and the improvement did show up. Michael Jordan with 18 points. The Bulls lead 64-58. That was a non-shooting foul. Called on Drexler. Went, got the position, and he's given the Bulls a 67-58 lead. Scott Williams with a pretty backdoor feed for Pippen. And Watley turned it over again. Here's Armstrong. There you go. And Rick Adelman is very upset. Enos Watley has had trouble both times into the front court. Two minutes gone by in the fourth quarter. We'll see this, the tip. The steal by Robinson. Here they go again. This time, Duckworth able to convert off the fake. Here's Jordan, Michael Jordan with 20, and he's given his club a 76-68 advantage. Michael Jordan, rebound Stacy King. King with the box out, aims for three, and he was open. Rebound comes to Kersey. The Bulls by 10 with three and a half remaining in the fourth. And Stacy King, who is a strong post-up player, able to hit his third field goal. He has eight points. You let Stacy King get that low on the right block. And a steal by Paxson as he stepped up in the passing lane. John Paxson with the steal, providing a 14-point Chicago lead. And Rick Adelman takes a timeout. Here's Jordan. Now Kersey. Thought he had a move on the open floor, but Paxson got back. Excellent job of transition defense by Chicago. Drexler. So the Bulls now lead 86-76 with a minute 24 remaining. Scott Williams and Michael Jordan learning the, the spread of the uh, four corners from Dean Smith at North Carolina. Grant wide open. Jerome Kersey just left his man. So many things are said after games are lost. Jordan. What it comes down to is Chicago severely outplayed Portland tonight. And they now lead 92-78. Ainge put home by Kersey. As Ainge works his way down. And that will do it. The Chicago Bulls have defeated the Portland Trailblazers by the score. 
of 94, 84. Portland shot only 26 of 78, 36% from the field. And Terry Porter moves it across against John Paxson on right. And an ocean to shoot, but gave it up. Jordan. Beautiful shot by Jordan. Able to squeeze inside and go glass. Percy. His shot has been way off. Jordan pulls up for three. Yes! Michael Jordan. Three-point exhibition back in game one. The Bulls with a 6-0 lead. Jordan faking the three-parter. And there's that fake fast break by Chicago again. And the end result, the layup for Pippen, and Rick Adelman needs a timeout. Excellent. So the Blazers go three and a half minutes without the score. And Chicago now leads 10-2. Jordan for Cartwright. get to Scotty Pippen, who comes off an excellent all-around game. Kersey, yes. Duckworth and Cartwright got entangled. They both went down. Cartwright was complaining one of the foul call. Cartwright off a of pick and roll. Yes. If you coach Phil Jackson, you got to love this tempo so far. Williams, strip. With the change of pace. And he's given the Bulls a 16 5 lead. Duckworth getting inside. He blew the layup. And again, that time it was deflected. 16 5 Chicago. And Jordan able to penetrate. Sets up Grant. Bulls 18 and the Blazers 5. Grant, terrific series so far. from Percy to Drexler. But would you explain the shot selection of Clyde Drexler? From time to time, he will just voice shots from all angles. The same can be said of Terry Porter. Well, what's happening, if, if you've been doing it during the season and the first three rounds of the playoff, you continue to do it. Robinson has been in a struggle. This time he goes down low and guns it back out. Robinson only two for 11 Sunday night. Bulls 20, and the Trailblazers 9. Pippen, yes. Scotty Pippen off to the fast start. Robinson, yes. So that has to feel good for Cliff Robinson, who has not been able to hit the outside shot. Ains with the steal. Here's Drexler for Robinson. If you're on the road, I know with myself, I like to get out the early lead to take the crowd out of it. Robinson missed the tip. Right there. And the Blazers have come back. They are now down by seven. Here's Pippen. E.J. Armstrong able to get back. His Porter hits the three. Terry Porter launching his first field goal. Uh, Kevin will be a, a lovely guy to room with, don't you say? I don't think so. That that was a beautiful pass right there, backdoor play. Chicago opened up by reeling off the first 10 points of the game. Robinson has regained the touch. That's his second from outside. Scotty Pippen with a wide open shot. He's five for seven. He has 10 points. Duckworth getting inside and drew the foul. Cliff Levingston just came on. Gets to it. Ains and Porter in the backcourt. Here's Robinson giving it up to Kersey. Ains for three. The Trailblazers are with it four. Armstrong with the step. Yes. Nice play by B.J. Armstrong. 
Duckworth battling for position with Cartwright. Four minutes gone by in the second. The Bulls by eight. They've led by as many as 13. Here's Robinson. Yes. Robinson with his fourth field goal. So he has turned it around here in the first half. Drexler around Levingston. Clyde Drexler with a sensational drive. Jordan. Yes. Michael. Michael Jordan has 15 points. Double up on Drexler. And Grant was able to help out on Duckworth for the recovery. Here's Duckworth. Yes. Magic Kevin Duckworth hit that shot. But he's the only man here to see on the pick and roll. And he ends up taking a shot from the outside. The only center, big man that I know, that always likes to fade to the corner instead of go all the way to the hoop dunk it or lay it in. And that's why Chicago's defense can come over because they'll, they'll, they'll let him have that jump shot. They don't want to give it to him, but they'll let him have that settle for that more than a layup or a Nicely done. Robinson finding Drexler. Ten points for Drexler. Bulls for the 38-34 lead. Levingston. Oh, what a play by Horace Grant keeping it alive and then getting position to hit high off the glass. Here's Porter. That's two-point range. Well, Terry Porter with his second field goal. Grant. Powers Grant continues his excellent play. The Lasers have hit their last five. Make it six. We're approaching three minutes to go. First half. Cartwright showing the nice touch. That's his fourth field goal. Nine points. Percy knocked it away. Levingston recovering. Shot clock down to three. That's a three-point attack. Here's Percy. We have seen very little of Jerome Percy getting to the open floor. Duckworth with the rebound. Blazers down by only three. Here's Buck Williams. And Trexler with the putback. Second buzzer, Michael Jordan with his fifth field goal. He has 17 points in all the balls. Lead by three. Here's Drexler. The Chicago lead is one. The Portland defense has stepped up the last three possessions. Jordan, 19 points. The Bulls, 48. The Blazers, 45. Hard right strip by Drexler. Shot clock at four. Paxson for three, and that is his first field goal. Drexler, wild shot. He was trying to draw the foul. Pippen ahead of the field. That's the problem when you wind up taking bad shots, you land on the floor, you're not up back in transition defense. The Bulls with an eight-point lead. Shot clock is running down. Here's Porter. Just to get it off. Duckworth on the rebound. And it can't close the layup. Giving the balls a 55 47 lead. But to me, you know, it doesn't seem like they have a, a particular one or two plays they want to run. Terry Porter just hit a shot there. Is it because Rick Adelman feels that perhaps this club cannot handle too many, too many plays as Percy is able to hit? Some teams are better in a freelance situation. Well, I'm, I'm sure with his talent, they are better in a freelance situation. But you're in the championship, you're in the finals now. You got to go with some uh, set offense. You got to go with some kind of strategy that's going to help you win the game, especially when you're playing the Chicago Bulls. You can't random all the time against them. Drexler lost it. And here comes Jordan. Well, he, he felt the footsteps and was able to slow down and uh, went for the conventional layup. Mark Williams. That is his second field goal. Buck has been quite upright for Levingston. And it's recovered by Levingston. Jordan for three. Michael Jordan has gone back 
to the three-point game. He hit one early. This is second of the night, 24 points in all. Robinson wide open, yes. The ball 63. The Crown Blazers, 57. Out Jordan, looking to post up. Yes. Michael Jordan has 26. Did not work. Rexler on the recovery. Phil Jackson felt he came from out of bounds. Here's Kersey. Now check that. Buck Williams. Robinson too much dribble and it cost. Hodges lost it. Gave it right back. Nice regard. Clyde Drexler with 17. Jordan looked to go one on one. Changed his mind with Ainge coming over to help. Craig Hodges off the bench to hit the jumper. That was two-point range. The ball 69. The Blazers 64. Final seconds of the third quarter. Drexler for Robinson. Two seconds to go in the quarter. Porter with the good fake on Armstrong. That's the 24-second buzzer. And the ball's open up with Jordan and Hodges at the guard. Scott Williams up front along with Nice move by Michael Jordan. Robinson. I have the shot. Got it out to Porter. Minute and a half gone by in the fourth. Jordan. Yes. And a timeout call by Rick Adelman. He's passing on the three. It's the two. For the second field goal, he has five. Scotty Pippen is back. Michael Jordan sitting down. B.J. Armstrong with the open shot hitting his second field goal. Well, that was a good shot for him. He had just he had missed his last uh, two or three shots, and that was a good one for him to knock down for that confidence level. And he ain't able to answer. The bench well represented for the balls right here. Armstrong took the shot. It counts. The foul. Strong gets the call on the continuation. Percy and the tip for Porter. Goes along with Phil Jackson of being predictably unpredictable. You just don't know what he's going to do. All of a sudden, Hodges plays. He hasn't played yet. Strong move by Percy. Nice pass from Jordan. Some early calls by Jake O'Donnell and John Pack. 
Jackson has tied the game of two. And Percy not able to hold on to that pass. And that's the threat of Michael Jordan being in front of you on the way to the basket. And that is a three for Jordan. Michael on the turnaround jumper. Michael Jordan extends to a 7-2 lead. Here's a mismatch. Pippen trying to operate against Porter. Porter got the hell. Paxson with three on the shot clock. Yes. So once again, the Bulls off to the fast start. Percy. Tipped home by Percy. Well, three Bulls actually paid attention to that basketball. First miss for Chicago. They hit their first four shots. Nice ball movement. Beautiful give and go. Here's Pippen slicing in. Quickly on Wednesday, and then Magic, as you mentioned, was involved in foul difficulty and was taken out of it. Now Pippen posting up on Porter. You know, the, uh, the, the Portland Trailblazers have changed their uh, matchups here. They put, uh, they put Porter on Pippen, and uh, Percy is, is guarding uh, Paxton. That was a good move right there by Duckworth. I'm right, getting the position, finding Jordan. Michael Jordan with his third field goal off to the fast start. A oh, beautiful play by Pippen. And he goes all the way and draws the foul. Wesley called for the foul. And Pippen will go back to the line. But Williams got the step. Kept home by Drexler. Again, Pippen to the post up on Porter. Oh, he went last. Beautiful angle shot. Here's Jordan. Percy played him well. Ripping by I want to mention two things, Magic, as to why they could have Percy play with Michael Jordan. One is the size factor. They don't want a double team. They're trying to play him straight up. The other is that cross matching as Grant knocks down the jumper. Nice entry pass for Kessler. Well, the assist for Porter. Battle between Grant and Williams down low. Jordan setting up Cartwright. Yes, Bill Cartwright with his first field goal. Trying to get it to Grant. Grant with the save, the bucket, and the foul. His lead by 11. Two and a half to go in the first. Drexler. That's his fourth field goal. Good start for Clyde Drexler. He has 10. Maxson and Jordan now work the backcourt. Jordan tried the three-pointer. Scott Williams with the box out of Buck Williams. What, what the fans can look for is that both stars will be doing a lot of shooting tonight, especially because it's the most important game. Buck Williams with his first field goal. The Bulls lead 33-24. Chicago has hit 13 of 19 from the field. Make it 14 of 20. Jordan, four for seven. He has 12. But usually when the, when the Bulls score this... Uh, amount of points, 37. That means that their defense is being aggressive, and they score off of that. Danny Ainge just hit the three-point play, but their defense is good, and they're scoring off the defense. Jordan with a series of head fakes sets up on score. Yes, Bulls lead 39-26. By Michael, two points because he touches on the uh, on the rim. Drexler has returned. Open shot. Jerome Percy is hit four of five. He has eight points. Jordan. Michael Jordan has 16, and the Bulls lead it by 17 points. Here's Drexler. Ten points for Clyde Drexler. He's complaining. He thought it was foul. A steal by Percy. Two on one. Drexler. For Rick Adelman, you stay with Clyde Drexler playing with the three. Michael Jordan with 18 points. The Bulls now lead 47-32. There's Jordan hobbling back down court. Shot clock at three, down to two. Cartwright. Bill Cartwright at the 24-second buzzer, connecting on his second field goal. If you go back to game one, they were shooting 60% and were down 15 because of Michael Jordan in the first half of game one with 35 points. Whip Levingston, the quick leaper, getting to the boards. Goes by 14. Jordan for three. Well, Michael Jordan goes back to three-point land. That's
That's his second three. A big move for the second half for Phil Jackson. Put somebody on the baseline. It's Michael Jordan. Danny Ainge connecting on the three-pointer. Hang up from with Pippen and Grant. Paxson and Jordan at the guards. Pippen keeping it alive. 15 for Pippen. Scotty Pippen to the scoop. Rebounded by Pippen. He is flying. Drexler comes away with it. Porter with the second for Buck Williams. Terry Porter has been dishing off effectively throughout the first half. King getting inside. A strong move, although the Blazers thought that he traveled. And remember, as Percy gets down. And that Chicago lead is down to 11. Paxson is open. John Paxson with his third field goal. He has six. The ball 62. The Blazers 49. What Portland wants to do is try to get this game at 10 or, or, or really up under 10 going into halftime. They would feel real comfortable and good about that. Turnaround jumper right there by Duckworth. Clyde Drexler, despite the four fouls, will start. Well, he had a switch off to Jordan, who opens up by hitting the jumper. Just cursing. And it's rebounded by Pippen. Pippen, Grant, and Cartwright on the front line. Jordan and Paxson in the backcourt. And the Bulls hit their first two shots, both from the right-hand corner. But when uh, Duckworth was being double-teamed, they have no cutters, no ball cutters. And that's why he's having a struggle out of the double team. Here's a breakaway for Pippen and slam dunks. And that breakaway set up by the block shot of Horace Grant. Good second effort by Kersey. Ball 72. And the Blazers, 56. Marwood. Back door, beautiful play set up by uh, Chicago with Pippen delivering it to Michael Jordan on the back screen live. Drexler had it knocked away, recovered by Duckworth. He's blocked by Grant. Here's Pippen on the open floor, giving it up to Paxson. And the Bulls with a 78-59 lead. Eight and a half remaining in the third quarter. Duckworth. 78-61. Jordan eluding Drexler. So Michael Jordan has 33 points. And the Bulls have an 18-point ball. Robinson, yes, it counts. Here's Jordan for the fadeaway. Rebounded by Drexler. Robinson. Double team got it back out. Here's Porter. Can't buy one. He's 0 for 6 from the field. Here's Pippen. Terry Porter's offense in this series has been most disappointing. Age guarding Pippen. A matchup that has not worked for Portland. Paxson is open. John Paxson with 12 points. Here's Jordan. Nice backdoor setup from Scott Williams. Livingston is back, replacing Grant, who a moment ago picked up his fourth. Here's Jordan. Michael Jordan with 39 points. He won here in the third. Portland only four of 17. Pretty pass from Robinson to set up Williams. The Bulls 90 and the Blazers 74. Robinson changed his mind. Nice speed. And Terry Porter converts his first field goal. Winding down on the third. Shot clock at five. Pippen forced it. And ball handled by Williams. A bad pass, though. Bad pass by Buck Williams. And it's tipped home by Livingston. That was a costly turnaround for Portland. Bulls 95. Trailblazers 79. A minute 20 into the fourth. Robinson. Good luck for me. For Williams. Scott Williams. The 
Griffin does not go for the fake. And Ames with a force, but he'll take it. That was not the shot he had in mind, but he was committed in midair, and he had to fire one up. Drexler with the show the ball move, met by King, and it's deflected by Grant Robinson on the follow. Portland is going to make their move. This is the time right here. You got Michael on the bench. They need the pressure, deny, get up all over the Chicago Bull players and try to create some early offense. Hanson with the follow, a wild shot by King, but Hanson able to convert. Porter, Terry Porter with only his second field goal. Armstrong. So again, a mistake leads to a Chicago basket in the NBA final. The most points scored in a game, 61. Elgin Baylor did it for the LA Lakers in Boston back in April of 62. Rick Barry once said 55. Here's Porter. And the Bulls lead 107 to 91. Jordan. For the three for Michael Jordan. Well, the pressure that Portland is trying is a full court man to man pressure. When you face guard, they back cut you and then take advantage of the numbers. Clyde Drexler, who has had a very quiet second half. Robinson returning to Porter. Nice play. But Michael Jordan did not want to pick up number six. You can see the skill level of Robinson. He's thrown three or four excellent passes. Beautiful block by Drexler. The Bulls 109, Blazers 97. Hudson shaken up as he hit the deck. Porter for three. Now they change it to two. It's a two-pointer. Bulls lead 110, 99. Here's an aggressive move by Ames. Ames able to beat Jordan, who is playing very carefully. Did not want to reach in. second buzzer. Aim. And tipped home by Kersey. And the Bulls come away with a 119 1-0-6 victory. They're going three games to two in this best of seven NBA final. A pleasant and potentially historic Sunday night in Chicago. The 243rd consecutive sellout at Chicago Stadium, and none of the 18,676 here expect to be back on Wednesday night. Instead, tonight, they look for the final affirmation of what 67 regular season victories and a tough but thus far successful playoff run have indicated. For the second year in a row, this is the finest basketball team in the world. Hot right, looking to go right at Duckworth. Yes. Was able to take the pass from Pippen. Kersey putting the move on Jordan. Kersey with the tip, and he's tied the game at four. Phil Jackson mentioned to us earlier today that one of the areas of concern, the ability of Portland to put it on the floor, the steal, and now the slam dunk by Kersey. He gets three or four of those a game just because he has the ability to run out and fill the lane. Chicago scoring the first four points. Portland the next six. Here's Pippen, and he's tied the game at six. Kersey played by Pippen. That's Drexler, and it's rejected by Jordan. Michael Jordan. With the rejection, he had some help from Cartwright. Kersey, rebounded by Duckworth. So Portland leads by the score of 8-6. Robinson went short, but Kersey is right there. A strong start for Kersey. When the Bulls saw the matchup of Cliff Robinson against Bill Cartwright earlier in the season, they felt they did not try to take advantage as much as they should, so they're looking for Cartwright right here. Meanwhile, Robinson from the outside. Cliff Robinson, three games ago, struggled at 2 of 11, then bounced back with a good one in game four, three of four the other night in Portland. Pippen off the ball, and able to settle. Blazers lead 12-8. Porter dumps it off, a rejection by Grant. Robinson. And the rebound handled 
by Williams. Paxson for three. Shot clock at three. Porter with a force. And he hit it and drew the foul. Terry Porter had a hoist it up with the shot clock dropping down. Paxson commits the foul. And Porter will go to the line. Here's Paxson on a quick release. John Paxson has hit his first three shot attempts. Now Jordan posting up Drexler. I played him well. Jordan passed on the three. Finds Grant. Oh, what a play by Horace Grant. And he's tied the game at 15. Robinson, yes. It's been a quiet series for Buck Williams. As Bob mentioned right at the start of the game, he's bothered by a bruised heel. Nice pass from Grant, finding Williams. Here's Robinson. Good setup from Porter. Blazers lead 19-17. Jordan. And that is his first field goal. Pulls the Blazers at 19 apiece. Kersey able to penetrate. Eight points for Kersey. Williams rejected by Robinson. Here comes Porter. And it's Kersey again giving Portland a 23. 19 lead. Eames with the steal. Kersey for Drexler. Rebound Kersey. Jerome Kersey with a magnificent first quarter. Shot clock down to three. Drexler for three. Oh, he got the roll. Clyde Drexler has come out with a different personality here on the first half. Shot clock at three. And Michael Jordan drills it home for his second field goal. He has four. Blazers lead 28-21. I think that's the way Clyde wants to play, Michael. Challenge him a little bit, but back off so you don't get beat with that first quick long step. Make him make some jump shots before you come out and really get up tight on him. Oh, pretty pass off the dribble by Robinson. Cliff Robinson with a good start. The Blazers lead by nine. Michael Jordan sitting down. So Scotty Pippen running the club is able to hit on his third field goal. He has six. Kersey got the step. He has 14 points. Jerome Kersey. Kersey has certainly come up a long way from Longwood College in Virginia. Pippen for three. That three-pointer by Pippen is first of this series. He missed his previous six attempts. Cartwright, yes. It's Portland 32 and Chicago 28. Nice feed. Robinson from Kersey. And the Blazers lead 36-28. Picked off by Porter. Two on one. Jordan back. Drexler goes right at him. Blazers with their biggest lead of the night. Porter stumbling but able to get it to Kersey. Drexler around Cartwright. Once again, it's Drexler on the drive. Blazers lead 40 to 28. Chicago with Jordan sitting down getting a rest. Outscored Portland 7 to 2 in one of those oddities with Michael back on the floor. Portland has at least eight straight points. Make it 10 in a row. Yes. And it counts. Chicago now extending his defense with their trapping defense. Grant up on the ball. Portland wants to attack this for scores if it can. Porter giving the three. Terry Porter. With a three-pointer, Portland so successful during the course of the regular season and the earlier rounds of the playoffs from three-point land, but uh, they have had a horrendous time of it in this series. Today, though, they've hit two of three from downtown. Michael Jordan has eight points, and the Blazers now lead 46-34. Shot clock at five. Pippen checking the clock. Pippen off the spread. Rebound Williams. Williams again, and he pops it out. Jordan for three. Wexler, though, has sparked his Blazers the last couple of minutes now from three-point range. Rebounded by Grant. Three on two. It's Pippen kicking it out to Paxson. Rebounded by Pippen. 
open. Now Jordan for three. Yes. So Portland leading by six. The Bulls in the midst of a spurt. Terry Porter able to answer. Looks like the stroke has returned for Porter. Scott Williams to the post up move. Drexler jumping out for the steal. Drexler in the open floor. Finding Kersey. The crowd looking for an offensive foul as Paxson took a shot at a timeout called by Phil Jackson. Here's Porter. Yes. Cherry Porter with 12. And Paxson was stripped. Duckworth gets it down to Porter. So Porter leads by 12. Chicago 0 for 3 from the field in this third quarter. Make it 0 for 4. Blazers lead it 58 46. Kersey, yes. And give the assist to Terry Porter. You know, after the first four games, Terry Porter was averaging only three and a half assists per game. Then he comes out in game five, has seven assists in the first half, one in the second half. Dribble penetration will lead to good shots for his teammates. John Paxson hitting the jumper. He has nine. Duckworth swinging inside. The Chicago crowd looking for the uh, offensive foul call. Paxson, same spot. John Paxson has 11. Here's Kersey. Yes. It has been a magnificent night for Jerome Kersey. He has 20. Paxson then on a switch by Buck Williams. This match is Drexler and Grant. Paxson to the scoop. Portland has to make a decision on those dribble handoffs or split screens, whether to stay with their own people or switch. Kersey with an open shot. Jerome Kersey is hitting from all angles. Blazers lead 66-52. Now Porter guarding Jordan. Porter trying to draw the offensive foul. 16 for Jordan. Here's Paxson for three. Rebounded by Porter. Blazers have to love this style of play, though. Kersey gets it to Drexler. This is Portland's brand of basketball. They have the tempo going in their direction. They called Duckworth for shoving the screener into where Jordan was trying to shoot the ball. Therefore, no shot attempt. Now Jordan is fouled. It counts. And the foul called on Porter. Robinson. Dangerous passing by the Blazers. They got away with it, though. Drexler able to hit. And the foul. Jordan putting the move on Porter. Stopped by Kressler. Just a terrific defensive effort by Clyde Drexler. Jordan goes by the first two defenders. Drexler running the floor the whole way, setting this up way behind as far as steps, but the perfect timing, and he covers so much ground to get the block and save what looks to be like a sure score. Great defensive play, particularly with four fouls on Clyde Drexler. with his first field goal. Blazers by 15. Porter, Terry Porter with 18. And Portland leads 77 to 60. All strong with the shot clock down to one. But it had to be a combination. Porter asserting himself and Clyde Drexler pulling back a little bit at the beginning of the game to allow Terry to get off. You can't have everyone fighting for shots. Here's Ainge. Yes. Danny Ainge with his first field goal. Jordan to the spin. And Percy felt that they showed an offensive foul on Jordan. Here's Hanson. That's a three. Bobby Hanson with his third three pointer of the series. Wexler back. Pippen able to elude Drexler, who did not want to pick up his fifth. And after that basket, Rick Donovan started the signal timeout. 
but changed his mind and let him play through it. Cliff Robinson has two. Shot clock to four. Pepper gets the Blazers 81. The Bulls 74. A double dribble called by Mike Mathis. He hesitated. Scotty Pippen gave the indication, and then the call was made. Well, Jackson staying with this unit. Tom Strong. Drexler. He has 20. And the Blazers now lead by five. Robinson forced to a very difficult shot. Not the type of shot you want at that time. Here's Pepper. Shot clock at eight. Drexler playing with four. Here's Jordan. Shot clock to five. Out of three. Pippen for three. Twenty-four for Pippen. Hitting the three-pointer with the shot clock down to two. Terry Porter able to come back. That's his seventh field goal. He has 22. The Blazers 87. The Bulls 85. I go Jordan. Yes. The game is tied. 87. Drexler rejected by Scott Williams. The Blazers and Bulls tied at 87. The backdoor pass picked off on the deflection. Jordan with the steal. The first time Chicago has led since the open minutes when they had a 4 2 lead. Here's Drexler. And the game is tied at 89. Here's Williams. Set up beautifully, but missed the layup. We mentioned earlier the number of layups and inside shots that they have missed, Portland. You have to convert those. Scotty Pippen does convert to give Chicago a 91-89 lead. Port is stripped by Paxson. And it will be Chicago ball. And Rush says it is back out of bounds by Terry Porter. Chicago with a two-point lead. Drexler playing with four. Shot clock at three. Yes! Here's Drexler, rejected by Williams, but a foul is called. The Bulls by three. One thirty-one to go in the fourth. It's a two-point lead. Portland has used all its timeouts. The Bulls with the ball and a two-point lead. You don't foul, Matt. You dig in and get a stop. Jordan. The Bulls 95, the Blazers 91. Drexler for three. Kept alive by Kersey. And the foul is called. It's on Pippen. Chicago over the limit. Portland never rotates over in time as Michael comes from the right side of the floor. It was an isolation created almost by happenstance. It was there. Michael took advantage of it, saw the opening, took it to the rim. It's a two-point Chicago lead. Wexler playing with five fouls, going for the steal against Jordan. Now Jordan met by Porter. There's a two-second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. And now the foul given by Porter. Four-point. Chicago Lee Drexler was checking, thought there might have been a timeout remaining. Here's Kersey for three. Paxson with the rebound. Tied running down. The Chicago Bulls have won the NBA championship for the second straight season. Portland, this one would be more relief. 
the other one was exhilaration. You still feel the same? It is, man. It's, it's just so gratifying for me personally. You know, I, I went through a lot of hard times this year, but you know, I stayed strong. Everybody supported me. You know, and, you know, we played well today. I'm glad for Bobby Hanson. He's the only guy that didn't have it. I'm glad for him. There were stretches in the playoffs where you had to carry your team. You were the high scorer again tonight, but you got help, especially from Scotty. Everybody contributed. Scotty was a you know real big emphasis in, in the third and fourth quarter, and you know I had a rough first half, but these guys carried us, and you know I was able to get in there in the fourth quarter and help help pull it through. So you know it was a good team effort. I think Woo! I think Michael, we've got a package here of some of the baskets you scored down the stretch. From the time that Pippen's three tied it at 85, you and Scotty got all the points. Yeah, we played well. You know, we were able to win two combinations all year long. And I've always said that, you know, Scotty takes pressure off me as much as I take pressure off him. So, you know, we played extremely well down the stretch, both of us. Here I was able to get a steal as Scotty blocked out Buck Williams and got the dunk, and, you know, that put us up two points. So. It was good effort by everybody, you know. I, I, I just tried to post up, you know. I, I, I learned from the lesson when, you know, game four when, when uh, Jackson knocked that away from me. So I was prepared, and here I go to the hole, you know, trying to get a foul or get a layup, you know. So it was good effort. I'm glad they gave me a chance to redeem myself. And this is the free throw that seals it. What was going through your mind at this moment? If I don't make these free throws, they're going to haunt me for the rest of my life. So I was really concentrating on it. You started very slowly. I think you had two points in the first quarter, and the Trailblazers were all over you guys for three periods. I know. Uh, you know, I was going to be very passive and see how the other guys play early. But I got in a bad, bad rhythm myself, and, uh, you know, they played extremely well defensively, and uh, somehow we got it going. And, and once we got it going, there was no stopping us. Did you have a chance to say anything to Drexler or he to you? No, I was too elated. You know, I'm going to go over and say hello. You know, I mean, say thank you. It was a great competition. You know, it was tough luck, but somebody had to lose. I'm glad it was us. Michael, congratulations. Thank you. In this, the 25th season of the Phoenix Suns franchise, they are gunning for their first ever championship while the Bulls are trying to become only the third team in the history of the league to make it three straight wins. The official Hugh Holland. Hugh Evans, Jeff Kersey, 99 degrees outside, and things beginning to stir up inside as controlled by Phoenix as Kevin Johnson moves across against B.J. Armstrong and with the steal, Pippen all the way, and the Bulls off to the 2-0 lead. Barkley finds West. Mark West serving up a facial. B.J. Armstrong for three. B.J. Armstrong has had a terrific playoff run. Johnson penetrated. Kevin Johnson, so effective off the dribble, was able to break it down. Magic in the Cleveland series, B.J. Armstrong did a very good job against Mark Price and Terrell Brandon pressuring him. Kevin Johnson presents a few different problems, however. Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan able to go glass to give the Bulls a 7-4 lead. Richard Dumas, who did not play at all last Saturday in the seventh game, setting up Dan Marley. The Bulls, seven, and the Suns, six. One of the major question matchups from the Phoenix point of view is Richard Dumas as Horace Grant gets the roll. Dumas going against Pippen. Jordan off the steal. Three on two. It's Grant from Jordan. It counts in the foul. The foul called on West. Two Friday night here in Phoenix. Game three at Chicago on Sunday. Charles Barkley. The other thing, it's a test immediately for Dumas having to guard Pippen as much as he is early in the game here, knowing that Pippen can score or dish it off. And Bill Cartwright does the score. Bill Cartwright came alive offensively against the Knicks. Here's Grant. Yes. Harris Grant with the post-up move extending to an eight-point lead. Dumas with the spin at the ball knocked away but recovered by Barkley. Ball 16 and the Suns 10. It is kind of a hybrid, unusual setup and it can lead to all kinds of different type matchups. Bill Cartwright with his second field goal. Cartwright setting the screen for Pippen. Rebounded by Barkley. Crowd a little impatient. As the Suns are off to the slow start, Barkley goes all the way. Pippen. Scotty 
Pippen going glass for his second field goal. And now both clubs having their difficulties. We come about four minutes remaining in this first quarter. Kevin Johnson with a brilliant, a brilliant move. He went the distance. If we did not get to the finals, it would have been uh, considered a total flop in most basketball circles, considering what they gave up to get me and what people expected from us. The city of Phoenix, the Suns as a team, and, and basketball in general, they expected us to get to the finals. Well, the man can hold his head up because he has met the challenges. He has done exactly what he said he was going to do to this point, get Phoenix into the finals, have a chance to win a championship. And in fact, of the, six, the 17 shot attempts now by Phoenix, Charles Barkley has taken eight of those. He's only one for five from the perimeter, two for three from down inside. And here's Jordan following that Richard Dumas field goal, his first. Cartwright with the steal and the bucket. And that is a most unusual sequence. Well, you don't expect Bill Cartwright to come up with a steal. And uh, Mark, Mark West got to watch those outlet passes. Richard Dumas. Dumas with his second field goal. Now getting into the flow, the Bulls 24. Suns 18, Pippen off the screen, yes. And the shooting is picked up at both ends. Pippen is now four of six. Armstrong. Pippen gets to it. Setting up Armstrong. Beautiful play by Scotty Pippen. Dumas now played by Williams. Goes to the finger roll. Swept aside by Scott Williams. One thing that kind of jumps out at you here early as Michael hits Grant on that transition, filling the right lane. Got clock at five. Now Grant over Chambers. And it looked like Chambers got a piece of it. It's Jordan, final seconds, getting it off. Yes. Three tenths of a second remaining in the quarter. And Phil Jackson goes with his small group, the three guard offense. Michael Jordan pulls up, hits a jumper. And this will be a good unit to use throughout the series against Phoenix because Paul Westfall likes to go to unusual lineups, small lineups at times. Six points for Jordan and the Bulls with a 16 point lead. Mike Johnson with a nice move. He's played well during the playoffs. And Barkley backing Grant. Put to the left hand and Grant got some help. 8.45 remaining in the first half. A backdoor pass handled by Scott Williams. And the Bulls executing beautifully. Now lead at 38-22. Ainge guarded by Tucker. Trent did not go for the head fake. Ainge to the fadeaway. Danny Ainge. Faced the Chicago Bulls in the finals last year as a member of the Portland Trailblazers. Jordan from deep. Yes. Michael Jordan has eight points. The Bulls by 16. Just under seven minutes remaining in this first half. Pippen. Yes. And the Bulls open up an 18 point lead. Coming into the series, everyone said you have two finesse teams uh, in the finals. Well, something that shows up right away. There have only been four free throw attempts after a quarter and a half of this basketball game, which means either you don't have people hitting each other out there, there aren't a lot of drives to the basket, there's a lot of jump shots, or people are scoring too easy. No one's contesting them. What a sensational first half effort by Scott Williams. Four points and eight rebounds for Williams. Johnson with the force, but it's punched home by Dumas. And the result, Chicago with an 18 point lead. Make it 20. Scotty Pippen, who had the sensational series against the Knicks, with 12 points here tonight on 6 of 8 from the field. The Bulls 46 and the Suns 26. Barkley. And the first easy attempt for Barkley. Davis with the steal. Here's Ainge for Johnson. Oh. And put home by Dumas. Here's Jordan. He had it knocked away from behind. Kevin Johnson. Barkley for Miller. Phoenix showing some signs. They are now down by 14. Dumas connecting with the floater. Shot clock at five. Jordan changed his mind. Here's Glenn. The tip missed by the combination of Pippen and Conrad. Barkley with Pippen from behind going for the steal. Finding Miller. 
So the Suns have cut it down to 48-37. And this crowd very much back into it, but Scotty Pippen able to quiet them down. Pippen trying to feed out. Four on two. Dumas. Chicago 50. And Phoenix 39. Shot clock down to 10. Johnson got the step. And it, it counts. It's a goal tail. Phoenix have moved within nine. They were down by 20. Here's Jordan extending. Michael Jordan driving the lane. Final seconds of the hand. Miller rejected from behind by Cartwright. Pippen gets it off. So that's the end of the first half. During the regular season, Phoenix is the third best three-point shooting team in the NBA. They're first in three-pointers attempted, almost 13 and a half a game, and first in three-pointers made. So that's a big weapon that's missing. That's why they only have 41 points right now. And here's Barkley again. Mosley, 52-43. Emma Johnson being played by Scotty Pippen on a switch. They isolate for Barkley. Grant going for the steal. Foul called. It counts. The basket counts. And the foul charge to Horace Grant. Jordan. Grant with the rebound. Armstrong. Yes. B.J. Armstrong with nine points. Lead by nine. Armstrong for three. So B.J. Armstrong with his second from downtown. Marley. Well, Dan Marley had been quiet. That is only his second field. That is only his second field goal. Pippen with a nice fake. And that met on the switch by West. Barkley behind the back. Barkley for Marley to the reverse. Dumas. Richard Dumas who was benched for the entire seventh game against Seattle, has come back in very solid fashion. He has 14 points. Jordan for three. There's Dumas. Dumas gets back to it. The Bulls, 57. The Suns, 53. How many times have we seen that tonight where the Bulls play good defense? Offensive rebound, that's 11 for them. Offensive rebound. Scotty Pippen continues to show the touch. Richard Dumas played for Oklahoma City in the CBA, averaged 28 points there. Also played for John Lucas's Miami Tropics team in the USBL last summer. Cartwright. Bill Cartwright on target. He's four out of five. He has eight points. The Bulls lead by eight. Shot clock at four. Dumas lost it. Pippen feeds Jordan. Michael Jordan. 12 points for Jordan. And the Bulls have a 10-point lead. That was an excellent job by Scotty Pippen by giving it up to Jordan. He actually set a screen on KJ, who was trying to chase him down from behind. Gave Jordan a clear path to the basket. Mark West with his second field goal. Chicago 63. And Phoenix 55. Jordan passed on the outside. Sherman went to the floater. Beautiful finish by Michael. Oh, what a pass from Dumas. He spotted West. Pippen. Yes. Scotty Pippen with nine and a 13 for 18 points. Jordan with a crossover to set it up. And Barkley gets to it. His pass knocked away. Jordan with the save. And back come the Suns. Frank Johnson challenges and then changed his mind. Marley with the open three. Yes. Well, Dan Marley, who set an NBA playoff record by hitting eight in one game against Seattle, hits the first three-pointer for Phoenix tonight. Good, good offensive rebound there by Michael Jordan. By Pippen off the steal, and Johnson gets it back. Frank Johnson with a gorgeous ball face. What a play by the veteran Frank Johnson. The ball 71. The Sun, 64. Jordan had to save it. Grant rebounded by Barkley. You finally see the Sun's body stepping up. It's a little more physical now. Marley on the final. Marley getting inside. And Phoenix has moved within five. 
Evan Johnson. Dumas puts it down. Richard Dumas dying to bring the Suns with it. Three. Tucker with the shot clock running down. Final seconds of the quarter. Pippen extends to 73-69. George with the step and pitched it out. Full swing it. They did not have the good shot. Now Jordan finds the good shot. What patience by the ball team. Jordan penetrates, kicks it to BJ who has a shot. He doesn't take it. He pitches to Pax who has a shot. He doesn't take it. Who winds up taking the shot? The guy that started the whole thing, Michael Jordan. Wow. Sean Wyatt says if they turned off the crowd record with uh, the sun setting up. Scott Williams, who started this fourth quarter, able to field that long pass. Williams played well in the first half. Jordan able to penetrate, and the Bulls with a 77-69 lead. Right, Johnson. The Bulls by six. They have led all the way. Again, the double team, and Barkley had to throw it out. Again, the double team, Armstrong over. Johnson with the shot. Johnson just to beat the 24, and the Bulls lead by four points. Charlie and Barkley converge to get a piece of it. Look out, the foul called on Scott Williams. Jordan with the steal, and Jordan goes all the way. Eight and a half remaining, fourth quarter, six-point Chicago lead. Dumas going last. You can see here that Chicago has gone to their three-guard offense right now with Michael Jordan really playing small forward. Jordan off the dribble. 25 for Jordan. Only on the transition. Nice job protecting the ball with Jordan looking for the steal though, with a four-point lead. Barkley chest to chest with Williams going cross court for Paxson. Phoenix Suns have hit their last four shots. Here comes Armstrong looking to help, then he drops back. Oh, and a move, Barkley with the spin. They have KJ trying to play Michael Jordan, and Chicago's trying to get it over to him for a mismatch. And Jordan able to head off the fake on Johnson. Evan Johnson trying to penetrate and was stripped. Pippen around Dumas, around age. Oh, my. You know, that was a bad play. First ball by Dumas, because he tried to steal the ball, and then Scotty just took it all the way. Now Barkley with six on the 24. Barkley, yes. Charles very close to a travel when he started that move. Harley taking advantage of an overplay, rebounded by Grant. It's a three on one. Armstrong for Pippen. See, when you crash the offensive board on Chicago, they will get out of run on you, and that's what happened there. Michael Jordan able to swing it to the corner. Bulls not rushing their shots, again showing the patience. Now Armstrong is open for the three-pointer, and hits it. Mark showing the patience of a championship team. Johnson, Bulls 96, and the Suns, 87. Chicago Bulls seeking to take away the home court advantage of the Phoenix Suns with the victory here in game one. Game two Friday night here in Phoenix, then they move to Chicago for games three and four. Barkley for three. Charles Barkley hammers the three-point range to bring Phoenix with it six. Just under one minute to go in the game. There's still plenty of time left in this basketball game. They need a few breaks, but that's not one of them right there. Well, the whole team of the Phoenix Suns just watch Michael just go in for the easy layup. So the Chicago Bulls take game one. They went by as many as 20. Phoenix did come back, but Chicago led all the way, and they win it 100 to 92. And we're ready for game number two of this best of seven. Mark West and Bill Cartwright. The Suns control the opening tip. Kevin Johnson met at midcourt by B.J. Armstrong. Richard Dumas given the room. Barkley off the pick. Barkley from the outside is able to hit on his first attempt. Johnson with the steal. Battled away by Jordan and scooped up by Pippen, leading to the fast break. Jordan. Yes. And the game is tied at two. Barkley from deep. Suns and the Bulls are tied at two. Oh, beautiful alley-oop for 
Scotty Pippen a look away thrown by Michael Jordan. Here's Dumas. Hard driving move by Richard Dumas. Pippen lost it. Dumas with the steal. Three on one for the side. Jordan looks like Michael wants to get to it early offensively. He's come out shooting. Suns and Bulls tied at six. They trap Johnson. West for Barkley. And more importantly, we're talking about a foul on Grant, which is two, and they need him to play Barkley. Molly protecting. And then fires down. Suns fortunate to come up with that loose ball. And Dumas has given Phoenix an 11-8 lead. Oliver Miller has come on and blocks Cartwright. Coming up with the rejection, nice hesitation move by Kevin Johnson. So the Suns lead 13-8. Pippen right back. Yes, Scotty Pippen wasting no time getting down four. For three. Pippen has Grant in the open floor. Yes, and it counts. Hartley switches off to Pippen. Now met by a double team. Grant. Well, look by Scotty Pippen off, off the trap in the corner. Now Barkley posting up. Now Barkley able to hit the turnaround on Scotty Pippen. The Suns lead by two, and Barkley off to a fast start. Well, Bill Cartwright able to hit, and the game is tied at 17. The little things that KJ pointed out go back to the conversation with Bill Jackson, coach of the Bulls, prior to the first game, saying that. Pippen gets inside. Pippen on the follow. So both clubs are hot. Chicago 8 4 11. Phoenix 8 4 11. Scott Williams guarding Charles Barkley. Williams coming on for the first time. Jordan for three. Yes. Michael Jordan hitting from downtown. He now has seven points. Has just passed Magic Johnson as Barkley gets inside. Jordan with seven points, three out of six from the field. Comes back to Bar Barkley. Chambers. The Suns and the Bulls tied at 24. Kevin Johnson being guarded by Trent Tucker. Kevin Johnson. With a second field goal. Pippen off the hesitation dribble. Pippen for Williams. What a play by Scotty Pippen. Pippen. Final seconds of the first quarter. Haynes to the fadeaway. Yes, and it counts. As the second quarter gets underway, Michael Jordan gives it up to B.J. Armstrong. And the Bulls now lead 30 to 29. Tied at 31. Michael Jordan with nine points, and the Bulls lead by two. Barkley stepping around Grant. 14 for Barkley, and he's tied the game at 33. Was Michael Jordan with a sweet stroke? I think right now with Phoenix, they're playing well defensively. Paul Westbrook just feel good about that, but they got to get back here. And Grant is able to hammer at home. He thought he was fouled. Bulls have a two-point lead. Again, Jordan facing a double team as Miller comes over to help. At least Scott Williams open, and he takes it to the hole. Well, right there, you saw that Charles Barkley had to make a decision. Do I run out of Scott Williams, or do I continue to guard Horace Grant up under the basket? And you can see that decided to take Horace Grant. By Scott. Miller. Good luck from Marley. Post 39. The Suns. 37. Grant posting Barkley. Williams. So Scott Williams getting to the offense. Six points for Williams. Pippen broke it up. Nobody back for the Suns. Jordan. All the way. Six 
16. The Bulls now lead by four. Here's George. Oh, what a pass for Horace Grant. You talk about beautiful, unselfish basketball. There's give and go. Pass, cut to the basket, get it back, and then either score or give it off to a teammate. Michael Jordan in the Bulls. Harley. Barkley with the setup. Harley could not finish it. The Bulls lead 47 to 39. Barkley being guarded by Pippen. Single coverage. And Barkley now has 18. Armstrong, yes. And the Bulls have hit their last eight shots. Another team on Pippen who gets it out. Grant off the pick. Beautifully done. As they swing the ball around, looking for the open court. Now that's one you rarely see. The pass was slightly off, but he was still able to get it and was able to convert. Coming out of that last timeout, Ahmad overheard Phil Jackson telling the Bulls they like the tempo, they feel they're in control as Michael Jordan tips it in. Now Barkley operating against King, got it back to A. And the Suns finally hit a three-pointer. They missed their first four. Jordan chased by Chambers. Barley, they continue the double up. Shot clock at one. King gets inside. Again, we're talking about team defense. See, you got to get a man rotate. You can let, let him pass it to the outside. Never let him pass it in inside for a lay. Holes for the 13 point advantage. Barkley. Charles pulling his way and then going to the left hand. Chambers to the scoop. Rebound. Barkley. Oh, what a play by Charles Barkley. The Bulls by nine. If you're wondering why we were talking about four or five passes for Chicago and then suddenly Jordan shoots a quick one, he was trying for a two for one. Get one up, see if it goes in. No, he'll get the last one back. And Barkley throw the foul. Barkley all the way rejected by Pippen. Tom Chambers starting the second half. Yes, and it counts. Chambers got the step. Suggs with it one point. Nice play and Scott Williams extends. Jordan. Horace Grant with the rebound and pops it back out. Here's Jordan for three. Yes. So Michael Jordan with a second three-pointer. He has 24. The Bulls regroup now lead by eight. The Suns have knocked it down to a one-point Chicago lead. Johnson on the penetration. Barkley. Charles Barkley. Charles Barkley puts it back. Gets inside. The Bulls 66. The Suns 62. George with the spin gives it back. Grant. Nice touch by Horace Grant. The Suns looking to tie the series in one apiece. Chambers not able to hit. Miller able to chase it down. Bulls want to return to Chicago up 2-0. Marley. Marley with his first field goal, a three-pointer. Jordan lost it. Marley with the steal. Jordan in pursuit. Marley. The Suns within one. Jordan. Yes. And they do answer. The Bulls 70. The Suns. 67 is Armstrong off the turnover, goes to the pull-up. And the Bulls now lead 72-67. But a bad shot by Barkley. You mentioned the better shot selection by Charles. There have been a, a couple that have got off the mark. We just saw it a moment ago, and it leads to another Chicago field goal. B.J. Armstrong with eight points. Johnson off the dribble. Rejected. Grant came over to help. Here's Chambers. Oh, oh. And Jordan rebound. See, that's what I was talking about, the half court. Rich Pippen on the layup, and the basket counts. Harley cut off the baseline. Jordan went back in that direction. He thought it was fouled, and Grant able to convert. Horace Grant has hit 7 of 8. Bulls with a 78-67 lead, 440 remaining in the third quarter. Barkley gets inside. The basket counts, and a blocking foul. Now, but Scott Williams in his third year out of North Carolina. The script has been the same right throughout. He has come up very strong come playoff time. And against the 
Lakers three years ago. Did it against Portland last season. Berkeley again draws the foul. Another three-point opportunity. 32 for Barkley. Johnson is matched with Pippen. Pippen goes right at him. Frank Johnson about six foot one against the six seven. Scotty Pippen. Chambers blocked from behind by Jordan. Bulls have hit six of the last oh, oh, what a pass. Jordan for Grant. The Bulls by ten. We're approaching three minutes left in the third. Marley for three. Yes. Well, Dan Marley hit only one of his first five. And he's hit his last two. Danny A with a good looking drive. To bring Phoenix within five. Johnson. The Bulls by three. The steal by Marley. Johnson with Barkley. Barkley joins Phoenix within one. The Bulls 83. The Suns 82. Jordan. So Michael Jordan to the floater. They get Chicago a three-point lead. Barkley wants to stay in. He is hurting. The reverse. Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan has 30. The Bulls now lead 87. 82. Chambers. Tom Chambers sweeping from left to right to cut it to three. He's being guarded now by Paxson. Marley for three. Yes. And the game is tied. B.J. Armstrong and Horace Grant posting up on Charles Barkley. The Bulls lead 89-87. Scoop Rashad came out of that last timeout and said that Phil Jackson told his team five times Phoenix has come at us tonight. They're going to come at us one more time. We've got to hold them off and make the push. And Charles Barkley has tied the game at 89. He has 37 points. Here's Jordan. the rebound. And one point of the first half. Chicago led by his money. That's 14 points. Lead all the way. Phoenix with the lead for the first time since the first quarter. E.J. Armstrong dumps it off. Horace Grant rejected, but hits on the recovery, and the game is tied at, at 91. Pippen checking the 24. Five remaining. John Paxson line drives it home for his first field goal. Shot clock at six. A comes back to A. Yes. And A just ties the game at 93. A with 10 points. Paxson for three. Oh, John Paxson, a notorious street shooter. Given the room, and he took advantage. Strong move by Miller. Bowls by one. Jordan. Michael has 32 points. Michael Jordan. He's getting good looks. Age for three. Barkley missed the tip. Strong gets to it. You see gang rebounding by Chicago. Everybody tries to help out. And Jordan able to finish it off. And the foul. Jordan to the fadeaway. Michael Jordan with another big shot. He has 38 points. Following the series of fakes, Michael Jordan makes it 40 points. And the ball with a 106-98 lead. Aims for three. Yes. Bulls 106. The Suns 101. Seven out of the 24. Jordan. Chambers with the rebound. Michaels had the hot hand. In the fourth quarter, he'd hit five or seven for that miss. Each around Pippen. What a move by Danny Ainge. Five straight points by Ainge. And he's brought the Suns with him.
right to the hoop. Post did not want a foul. 108, 105. The, the Chicago Bulls want to make history three in a row. And they're focused and they're doing it with aggressive defense and execution on offense. So the Bulls make it 2-0. That will count as a three-pointer. The basket counts. So the final score, as Danny Ames converts again from downtown, the Bulls 111, the Suns 108. Czar Paul Westfall was telling us earlier about some unusual matchups that he would make some unique changes for tonight's game. The man has a lot of courage. He's going to try and shake it up. He figured I'm down 0-2. What the heck going into their building? How about giving KJ, Kevin Johnson, the challenge of guarding Michael Jordan? He felt it would get his mind off the offense make him concentrate on something else. And you see, because of the way they matched up, Michael Jordan winds up on Kevin Johnson right now. He has to pick him up in transition. Now Marley posting up. Armstrong gets help from Cartwright. Marley for Dumas to the reverse. Richard Dumas had the excellent first game in this series. Here's Johnson, yes. And the Suns with a 4-0 lead. And Michael Jordan puts the Bulls on the board. Barkley setting for the three, and he hits it. Charles Barkley had about a half hour to line that shot up. But the elbow must be feeling good. And you know what? I like how Phoenix has come out to start this game. They're taking their threes, they're playing loose, and this is going to be a, a tough game for Chicago. D.J. Armstrong cuts it to a 7-4. Phoenix lead, and it's Armstrong now guarding Johnson. Good luck, and Dumas puts it away. So the assist for Kevin Johnson, and the Suns lead 9-4. Dumas with the steal. He had that one diagnosed. The Suns with an 11-4 advantage. And Phoenix has more energy right now than Chicago does. You can see it. All right, here's Pippen. And it's tipped home by Jordan. And Johnson was able to penetrate, could not finish it. Armstrong, with West getting back, he goes around it. was facing the 6'10", Mark West gave him a head fake, and he left him behind. Mark West putting moves on Bill Cartwright, and goes to the jump hook. Mark West has seen limited action over the first two games, 14 minutes, game one. Cartwright, Pippen gets inside, and he's rejected by West. Johnson knocked it away from Armstrong. Another block by West, but Cartwright able to recover. Suns lead 13-10. Well, Mark, during that last time out, uh, Charles Barkley checked in with team doctor Richard Emerson regarding his injured right elbow. Of course, Barkley with a couple of rebounds early and a three-pointer, and he told the doctor, I think we're going to be all right. Mark? And Barkley is stopped. Here comes Pippen. He has Armstrong. P.J. Armstrong. That's a two-pointer. His foot on the line. Suns 15 and the Bulls 14. Here's West. Dumas on the tip. And the Suns now lead by three. Bulls try to break, but the Suns did get back. Jordan with Rowe for three. Yes. Michael Jordan has seven, and he has tied the game at 17. Here is Pippen. Bulls with a 9-2 taken a two-point lead. Armstrong. E.J. Armstrong once again providing much damage to the Phoenix Suns. Here's Marley. Yes. And Marley over the first two games not able to get into it in the first half. In both situations he came on in the second half. That's his first field goal of the night. Here is Pippen. Scotty Pippen getting good looks. His second field goal has four. The Bulls now lead by four. Jordan after feeling around for the presence of Marley. Phoenix trying to cut it to a 2 1 lead. Chicago's had to go up 3 0, and Michael Jordan puts the Bulls up 27 19. Dan Marley just stood in that corner even after the steal, never moved. He just couldn't believe that Michael Lefter came up with it that clean. Dumas with the second effort following the rejection. Jordan off the crossover. Oh, he's on fire. Michael Jordan with 13. <laughs> Dumas stripped. Jordan knocking it away. Dumas, Miller with the tip. 
of the middle. So the Bulls now lead 29-25, 20 seconds remaining. Danny Age, who had the strong game on Friday night, has come on for the first time. Here's Johnson, yes, four seconds left in the quarter, and the Suns with it too. Marley with the intercept. Marley for Dumas, and they tied it at 29. One and five, ten seconds to go in the quarter. So a three-guard alignment for Chicago. Jordan, Armstrong, and Tucker, along with Williams and Grant. Armstrong is open for three. 11 for B.J. Armstrong. Marley, Johnson, and Ainge in a three-guard set. Marley for three, yes. And Dan Marley is on target. Jordan with the room. Too much room for Michael Jordan. From the Phoenix point of view, here's West getting inside. Mark West with his second field goal, and again, we're tied. 34 apiece, Scott Williams. Johnson gets it down for Chambers, and oh, Phoenix is up by here. two. Horace Grant from deep. That his first field goal, the Bulls, and the Suns tied at 36. And Johnson with five assists. This is the best he's played in the series. Chambers. Tom Chambers off the bench. Kevin Johnson backing his way on B.J. Armstrong. Chambers. Yes. The Suns have hit eight of their last nine, and Tom Chambers a major factor. He's hit three of three from the field. for the ricochet, the Suns lead by four. Johnson, but it was met by Cartwright on a switch and was able to get the shot off on target. Armstrong off the weave set up by Chicago that has been so effective, and the Suns now lead by four. Of course, you'd rather have Charles Barkley in the lineup. We're talking about the, the league's most valuable player, but at times, with the back end moves, and he does hold the ball too long as Kevin Johnson is able to hit. Johnson out guarded by Tucker, goes to the left hand, beautiful move! Kevin Johnson at his very best, off the crossover, beat Trent Tucker, and the Suns showing much life, now lead by eight points. Well, because of KJ is so alive, he's making smart decisions, he knows when to drive, when to penetrate now, and the pass is right there by Armstrong. Bad pass by Chambers. Armstrong for Tucker, spots up for three. With Pippen and Jordan having the ability to penetrate, just stand back there, Trent, shoot the open shot. Yes, they wanted Trent Tucker in the... That's an offensive foul. They wanted Trent for the Craig Hodges role, but he has not been consistent with the shot. Danny Ainge holds that screen, sticks the hip into B.J. Armstrong, trying to come over the top of it a little bit too long. The offensive foul is called. B.J. Armstrong knows that. He stuck his nose in there, took the punishment. Scotty Pippen bringing Chicago with it one. Kevin Johnson lifted late in the game on Friday night for Frank Johnson. Barkley. Charles Barkley with the bucket and the foul. Jordan and Barkley both scoring 42, only the second time in NBA Finals history that two opponents have hit 40 plus in the same game. Back in 69, it was Jerry West of the Lakers scoring 41. John Havlicek of Boston put in 43 as Michael Jordan cuts it to a two-point lead. Dumas. Crowd wanted to travel on Dumas, and then he lost possession. Jordan for three. Michael Jordan hitting the three-pointer, his second of the night, and he has 20 points for the game. Here's Marley for three, yes. And Dan Marley hits again. And Michael Jordan was really upset. He switched on KJ. BJ was supposed to play Dan Marley. And the good pass is there by Scotty Pippen. Now Marley picks up Jordan. Shot clock at six. Jordan. Oh, he set it up with the crossover. 22 for Jordan. The Bulls by one. Stacy King. Trying to change his mind. Marley for Barkley. Oh, and he's rejected by King. It's a goal down. Johnson with the step. To Kevin 
Johnson extends to a three-point Phoenix lead. Scotty Pippen off the pick. Good screen set by Bill Cartwright. West set up by Dumas. Art West with his third field goal. E.J. Armstrong has had the hot hand. Now Jordan posting up. Oh, very, very friendly rim for Michael. Cartwright. Yes. Eight points for Cartwright. Johnson, a fourth shot. West. Or was that a pass intended by by Kevin Johnson, but Mark West able to put it home. Suns 64 and the Bulls 63 with four minutes gone by in the third. Horace Grant with his second field goal. And there's the missing factor for Chicago in the first half. The fact that he had to go to the bench with three personal fouls. They need him back on the floor for a number of reasons. Defense, rebounding, shot blocking, and those points that he gives. Oh, what a second effort. Dumas forced the issue on that first thrust and then was able to tip it home and the Suns lead by one. Armstrong, he is on fire. 17 for B.J. Armstrong. He's hit 8 of 11. Dumas with a pretty move, but not complete it. There's Pippen going all the way. Paul Westfall wants to talk it over. Chicago. Scott Williams. Oh! Three 
spotted by Oliver Miller. hit on 9 of 14. Johnson set up by Barkley. Kevin Johnson has dramatically turned and he's given the Suns a 94 88 lead. The shot clock at 3. Jordan for 3. Way off. Forced into a very difficult shot. Barkley pops it down. Ames shooting for 3. Yes! Danny Ainge converts from downtown and the Suns lead at 99 88 to a nine-point Phoenix lead. Marley eluding Pippen. Yes, Dan Marley. Seven of ten. He has 19. The Suns 101 and the Bulls 90. Pippen to Grant. Phoenix 101. Chicago 92. Three-point attempt by Way short. Here is Armstrong. And now the Suns will call the time. Suns by seven. Jordan going black. Phoenix 101. Chicago 96. Just under four minutes remaining in the game. And Pippen will throw in. Oh, Pippen threw it off the back of him. What a play. He fooled the Suns. Jordan with the pull up. Oh, a tip by Grant. Horace Grant brings Chicago within one. Barkley to the reverse. And Charles Barkley did execute to give the Suns a 103 100 lead. And at 35 to go, fourth quarter. Jordan sets up Grant. And the foul. Horace Grant very quietly only going in foul trouble has come on strong. Stretch three point play game tied 103. Barkley comes out for it, checks the clock, works it down. Five seconds to go. Here's Barkley off the clock. Rebound Jordan, calling for time. The clock showing two tenths of a second. Hip into the basket to Grant, and we go to overtime. That almost worked. Smooth stroke by Pippen, who has 26. The Bulls, 105. The Suns, 103. Ames with the step. Barkley through the foul. Took a hip check from Scott Williams. Charles seeking to tie the game. The Suns and the Bulls at 105 apiece. the game at 107. Shot clock at six. Shot clock at four. And the Phoenix Suns in possession. We're down to 20 seconds in the overtime. 15 on the shot clock. Kevin Johnson checking with Paul Westfall. No timeout being called. They want to continue the play. Barkley going at Grant. Here's Johnson on the penetration.
Wade. Marley on the rebound. Good second effort by Dan Marley to bring the Suns within two. Armstrong with the look down low for Jordan. Now Jordan to the fadeaway. Oh, an enormous basket for Michael Jordan, who has been struggling from the fourth quarter on. He's given Chicago a four-point lead as we approach one minute remaining. Johnson off the dribble. Sets up Charles Barkley. It's a two-point Chicago lead. Pepper, that was deflected short, and Barkley gets to it. Ten seconds left in the second overtime. The Suns are down by two. Marley. Yes! Dan Marley has tied the game at 114. Timeout called by Chicago. Three and two, ten seconds to go. Grant. For Pippen, he has the shot. Gets it off. Not a mismatch. Well, Scott Williams with only his second field goal, but both have been significant. Johnson, yes. Kevin Johnson, who has played every minute of this game, and this is the start of the third overtime. Here's Jordan. The Bulls lead by two. Not clock at five. understanding why coaches emphasize points early in the game. Go back to when at the end of the first quarter Pippen went a little bit too soon to the basket. And Jordan gets the roll. Five point Phoenix lead. And the Suns just looking to run the clock down in a remarkable come from behind victory. The Phoenix Suns in triple overtime have defeated the Chicago Bulls 129 121. Welcome back to Chicago on a 74 degree night in the Windy City. The road team 10 up and 5 down in the last 15 NBA Finals games. That includes all three games this series. So the home court has not exactly been an advantage. Johnson finding Mark West. Himself missed assignment by the ball. Back to the live action. Barkley backs in, faces a double team. Dumas is open. Richard Dumas had a strange game on Sunday night. Right, right, double team. Grant with the recovery. Suns four. The Bulls two. Barkley had his uh, left hand move cut off by Jordan. Dumas to the reverse. Richard Dumas has been getting. The good start early, that has been the pattern, and he's come out with a couple of hoops here in the early going. Phoenix 6 and Chicago 2. Michael Jordan hitting on his first attempt. Dumas with a beautiful move off the fake to beat Pippen, set up by Barkley. Scotty Pippen ran over, formed a double team with Horace Grant. It was a, a double team that was a difficult one because the floor was so spread as Michael goes to the basket, misses, but Horace Grant tips it in. The ball's up two games to one. Game five here in Chicago on Friday night. And the Suns want to make it a game six back in Phoenix on Sunday. Michael Jordan is two of three. Harley gets down, so the Suns take advantage on the transition and lead 10-8. Dumas. back. Pippen all the way. Bulls and Suns are tied at 10. Barkley with his first shot. Pippen works his way inside. Oh, what a move by Scotty Pippen. The Bulls lead by two. Right, not able to hit. Grant off the fast start. He has six. West off a double 
14. Rebound, Grant. Well, the Bulls have to like the intensity they're getting here as Armstrong finishes off the break to give Chicago a six-point lead. Only not given any room from three-point land. Miller, Barkley, Charles getting the good position. And the Bulls now lead by four for Barkley, his first field goal. Steal this time by Richie Dumas in oh, transition. Behind the back and hits on the drive. What a move by Richard Dumas. He now has eight. Second roll resulting in the turnover. Pippen for Armstrong. Chicago leads by four as we come up on four minutes remaining. In this first quarter, Dumas. Yes. Richard Dumas, five out of six for ten points. Bot right. Played by Barkley. Jordan. Yes. Seven points for Michael Jordan. That's Molly for three. So Michael took 43 shots. He's going to be icing his elbow, too. Pippen gets inside. And Kevin Johnson able to penetrate. The Bulls now lead 23. 18 with two minutes and 40 seconds remaining first quarter. Bulls have hit their last five shots. Now Jordan guarded by Dumas. Marley over to help and leaves Pippen open. And Pippen goes to the hoop. No, no interior defense that time. No one stepped up to meet Scottie Pippen. Everybody in the stadium knew he was going to fake and put it on the floor. Barkley getting the position on Pippen and Charles with his second field goal. He has four. The Bulls 25 and the Suns 22. Bulls have hit their last seven straight as Michael Jordan makes it four for seven for nine points. Here's another problem. Now, who does McCray play? Does he play Dumas, who's very active and quick, or does he play Barkley, who will overpower either Pippen or McCray? Doesn't matter. Right now, they just switch back and put McCray on Barkley, then Pippen ran over to take Barkley. And Charles Barkley has hit three for five. He has six points. Bulls have led by as many as seven. Michael Jordan on target. He's five out of eight. 11 points. Chicago 29. Phoenix 25. Johnson gets inside. Armstrong on the run. Chambers getting back. The lead for Pippen. Stacey King has come on, as has John Paxson. Marley with the rebound. Nice fake on McRae. So the Suns now trail 31 to 29. Ahmad had mentioned coming out of the timeout that Chicago went with McRae over King. A nice backdoor pass by Charles Barkley to Danny Ainge. First time McRae has played in this series. Seldom used during the season. Jordan, yes, and it counts. Now Barkley facing the triple team. Charles was so concerned about McRae coming down from the top that he lost sight of Stacey King from behind him. Jordan with 15. The Bulls lead 35 to 31. Here's Chambers. Yes, a two-point Chicago lead. Barkley with the steal. Well, Charles had that diagnosed, and he's tying the game at 35. Had some words of advice for Jordan as he finished it off. Oh, yeah, he's just letting them know that he here to try to win a championship. It has been a splendid playoff run for Michael. I asked him, is this the best that he has played all season long? I think it has been because I think what's at stake is a little bit more challenging than what, you know, was at stake going through the 82 games. You know what I mean? Uh, once you go through it a certain amount of times, uh, you have a monotony st starting to set in, so you don't really have the challenge that that's there today or uh, at this particular time. And uh, I think that's helped me navigate my game and be more consistent with my play. Age. Age on the follow. Three minutes gone by in the second quarter. And the Bulls now lead 37 35. Here's Jordan. 19 for Jordan. 65% from the floor. West cuts it to a three-point Chicago lead, and the Suns are shooting 50%. Well, West Wall, the thing feels pretty good. He hasn't had to play KJ on Michael a whole lot here so far, and they're still close enough. If he needs him a lot in the second half, he should be fresh. Michael Jordan, 10 for 14, 23 points. It counts in the foul. Dumas. Blocked by King, and Dumas will go to the line. West 
working hard for the shot. Mark West is three for three. Six points. The Bulls now lead 45-43. Jordan with some room. 11 of 16. 27 points. The NBA Finals record most points in a half. 35 by Michael Jordan. Game one. Last year's series against Portland. a three attack by Marley and Dan Marley did get the good look. Barkley almost picked it off. Packs it for three. Rebound Grant. And again Danny Ainge able to get to the loose ball. Here's Marley spotting up for another three. Yes. Dan Marley again. And he's brought the Suns within two. Balls over for the last six. Michael Jordan has returned and gets right to it. 29 for Jordan. Chambers with room. It was deflected by with the block. Jordan around Marley. Jordan Marley! Yes! Well, if Michael is dangerous when he gets the rebound and he can come go close to go. He's going to dunk on two guys. What a lane opens up. No one closes down. You've got to get to Michael sooner. You let him get inside the foul line area. You know he's going to take off from there, elevate, and keep flying to the front of the rim. That has not been one of Charles's forte. He's shooting from downtown. Michael Jordan, 14 for 20. He has 33 points. Final seconds. Marley. Yes, and the foul. Potential four-point play. The three-pointer by Marley. Within one. On right. With a show the ball move on West. Grant shooting. Oh, goes 63. The Suns 60. Gumas posting up Armstrong. Help from Cartwright. And Gumas lost it. Try to hold it up there with one hand. That's what happens. Pippen. Beautiful lead for Scotty Pippen. And a quick 20 taken by Paul Westfall. of 13. Michael Jordan once again with the extension once again taking it to the basket. Out of 5 on the 24. Out of 3. Jordan and Barkley with the rebound. Pops it down. Dumas ahead of the field. Able to elude Jordan. The Bulls 68 and the Suns 62. Richard Dumas has 15. Chambers and Grant able to get to it. Scott Williams has replaced Bill Cartwright. Jordan around Dumas. Yes! And it counts! Now Marley guarding Jordan. Dumas also there. Pippen. Oh, he was, he was left free. Scotty Pippen takes advantage of the double team. Pippen has 14. The Bulls lead by 10. Johnson. Rare jump shot for Kevin Johnson. That's only his second field goal. The Bulls lead by eight. Johnson slicing through. Nice setup. Chambers rejected by Grant. And I think they should now run an inside play to, to uh, Charles Barkley. Ball's fortunate to get it back. Here's Jordan. And again Jordan with it. Armstrong for three. Second three-pointer, but they extend to an 11-point advantage. Johnson rejected by Williams. Last touch by Kevin Johnson. Well, Pat Riley 
told us when we were playing the Boston Celtics that if we let one guy come in for a layup or if we pick a guy up, we will get fined. And the same thing, BJ for a three. And the same thing that the, he's doing with the New York Knicks. And you see Michael Jordan is able to drive here in this series anytime he wants to. All right, Miller able to put it down. Jordan for Grant. Oh, beautiful pass. The Bulls lead 79-71 with 4.25 remaining. The difference between last game for KJ, Kevin Johnson, and this one is he made a couple jumpers early, which got his confidence level up. Right now, he's just two for nine from the floor. Not real confident shooting. Michael Jordan, very confident shooting the ball. 41 for Jordan. His mind started to go up, crowd wanted to travel, and then it's thrown away. Oh, Jordan and Ainge trash talking. Ainge with his hands on Jordan. Jordan just told him, Get your hands off me. Exactly. Now it's heating up. This is a series now. The series I come to expect that it was, was going to be. Like I said earlier, it was too much friendship earlier, and now they're getting into it the way a series in terms of a championship is supposed to be. Looks like Jordan and Barkley had some words. Exactly. Walker for King. Oh, nice play. What beautiful passing on the inside. Shot clock down to seven. Frank Johnson giving the shot. Frank Johnson hits the open jumper. This is a good move by Coach Paul Westphal. What he did, he inserted another shooter. And Kevin Johnson able to penetrate. So the Suns come roaring back. Well, remember I was talking about Trey Johnson again from the corner. Jordan got the step. And rejected by West. Michael Jordan with the step. West with the block. Jordan. Nice pull up over by Michael Jordan. He has 45, the Bulls lead, 88-85. Isolate Jordan. Paxson open for three. John Paxson gets his second three-pointer. Bulls lead, 91-85. Phil Jackson rather uh, would rather take a chance with Scott Williams, picking up a sixth, than Horace Grant. Here's Johnson, yes! Kevin Johnson with only his fourth field goal, he has 12. The Bulls now lead 91, 87. Pippen for Williams. Chicago leads by six. Barkley feeling around for the presence of Williams. Chambers. And Dumas able to score with the putback. He has 17. Johnson with the ball fake. Went all the way. Here comes Jordan. Forty-seven for Michael Jordan. The Bulls ninety-five. The Suns eighty-nine. What Paul Westphal was upset about is he felt that when Kevin Johnson went to the basket, they were riding him out on the hip, and that's the reason he didn't finish the play. It counts. Michael, the other night, hit only six of his last 20 from the field. Bill Cartwright with an opportune time for his first field goal. Right now, Phoenix have their best offensive team out on the court right now. And Johnson takes it to the basket. Beautiful penetration move by Kevin Johnson. He has 14. The Bulls 97. The Suns 93. Crossover move for Jordan and finishes with the When he crosses over right to left, I cannot stay with him. I know it's coming, and there it is, right to left. He gets the step, and then the elevation, and then the finish. Well, what happens is Michael Jordan knows his foot speed is, is better than uh, Dan Marley's, and he's just using all the quickness that he has. And for Jordan, 50 points. The Bulls lead 100, 94. Pippen is rejected by Barkley. Knocked out of bounds by Ainge. What a play by Jordan, who was able to elevate, extend in the air as he made certainty of someone to pass the ball to. And then somebody just happened to be Scotty Pippen, and the guy that just happened to block the shot happened to be Charles Barkley, who, going back in the game earlier, had a few words for 
one another when there was some bumping and shoving going on, and Charles reminded him once again that that was me that got that block. Charles has played 43 of the 45 minutes up to this point, and in the fourth quarter, we worried with fatigue set in. Kevin Johnson hits a baseline jumper. Rebound Marley, so the jump shot has been off in the second half for Michael Jordan. Johnson, yes, Kevin Johnson has turned it up in the second half, and he's brought the Suns within four with 2.35 remaining in the game. Scotty Pippen taking advantage of a double team on Jordan, and then he's called for a double, no, wait a moment, a jump ball, the call was changed. And the Suns are upset. And it's controlled by Chicago. Jordan using the official Hugh Evans as a screen, and then he's pushed. Oh, Ainge and Jordan going at each other. Ainge and Jordan had a incident earlier, and they continue to talk. Michael had the finger pointed. In the face of Ainge, he did not like personal foul, Phoenix, 22. Did not eight. like the body work from Ainge. The personal is called on Ainge and a double technical on Jordan. And Ainge handed out. You're gonna watch it right here. After the foul, Michael throws his elbow up. Danny was hollering for an elbow. Then they got tangled up here. Danny gets mad, grabs the ball. Michael, they're just exchanging right now. The Bulls have a five-point lead, 220 remaining of the game. Chicago 104, Phoenix 98. Now Barkley backing Grant, who's playing with five. Nice move by Charles Barkley. Off the spin to bring the Suns within four. Chicago playing the clock. Jordan with the step. Jordan going glass. Rebound Grant. That's a big bucket for Horace Grant, giving Chicago a six-point lead. Barkley for three. Rebound Marley. Fires for three. Rebound Barkley. And that's a goal ten. The basket will count. Chicago with the ball and a four-point lead. Jordan flashing in the paint. Rebound Chambers. Johnson eluding Armstrong. Finding Barkley and the Suns move within two. With a minute one remaining, Phil Jackson takes a timeout. The steal by Armstrong! Armstrong took it away from Kevin Johnson. Now, they want to play good defense without fouling right now. There is a seven-second disparity between the shot clock and the game clock. Jordan, yes! And it counts! You, you know... It would have been better for Charles to foul him all the way than halfway foul him. Foul called on Barkley. Four-point lead for Chicago. Michael Jordan, 12 of 17 from the line. Gunning for point number 55. The Bulls lead by five. 13 and three-tenths seconds. And remember I was talking about whether John would hard foul Michael Jordan. It was time for that hard foul right there. Instead, instead of hard fouling, he lets Jordan get it up and he compounded by fouling him and it's a chance for the three-point play. The Bulls, 5-5. We'll be back in a moment. Jordan puts the ball on the floor, goes to the basket to try and initiate contact. Instead of taking his arms down, Charles Barkley tries to move under for the offensive foul. No good. Too much concentration, too much elevation. Michael Jordan on the drive to the basket. Gives Chicago the lead. And Michael Jordan with 55 points has tied Rick Barry for the second. Highest total in an NBA Finals game. Elgin Baylor with 61. Rick Barry had 55 back in 67 against Philadelphia. And now Michael Jordan with 55. Miller fires. So the Chicago Bulls have taken a three games to one lead on the Phoenix Suns. No team has ever come back.
from a 3-1 deficit to win the NBA Finals. Bulls with the three games to one lead control the opening tip. But Barkley continues to fire from outside and he's given the Suns a 2-0 lead. You can see that Grant doesn't feel early. There's a, a sense of urgency that he has to be up tight on him until he makes a few just like Kevin Johnson did from the left corner. Michael Jordan for three. Yes. Well, Michael wasting little time. His first field goal opportunity and he converts. Johnson. Yes. I'm afraid to see what the number might be tonight with Michael. Each game they've gone up 31 points, 42 points, 44, 55. Scotty Griffin with the backdoor layup. And that was a beautiful pass from Michael Jordan. All the defense was paying attention to him. He just whipped it through. Now Barkley posts up. Yes. Charles Barkley. Charles Barkley feeling it here in the early going. And he's given the Suns an 8-5 lead. Here's Jordan. So Michael has hit his first two, a three and a two for five points. Suns by one. And Phoenix has come out again with Kevin Johnson playing Michael Jordan. He hasn't gone inside. He's making it from the outside. Crowd looking for a travel on Mark West. No call. And the Suns lead 10-7. Jordan guarded by Marley. They'd like to get caught right in five. And they do. Suns by one. Suns have hit their last five shots. They missed their first four. Barkley off a double team. Yes. And it counts. Barkley will go to the line. Barkley passed on the three. And now looks to regroup. And now takes it by himself. Met by the double team. Had to pitch it out. Here's Dumas. Well done by the Sun. Patience, execution, the skills part of it, passing the basketball. Suns 15. And the ball's line. Barkley again. And the Suns have hit their last eight shots. And they now lead it 17-9. Cartwright, Strip, Pippen on the recovery. Here's Barkley for three. Marley trying to keep it alive. Marley does keep it alive. And the Suns get a new 24. Johnson with a beautiful crossover to set it up. Yes. There's the in-between game that Kevin Johnson uses so well. He did not try to force it and take it to the rim. The Suns back to the offense. They lead by eight. Open shot for Dumas. The Suns now lead 21-11. They have connected on 10 of their last 11 shots. Pippen with the fake. Line drive by Scotty Pippen. They double up on Barkley. Johnson. Oh, what a move by Kevin Johnson. He's hit four out of four. He has eight points. Suns lead by ten. And they've hit a left. Oh, the out of here for Michael Jordan. Again, the double on Barkley. Dumas from deep. Richard Dumas has been jump-starting the Suns. Jordan's pass broken up. Johnson for Barkley. Armstrong back. And Charles Barkley extends to a 27-15 lead. Barkley has hit five out of seven. 11 points. Nice pass. Dumas from Barkley. A reverse stuff by the rookie, Richard Dumas. That was supposed to be a back pick lob pass for Richard Dumas. Phoenix likes to run those after timeouts. Instead of going behind the screen, he inside cut to the basket because they took the back cut away, got the score. And the Suns have hit 14 of the last 17. They opened the game by missing their first four. And they have been on fire. Mark West extends to a 31-15 lead. Scott Williams has come on for the first time. Here is Armstrong. Dumas, yes, Richard Dumas has come out shooting. Five for five, he has ten points. The Suns lead 33-17, and the Suns have taken this crowd right out of it here at the start. Scott Bach is down to four. Scotty Pippen with his fourth bucket. Amon mentioned Phil Jackson sensing the tightness in the team, trying to loosen up a little bit, not happy that they're being out-rebounded. Stacey King with a nice drop step reverse move. So Dumas is now guarding Jordan. Pippen, eight 
Archer for Chicago. Miller rejected by Jordan. And here comes Williams, three on one for Chicago. Phoenix got back. Stacey King, who just checked in. Paxson, eluding Barkley, hits the three. Work. Barkley extending to a 35-28 lead. Barkley for Miller. Block. Miller again. Miller with the tip. Oliver Miller hanging in. Extends to a 37-28. Phoenix advantage. Six out of 24. And Grant gets it back out. Here's Paxson straight away for three. He's a two from downtown. That's a nugget. Jordan. Oh, a difficult shot. Michael Jordan with the turnaround. He has nine. Michael Jordan showing some signs after not looking to shoot for a long stretch. Jordan on the follow. Suns 40. The Bulls 38. Johnson off the dribble. to Dumas, getting it over. Will Purdue, and Dumas has 12 points. Phoenix leads by four. Armstrong for three. See, BJ got that three-pointer because two men jumped out at Michael Jordan. Jordan, yes. You know, that was, that was an experiment to see if he could use that same dribble move against Kevin Armstrong passed on the three, hits the two. Chicago, 45, Phoenix, 42. Charles calling for the ball, telling Kevin dribble right back here and give it to me again in the same spot as last time. Johnson penetrates. Kevin Johnson saw the opening, took advantage. Suns lead by one. Scotty Pippen. So the balls now hit a drought after the hot shooting. Surprise that he had that kind of room. And Barkley leads the Suns back. A little too much dribble by Charles. Dumas. Yes. Suns 51 and the Bulls 45. Dr. Fitzsimmons, senior executive vice president of the Suns. The commentator on the radio broadcast. Michael Jordan, 7 of 11. He has 15 points. Suns with a 51. 47 lead. Jordan had the shot deflected from behind. You mentioned that Phil Jackson not happy with his thought. He does have Stacey King and Scott Williams joining Jordan Pippen and Armstrong. Michael Jordan has 17. Suns 52. The Bulls 49. Barkley with a spin. Charles Barkley with a gorgeous move. Well, we need boards, and we, we thrive off defense. All right, good luck to you in the second half, Coach. Thanks, All right, back to you, Mark. And third quarter is underway with Richard Dumas taking it to the hoop, drawing the foul, and he will go to the line. Dumas with 16 points. Pippen. Oh, beautiful move by Scotty Pippen, who has 14. Evan Johnson guarding Michael Jordan. Shot clock at five. Jordan cuts it to a four-point. Phoenix lead. One thing Chicago has to guard against is thinking in their minds that, you know what, we can just hang around, hang around close enough, and then we'll put on a surge down the stretch. You have to watch out with the way Phoenix can score points. If they get hot in the last couple of minutes, you may not be able to catch them. Oh, Dumas able to hit on the scoop, and he threw the foul. It's Dumas again serving up a facial. The Suns lead by eight. What the Phoenix Suns are doing in their half court offense, they're really be executing the, uh, their offense are playing the half court very well. Michael Jordan line drives at home, Phoenix 61, and Chicago 55. Richard Dumas with all seven Phoenix points this third quarter. Barkley, yes, Charles Barkley has 20, the Suns 63, the Bulls 55. They isolate for Barkley. No help. 
And Barkley puts it down. Charles went one on one with Horace Grant, and Phil Jackson is very unhappy. Lamar, what the fans should understand with Richard Dumas, his man is always leaving to go double team. So tonight he's finding an open area where they can get in the ball and he can score off of that double team. Well, Purdue back on the floor, not able to hit on that good tip, and it's Dumas again. Richard Dumas got a long way, but I do like Richard Dumas' game, and uh, he's come on strong here uh, tonight. And the Suns able to elude the trap. Marley for three, yes! And Marley hitting his second from downtown, and the Suns open up a 13-point lead. Jordan stopped from behind. Dumas got a piece of it. Is it, is it tough getting riled up at Michael? Not at all. Not if he's trying to intimidate. Michael's a, a master at intimidation verbally. And uh, he probably can intimidate some people, but he can't intimidate Danny Ames. Uh, and hopefully, uh, if he go out to Danny, we'll have to go out to him. Yes, Danny Ames and Michael Jordan got into it in game number four. Jordan just drilled that. Quarter jump, so the Suns now lead 72-60 with 4.20 remaining in the third quarter. Corner. Paxson hits the three. He is four for four from downtown. Kevin Johnson. 14 for Johnson. And it's 74, Chicago, 66. Barkley played by Pippen. Barkley dumped it off. Nice play. Oliver Miller completing it. Brown looking for a travel. Johnson had it knocked away by Pippen. Three on one. Four on one. It's Jordan. The Sun 76. The Bulls 71. Half minute left. Third quarter. Pippen. Oh, tip hole. Terrific follow. Johnson for Miller. Miller on the tip. Nice recovery by the rookie from Arkansas. He's played well. He has eight points. Shot clock at seven. Tucker. Trent Tucker really effective off the dribble. And a clutch shot with the shot clock down to four. Marley. Nice move. Coaches now thinking about the decision. When do you bring back Barkley and Jordan? That's Scott good. Williams with his first field goal. Williams. Frank Johnson spotting the shot. Oh. Ames. Danny Ames. Oliver Miller did did the job keeping it alive and guiding it to age. Suns 86 and the Bulls 77. Barkley West, Marley up front. Johnson and Ainge at the guards. Five of the 24, Kevin Johnson. Yes, Kevin Johnson has had a solid game. Suns 88, Bulls 79. Jordan with the turnaround. And the Suns now lead by seven. Barkley forced out by Grant. Johnson eluding Williams. Beautiful play by Kevin Johnson stepping around the big man, Scott Williams. One other thing I see. I see the Phoenix team maturing as a half-court offensive team, understanding that it's the second, third, and fourth passes against great defense like Chicago that get you good shots. Ainge and Grant went for it. Grant able to control, and Kippen finishes it off. He thought he was fouled. Suns 92. The Bulls, 83, 545, remaining in the fourth quarter. Jordan went to the hesitation move. Barkley, rebound. Barkley on the run. Barkley for Eve. And the Suns lead 94, 83, as we come up on five minutes remaining in the game. Well, this crowd disappointed. They came here hoping to celebrate a three-way. Michael Jordan cuts it to nine. And here's Mistake. I'm sorry. What a major mistake, Marvin. He should have passed it to Chow for the dunk shot. Wild end to end play. Paxson. And Williams able to put it home. Paxson.
Jackson claiming he was fouled. Suns with the lead. Here's pressure by Chicago. Again, the Suns have no trouble with it. Barkley able to swing away. Phil Jackson takes a long walk. Felt there should have been a foul. Each hits the three. Phil Jackson looking for an offensive foul. And Danny Ainge connects from three-point range. The Suns now lead 99-88. Timeout called by Chicago. Smart move by Ainge. Michael Jordan hit the little turnaround, but what he really was trying to do was create a shot for Paxson. Ainge almost came to help out, but stayed at home. Michael couldn't get it to him. Barkley struggling for position. Johnson. Yes, and it counts. Kevin Johnson with the field goal, and he will go to the line. He was fouled by Michael Jordan. Here's Pippen, stripped. Frank Johnson got a piece of it. Use the clock right here. If you're Phoenix, uh, let it wind down. Take this shot when, uh, in the last second or two. Well, Kevin Johnson saw the opportunity. And with a burst to the basket, able to extend to a 10-point lead. 10-point Suns lead, and that will do it. The Phoenix Suns leading most of the way. Remain alive in this best of seven as they knock off the Bulls. 108 to 98. The Bulls now lead three games to two, but this series goes back to Phoenix. Bill Cartwright will jump against Mark West, and the Suns control the opening to Nice lead. Dumas was rejected by Grant. Good luck from Kevin Johnson, but Dumas was stopped. Michael Jordan on a pull-up. Yes. The Bulls three, and the Suns nothing. In this series, Charles, 35 of 46 for the night for 76 percent, but he misses on his first two. Marley. Dan Marley getting inside. The Bulls three. The Suns two. Now caught right over to help out. And again, the Suns play it beautifully. It goes through Barkley, and it led to the quick passing. And the field goal by West. Got clock at five. Armstrong for three. B.J. Armstrong, who had an off game on Friday in Chicago. Able to connect from downtown. The Bulls six. And the Suns four. Marley got the step. Yes, and it counts. Barkley backing Grant Armstrong, cheating over. And they work it to Marley. Yes, it's a three from Dan Marley. Suns lead by three. They double on Jordan. Six. Cartwright. Bill Cartwright. Very quiet in game number five. The Suns lead 10 9. Kevin Johnson. And it's tipped home. Dumas. Richard Dumas with the tip. Suns 12. Bulls 9. Jordan for three. And Michael Jordan has tied the game at 12. Phoenix has to be concerned that Richard Dumas doesn't get his head down and discouraged because he's guarding Michael Jordan. That's happened to a lot of players. They play so hard on defense and it doesn't seem to affect Jordan. They forget their offensive game. Adam Johnson providing a two-point lead. Open shot for Pippen. Barkley for Johnson goes all the way. Phoenix 16, Chicago 12. Right now, he knew that Phoenix was going to come out and play with such an emotional heart. It's a matter of withstanding it during the first quarter. Be close enough to then make the run. Scotty Pippen with his first field goal. Marley breaking down. Marley had the rebound knocked away by Grant. And he was looking for a foul. Armstrong had a hesitation dribble. Crowd roaring. They thought he stepped out of bounds. Jordan hits another three. So the Bulls lead by one. Charles Barkley supporting the Muhammad Ali theory of ultimate confidence throughout this entire series. Honestly believes in his team and that they're going to get it done. Armstrong with the open shot and the Bulls now lead it 19-16. Jordan pitched it back out. Cartwright able to get back to it. Goes down. Johnson with the steal. Three on one. Marley from Barkley. It counts. Five of the 24. Grant. Jordan pitches back to Grant. 
Pippen with the stop. Oh, what a move by Scotty Pippen. And the Bulls now lead by three. Age on a quick release for three. Second three-pointer from the very same spot. Just under three minutes left in this first quarter. Williams to the drive. Nice move by Scott Williams. We come up on two minutes remaining in the quarter. Jordan, yes. And Michael Jordan has ten points. The Bulls, 29. And the Suns, 26. Mark Albert, along with the Zara, the Telestrator, Mike Fratello, and Mike Richard. A score. Tucker for three. Trent Tucker buries the three-pointer. So sit the league's best three-point shooter down and B.J. Armstrong bring a guy in like Trent Tucker who does the same job. Puts three-pointers right in the bottom of the net. Mike Jordan from long range. That's a three. Michael Jordan with his third three-pointer and the Bulls now lead by seven. Final seconds of the quarter. Yes, it counts. John Paxson with a buzzer basket, concluding this first quarter. Scott Williams gets inside, and it got by in the second quarter, and the Bulls 37, the Suns 28. Here's Kevin Johnson. Following the two poor games here in Phoenix, Kevin Johnson redeemed himself in Chicago. He's averaged 23 points a game in Chicago. It's Tucker again. 9.40 remaining in the second quarter. Scotty Pippen. Rebounded by Scott Williams. Yes, and it counts. There's the active Scott Williams that the Chicago Bulls team needs coming off the bench, asserting himself on the glass. All right. 15 for Marley. Chicago leading 41 to 32. Williams pipping up front. Here's Tucker. Oh, Trent is on fire. When he takes that shot and hits it, moving to the left off the dribble, you know that he feels the touch. What a move by Kevin Johnson. The Bulls now lead 43-34. Scotty Pippen trying to go glass. Danny Ainge with the rebound. Ainge for three. Yes. His second three-pointer, the Bulls 43, the Suns 36. A.C. King starting his move against Oliver Miller, rejected by Miller. The steal by Pippen, each diving for it, able to get it back. Chambers, yes. Caught right for Pippen. Yes, Scotty Pippen, who did not have an impact game in Chicago on Friday, rare off performance, 420 remaining, first half, Chambers with the step, oh, goes to the reverse. Barkley backing, Barkley gets inside, and that is his first field goal. This game six of the best of seven. Pippen with a beautiful move, and he's given Chicago a two-point lead. Barkley trade. Barkley lost Williams. Here's Pippen. Not even a challenge that time. Smart by Charles Barkley. Let him go. He got you deep enough. If he makes it, he makes it. Don't challenge him. Pick up the next foul. And Jordan. He gets right back to it. The Bulls lead by seven. Now one of the travel on Pot right. Scotty Pippen line drives it home. And the Bulls now lead by seven. Armstrong for three. BJ Armstrong hitting on his third three-pointer. The Bulls now lead by eight. Johnson met by a double team and comes up hobbling. Barkley, rebounded by Marley, and Marley getting inside, Chicago leads by six, Chambers, yes, Bob Chambers 
continues to provide a lift for the Sox. That substitution of Scott Williams was just so that Phil could give him a little reminder that he wants them staying within the offense, executed, don't take hurry shots. Oh, beautiful move oh, by good. Pippen. A post-up move by Scotty Pippen. The Bulls lead by six. 17 points for Pippen. Chambers! Well, Tom Chambers showing the entire repertoire. And he cuts it to a four-point Chicago lead. You have to admire Tom Chambers for stepping up in a situation where they really need him. West with fouls, Parker with fouls, Parker not scoring a lot as B.J. Armstrong hits a jump shot. Chambers has come in and provided him with the offensive scoring. Willis! Evan Johnson with the assist. Evan Johnson off the dribble, lost it. Barkley on the recovery. If you say it to yourself, it should Charles Barkley still be out there at this time, would you expect anything differently from Paul Westphal? They were down 0-2 against the Lakers, and he said, oh, no problem, we'll win the next three. The man believes in his team, he believes in Barkley. It counts, and the foul. Chambers open. Tom Chambers set up beautifully the last couple of times now, but not able to convert. Paxson, yes, that's a three-pointer for John Paxson. Chambers, he blew the stop. Chicago leads by seven. Armstrong for three. Oh, they are on fire from downtown. B.J. Armstrong putting on a show. Johnson with a fling. Charles Barkley. So Barkley converts the funnel. The Bulls now lead 75-67 with just under five minutes remaining third quarter. Now Jordan posting up. Yes. Michael Jordan, 7 of 12. He has 20 points. Coming off a quiet second quarter. Kevin Johnson. Charles Barkley. The Bulls 77. The Suns 69. The Suns with a four on three. Bulls able to get back. Ames going glass. It's a six point. Chicago lead. Shot clock at eight. Michael Jordan able to use the height advantage with Kevin Johnson in the matchup. 245 for the man. In the third quarter, they double up on Jordan. Try to draw contact and Barkley stepped away. Does not want to pick up his fifth foul. The Bulls again lead by 10. Kevin Johnson is in the foul. Johnson with the drive and he was hanged. Pippen going to the left hand and switch to the right. A gorgeous move by Scotty Pippen. Nice lead pass. Johnson for Miller. Chicago 83. And Phoenix. 77. Shot clock at four. Jordan. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan is nine for 16. He has 24 points. Tucker. Trent Tucker hits again. One and three tenth seconds remaining in the quarter. Again, it's Barkley guarding Cartwright. West rejects. Dumas in the open floor, and he stopped. Armstrong stopped the ball. Here's West and a foul call. Barkley directs traffic. Barkley backing Grant. Barkley changed his mind. Dumas! Able to convert. Barkley very fortunate that Dumas was right there. And Chicago will talk it over. Barkley off the fake. The Suns. Good luck. He has 27. The Bulls 90. The Suns 88. Marley for three. Yes. The Suns lead 91 90. Just under five minutes remaining. And the fourth. Here is Jordan. Yes. Michael Jordan answers. The Bulls 92. And the Suns. Clock at five, Barkley for three. Back tap by Barkley. Aim. Rebound, West. Rebound, Barkley. Phoenix, 93. Chicago, 92. Just under four minutes. Remaining in the game. Barkley stepping up for the job.
Pittsburgh. Marley with the tip. And a loose ball foul is called on the ball. Phoenix, 94. Chicago, 92. And the two-time defending champion Bulls look to be very tight. That's the case in Chicago on Friday night. One of the things is that their offense relies on passing of the basketball. Marley with the three. Buckley comes up with another offensive rebound. They rely on throwing passes, but they're not getting into the offense quickly enough. As a result, the clock is running out on them. Kevin Johnson. Yes. Suns 96. The Bulls 92. They double up on Jordan. Here is Jordan. Yes. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan cuts it to a two-point Phoenix lead. 31 for Jordan. Is there any doubt where they want the basketball to go? You got to rely on the guy that can put the money in the bank for you. I'm strong. Call for that reach in. The Suns. 98. The Bulls, 94. Shot clock at 5. 3 out of 24. 2. 1. It's another 24 second. And the Bulls offense is completely out of sync. Shot clock at 5. Marley from way out. And nearly got the roll. Rebounded by Barkley. Charles Barkley. Calling for the timeout. A sensational play by Barkley. And when you look at Paul Westfall, still finding humor in the moment as Marley's coming off. Westfall gives him the choke sign, signaling that he should have made that shot. And pitches back to Frank Johnson. Rebounded by Michael Jordan. Now Frank Johnson, not the man that the Suns would have wanted to take that shot, and, and Jordan is able to go the distance. Worst thing that can happen, let him score and use up very few precious seconds. So now, if they can get a defensive stop without fouling, Chicago will have a chance to tie the game. Two point, Phoenix lead, 25 seconds to go, 10 on the shot clock. Pippen over to hell. Marley eluding Jordan. Frank Johnson gives it back. Marley, oh, he went short. It's a 24 second violation. Let's see. Ed Rush and Mike Mathis conferring. Apparently, Chicago had called for time. Suns by two. It has come down to this possession. They want Michael to get a full head of steam, try to keep him in the middle of the floor. Well, Pippen got the snap. There's Paxson to three. Yes! The Bulls take a one point lead, and Phoenix calls. For time with three and nine tenths seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. Three, nine tenths seconds to go. Evan Johnson will inbound. Oliver Miller plays it. Here's Johnson. Johnson gets no, he could not get it off. Knocked away by Grant. It's all over. The Chicago Bulls three straight NBA championships. A three point shot by John Paxson, the game winner. The Bulls with a record low, only 12 points. In the fourth quarter, that is a NBA Finals record low, but it was enough. Michael Jordan, when that buzzer went off, first jumped so high, but immediately had the presence to chase the basketball down into the crowd. Whoever had picked it up, he wanted that basketball, signifying the third world championship in a row. And he went after it and got it. Michael will allow you to speak first on behalf of your teammates. Well, I think everybody, everybody put their effort out there. You know, from Corey Williams to Ed Neal, all the guys that were going to the injury reserve. You know, this is a hard fault three-peat, you know what I mean? It took a lot of work. A lot of times it looked down at them, but we stuck in there and we hung together as a team. And, you know, this is a reward of what the hard work does for you. Thank you, Jim. The crowd here kind of blocks us from seeing the monitor. We'll try, but until Pax is winning three-pointer, you had all the points for the Bulls in the fourth quarter. I knew Pax was going to make that. I just knew whenever he got it. Uh, it was a great draw in. And, you know, for my part, I just try to do whatever I can. I hope you enjoy it, Bob. It feels good right now. Is it, is it joy or is it relief or is it a combination? This has been a great year but a tough year. It's both. You know, it's a relief. 
plus it's great to win. You know, I think we've gone through a lot. Me personally, I've gone through a lot of ups and downs, but it, it, to cap it off this way means a lot to me. Believe me. I hate to make you look ahead, but you've talked about retirement in a year or two. Could you step aside if the streak is still intact? <laughs> no. Yo, my love is strong for this game right now. That's how I'm looking at it, and I'm going to be here as long as my love is strong. Pippen going right at Peyton. Matchup that Hannah referred to. Now they double up on Jordan. Harper is open for three. Yes. But right away, you see the strategy. They will come and double team Michael with Percy Hawkins, just trying to get the ball out of his hands, and they're willing to let Ron Harper take that shot. Sean Kemp with the room. No surprise there. Luke Longley will try to match up with Sean Kemp as much as possible. And Kemp fires from deep. So Sean Kemp, who comes off the spectacular seventh and final game against Utah, is able to hit on his first two shots. The Sonics with a 4 3 lead. Gary Payton can't waste any fouls. They call him the glove. Selected as the NBA's best defensive player this past regular season, although here in Chicago there was certainly much support for Scotty Pippen. That's the only award that the Bulls didn't win. I thought Scotty should have won that award. And Kemp has been unstoppable here in the early moments. Three for three for the field. Oh, Air ball hook shot, and the Bulls only one for their first six. Johnson. Johnson getting down court, beating the Bulls, and the Sonics now lead 8-5. Loose ball foul called against Chicago. It is on Rodman, who is sporting a new look. They got a, an aid symbol, a peace symbol, and a Pearl Jam symbol on that haircut for Dennis Rodman. And that is the first technical called on Dennis with the new look. Now, <laughs> Dennis obviously not happy with that call. He felt he had inside position underneath the backboard and when that whistle blew he looked like the most confused guy in the world and took a long look at the trail official Joe Crawford can't put him the move on double shot post entry passes are too slow You've got to pass sharper than that Size of the Bulls guard, something that the Sonics haven't had to face in their earlier rounds. After here at the start, Phil Jackson Field told me before the game that he thinks that the Sam Perkins Tony Kukoc matchup is going to determine this series. Which one could lead their bench to the greatest performance? With his first field goal. And the Bulls now lead 14 10. Pippen. Really slowing down Gary Payton on the advance of the ball. Open shot for Perkins for three. Sam Perkins deadly from three-point range. Jordan. Yes. Michael Jordan missed his first two. He's hit his last two. And the Bulls are up by six. Now Jordan going against Payton. Goes to the fatal. The slow start has hit his last three of the Bulls' lead by nine. And here's Askew with his first shot of ten. So Askew from downtown. Hit it and a half left. First quarter, here's Kemp. Sean Kemp on fire. Four of six here in the first quarter. And he has nine points. And Kemp looked to go all the way, but struck by George. his way in mid-air. Three-point shot went astray. And the tip is put home. 
So the Bulls now lead 24 to 20. And here is Kukoc. Now Tony just leading the 24. And the Bulls now lead by 6. It's been a difficult time emotionally for Gary uh, Payton dealing with his sister's suicide attempt. Strong Kemp now with 11 points. So the Bulls, their first turnover on that uh, three-second call. Nice move by Payton. And for Gary Payton, it is his first field goal. Hit the side, and then able to hit on the follow. Perkins, yes, and it counts. A beautiful move going right at Dennis Rodman. The poor shooting continues by Chicago. Perkins with the good look. A three for Sam Perkins. He now has 11 points, and he has led the Sonics to a four-point lead. In the Seattle huddle, Marv, uh, George Carl telling his team he wants to continue to see a crowd around Michael Jordan because he said Jordan is not looking to pass. He's looking to win this thing on his own. They're down by four, Marv. And as you say that, Michael reaches the three-point range. Bulls foul called on Harper. Gary Payton. He missed his first six. He's hit his last two of the Sonics now lead by three points. Here's Longley. Ten points for Longley. It looks like a loop picked up something from Shaquille in that last series. He dipped that left shoulder and just wiped the defender out of there. Longley. Seven points for Harper. And the Bulls take a one-point lead. Yes. Sean Kemp with 13 points. He's had the touch. Six of eight from the field, and the Sonics by one. And Ron Hopper has been doing it. Nine points for Hopper. Hawkins. Nice move off the dribble by Percy Hawkins. Burkowski hits on the three, and then heaves it back the other way, and an ocean to a drive lane. Hawkins able to knock it down. Percy Hawkins has tied the game at 41. Sonics by one. Just under two minutes to go in the first half. Here's the double team on Jordan. He's able to beat it, and then is fouled. Oh, Rodman and Grakowski had words. Oh, you can see it coming. And as you mentioned before, Mark uh, and Bill, Dennis Rodman has to be very careful already with that first technical foul. Any kind of talking or two players getting together like that, and he will get whistled for that second and be tossed. He's not moving around the defenders. He's just trying to go through them or over them. That won't work. And Joe Crawford says, stay right here, and Dennis Rodman could be losing it. Now he's applauding the call. Rodman was about to get involved and then walked away. Joe Crawford's going to call a flagrant foul here on Frank Krakowski. And now Judd Bushler replaces Dennis Rodman. The conversation continues. And a technical has been called. something against Rodman. Murkowski now walking in the direction of a couple of balls that he's joined by a security man and is ushered back to the locker room. And Jordan is being guarded by Wingate. Jordan to the ball. So Michael has opened it up. He has 18 points and the balls lead by six. Jordan getting right to it. Well, once the ball went into Michael Jordan, the quick double team right back out to Pippen, and then the quick repost of Seattle's defense not quick enough to match it. Now the botch up is a long way guarding Kemp, and Kemp with 20 points. Shot clock at six. Oh, nice ball by Ron Harper. 11 for Harper. It's the Bulls 57, the Sonics 52. Now Pippen looking for the steal. Here's Trent. Trent with the rebound and the bucket. So the follow by Detmer Trent. Pippen beating the Sonics. Yes! And it's a foul committed by Harper. Martin, the Sonics 
will be without their all-time steals leader for the rest of this game and maybe the series. Nate McMillan telling me he's just in too much pain because of the back injury to go for the rest of the day. He's going to make a determination tomorrow whether or not he'll sit out the rest of the series. Mark? All right, thank you. Ahead of Dennis Rodman with his first field goal. Bulls open up a 10-point lead, so Nate McMillan gave it a shot. Played six minutes in the first half. Did not attempt a field goal. Peyton with a pretty good going glass. And the Bulls now lead 64-56. That's a major loss. And also with Bukowski already ejected. Different from downtown. This is not a team Seattle that's shown a great ability to come from far behind. Nice, nice pass from Kukoc. And Rodman has five points. So the Bulls now lead by nine. Kerr with the floater. And Shrep rebounds. Four and a half remaining. Third quarter. Gary Payton's giving the ball up too quickly. And Shrep hits the three. So dead left. Shrep, following the scoreless first half, has come out here in the third quarter. On the post play from the perimeter guys. But Sean Kemp. Able to hit over Dennis Rodman, and Kemp has taken over this quarter. He now has 28 points, and all he's won the Sonics with it one. Shaky offensive lineup for Chicago right now. Pippen, the only creator. And Scotty Pippen knocks down the three. Hustler. Nice lead pass, but he, he blew it. And Mark, a very tough matchup for Sean Kemp now against Tony Kukoc. Devlin Shrimp finding the range in the second half. And the game is tied at 75. Shrimp with all nine points in the third. Michael Jordan is back. That ball was last touched by the Sonics. Captured by Pippen. He was upset with that last call, but Pippen able to come up with the block. This one was shot well during the playoffs. Not shooting well here. Tonight, Wennington. Bill Wennington with his first field goal. Devlin Shrimp has worked his way back into this game with a terrific third quarter. Oh, beautiful tip by Wennington to start the fourth quarter. The Bulls lead 81 77. Who comes with a quarter score? Standing his way, and it leads to a timeout. Tony Kukoc, who has had a big game off the bench. He now has 11. Perkins for three. But the Sonics hang in. Down by six. Seattle have missed its previous five shots before that uh, jumper by Perkins. Kukoc. A potential four-point play. Well, Jordan tried to get it down low intended for Pippen. Sean Kemp, 9 of 12 from the field. He has 32 points. The steal by Hawker. And the Sonics call for time. Hawker stealing from Jordan. And you know, though Sam does not show it, that's one of his career highlights. We'll never let him forget that. Oh, that's one that will be uh, shown time and time again. Nice move, Gary Payton. With nine points, and the ball's now lead 93 83. Oh, picked off by Kemp, and here's Well, Longley had that pass telegraphed, and Phil Jackson is very upset. Over look for Hawkins, and came it up. Hawkins back on the floor, playing with five fouls. But the Bulls now lead 95 86. They just can't finish at the basket area. Too much size, too much athletic ability for Chicago. Coop coach from Jordan. 18 for Tony Kuko. Harper's had an outstanding night with the steal. And again, George Carl wants to talk it over. Touched by Longley, trying to save it. Well, the scary thing for Seattle is that Jordan, after a relatively quiet game, that's usually when he comes back and plays his absolute best. Remember, after a quiet game three against Orlando, comes back with 45 in the closer. Oh, nice move by Luke Longley. 14. That is a playoff career high. Crowd reaction. 
open shot for Hopper, but <laughs> came up with air. And here is Peyton. So the Bulls now lead 101-88. Oh, Michael Jordan from behind, arcing, jump shot. And uh, then had something to say to the Seattle bench. Long lead. Oh, looks like Rodman just went down. Joe Crawford taking a long look. A totally unnecessary play. All of them hooked up there. Frustration by Sean Kemp. Just let that one go. You got to play above the antics of Dennis Rodman. Shot clock at five. Forty seconds remaining of the game. Jordan. Yes. In dramatic fashion. The Bulls have won. Game one. 7-90. The officials, Ed T. Rush, Jess Kersey, and Hugh Hollins. Hollins not a favorite of the Chicago Bulls. The Sonics control the opening tip for Percy Hawkins. Open shot for Kent. And the tip by Johnson. Well, I'm surprised, really. I thought the Bulls would just come out firing defensively with pressure on the ball. Three possessions that time for the side. Again, the outside shot by Kemp. Sean Kemp, Michael Jordan, setting up against Detlef Shrimp. Uses the pick. Oh. And Hopper able to keep it alive. Good luck for Longley. Longley is a very skilled player. That, like Burkowski for Seattle, gets very little credit for what he can do with the ball. Hawkins. Hawkins on the penetration. Well, George Carl saying after game one, he wanted to see his guards in particular taking it to the basket. Well, Hawkins just two for nine in game one, not asserting himself, and he caught himself that way in the Utah Series as well. Yes, and a count. It's the Sonics 9 and the Bulls 8. Now Shrepp guarding Hopper. The backdoor pass. Oh, that's part of the triangle offense. It usually doesn't strike that far out on the floor. Kent blocked by Pippen. Seattle still looks tentative. There's the double team on Shrepp. And Payton fires. Hits the three. Gary Payton, seven rebounds for Johnson in just under five minutes in this first quarter. Jordan gets inside. And the game is tied at 12. Michael Jordan said he might not have come back if Pippen were not a member of the Bulls. And here is Pippen with a nice play. And just a beat for 24. Five and a half remaining in this opening quarter. Down to seven on the shot clock. And the glove just did pick one off. Good poke away by Perkins as well. Shrimp. Well, Detlef Shrimp missed his first four. Similar to the scenario in game one. Got off to the slow start. And that was his first field goal. Sonics lead by one. Good thing for Seattle is how many shot attempts they're getting as Jordan is feeling it perfectly early on. But Seattle has taken twice as many shots as Chicago has. That's something they don't normally do. Here's Shrimp. Sean Kemp. So Kemp with eight points. Jordan oh, the fadeaway on target. And Michael is five of seven. He has ten points. Bulls lead by one. Hawkins for three. And back comes Jordan. Pippen putting the move on Hawkins. And hit it. Bulls lead 20. 17. Now, this is Chicago Bull basketball. Any kind of steal, any kind of missed shot, they want to get out and run. But so far, they look very tired to me. Very heavy leg. But, man, it's also Seattle Sonic basketball. The question is, is it enough? These teams are so similar. It often seems, though, like Seattle just comes up a little bit short, almost as if they're Bulls light. Peyton with the steal and puts it down. And then apparently had something to say to Jordan. Not a good idea. <laughs> well, Gary Payton was told by his coach, George Carl, late in game one and yesterday as well. I want you to get a little crazy out there. 
I want you to be yourself. I want to see some arrogance. I want to see the Gary Payton that helped lead us to 64 wins. And there's a little bit of it right there, and you have to be very careful with that. Not only because the officials will nail you with the tee, but you do not want to fire up Michael Jordan in this building or any building for that matter. Wellington now defending against Sam Perkins. Nice move by Perkins. And that is his first field goal. Perkins again working on Wellington. And again hits with the running hook. Shrep posting on Rodman. Front clock at five. Here is Shrep. Oh, nice move on the fadeaway by Detlef Shrep. Here is coach. And back up the side. Payton in the open floor. Putting the move on Kerr. Oh, Gary Payton with a very impressive start. He now has seven points. And the Sonics lead by five. A rare Seattle turnover. Harper from deep. Yes. Sonics by three. Harper putting moves on Snow. Good box out for Kowski. With the head fake, Brown wanted to travel. Hawkins with a beautiful move. Uh, you can see the mindset of Hersey Hawkins. Not going to just stay out and work that three-point line and attack the rim every chance he gets. Hersey, a native of Chicago, telling us his Bushler is able to hit after going 0 for 4 the other night. And the Sonics now lead 31-28. Seattle with the edge on the boards. Sonics with a one-point lead. Open shot for Hawkins. A three for Ron Harper. And the Bulls have taken the lead. Percy Hawkins candidly uh, had an interesting appraisal of his teammate, Frank Perkowski, he said that he's very good at bringing out the worst in people. Scotty Pippen with 10 points, and the Bulls now lead by four. That's where George Carl thinks this whole situation is developed with Perkowski. Where the referees are all over his case every single time. Nice move by Hawkins. Bulls lead by three. We're just under five minutes to go. First half. Hawkins with the room. Well, Percy Hawkins showing some signs. Four minutes to go in this first half. And the game is tied at 39. Scotty Pippen. 12 for Pippen. And the Bulls lead by two. Short oh. oh. He posterized <laughs> Scotty Pippen. Again, Hopper open. Oh. Swing oh. in. Wow. Bulls got a goal tap. Won't get it. Block shot is the call. Hawkins. Pretty give and go between Kemp and Hawkins. Nice exchange. And the Sonics lead by three. Kerr, yes. Steve Kerr created by himself with a quick release. And Jordan for three. Well, that was an offensive sequence that was not going anywhere. And uh, Michael able to bail them out. Longley with a nice dish from Michael Jordan. And Sean Kemp with a series of moves rejected by Longley. Shrap for three. Yes. And he's tied the game at 48. Hopper for three. And Longley, nice tip. Beautiful touch by Dennis Rodman. Shrap. And then left Shrap doing it over Luke Longley. And the game is tied at 50. Jordan over Hawkins. So the matchup for the moment is Percy Hawkins defending against Michael Jordan. And Jordan all over Hawkins. Last touch by Hawkins. What a play defensively by Michael Jordan. Here is Kemp. Quick release with Longley moving in his direction. Sean Kemp. 16 points. And he's tied the game at 52. Longley getting position. With the offensive putback. Gary Payton, nice change of pace on the dribble. So Payton with nine points, and the game is tied at 54. Hawkins. And Rodman with the box out. Terrific outlet, Rodman. Pippen, yes. Wow, well, Dennis Rodman made that play happen. He just sprinted as hard as he could, middle of the floor, went right to the rim. Dent left strap, had to honor that, and that left Pippen open. The boys on the run. They get back. Pippen for three. 
Ryan with the save, but he stepped out. Oh, Bradley pushed out to the foul call. Welcome back to the United Center in Chicago. Look at the hustle by Dennis Rodman a moment ago, and then uh, Dennis saying, so have you read my book? <laughs> and Kuko back on the floor. Coming on for Longley. Perkins. Nice post up, taking advantage of Kukoc. Seven points for Perkins. The Bulls lead 61 56. Trap with a bad pass. And here's Pippen with the breakaway. Careless turnover by Detlef Schrent, the kind that just breaks your back. Got clock at four. Schrent. down. Scotty Pippen. Rodman again. What is Sean Kemp doing? Sean Kemp has got to spend 50% of his time thinking about boxing out Dennis Rodman. Marv, George Carl furious during that last time out. He said you guys gave the Bulls those last two possessions. You've got to get in the game. Don't let the fatigue get to you. You have this game in hand, but he said don't forget. Get those defensive rebounds and then worry about your offense, Marv. All right, had it. Harry Payton cutting it to a two-point Chicago lead. But Marv Rodman has found his rebounding rhythm. In the first game and a half, he was jumping three times for every rebound he eventually got as Kukoc finds the range. Kukoc shows the ball. Turn around for downtown. Well, that's amazing. We had seen it just a few minutes ago. Didn't even want to look at the basket. Now he comes out of that timeout. I wonder what all. Of a surge, Perkins, airborne. Here comes Jordan. Lady Cooper. And George Carr wants a timeout. The Bulls by 11. Pippen. Well, he's able to penetrate straight down the lane. No pressure. Poked away from Perkins, but recovered. Shot clock. Down to three. Slipping by Kukoc. Kukoc for three. And Rodman with another offensive rebound. That's Sean Kemp just does not block out. He goes for the ball. That's 10 offensive rebounds for Rodman. One off the all time record for the NBA Finals held by the Big E, Elvin Hayes. Brown. Brown now doing it at both ends. A terrific contribution for Brown. They don't look for him. They don't expect much from him. But he always just keeps it there with a great attitude. For the, uh, for the travel, the up and down. But apparently the official felt that uh, there was contact made and knocking the ball away. And Perkins was able to recover. A series of moves attempted by Longley leading to this. Hawkins, yes, and it counts. And Richie Hawkins will go to the line. A 7 0 run by the Sonics since that Chicago 13 point lead. Jordan. Michael Jordan able to penetrate. Brown looking for the steal. Rolls 82. Sonics 74. Here's Peyton. Right back. Larry Peyton cuts it to a six point Bulls lead. Peyton has been so much more effective in this series facing the basket from around the foul line area. When he tries to turn his back against these bigger players of Chicago, he gets in nothing but trouble. Only. Uh, well, Tony Kukoc who will help. Well, Kukoc comes up hobbling. Jordan. And Kemp able to keep it away from Longley. And even that time, Luke Longley had inside position, just not able to get up high enough in the air. Shrimp. Yes. Dead left. Shrimp. He has 13 points. The Bulls 84. And the Sonics 78. We have 515 remaining in the fourth. We come up on four minutes remaining in the fourth. Yes. And it counts. Sean Kemp will go to the line. Shrimp with the fake. Not able to hit on the line. Kemp is there, it will count, and the foul. Six on the 24, and Kerr fires for three. Rodman with the offensive rebound, and that ties an NBA Finals record. 11 on the offense.
offensive glass for Rodman, and that was a big one. Foul is called to stop the clock with 15 and 8 tenths seconds remaining. That left Trent call for the personal. This time Pippen will try to inbound. Jordan gets it back to Pippen. And Hawkins called for the foul. Now to 8 and 9 tenths seconds. Pippen misses on both. Rodman able to get a jump ball out of it. However, it's only a three-point game. That was almost an air ball by Scotty Pippen. Let's see. Well, we will leave a hat trick. And it's controlled by Jordan. And now the foul with three and seven ten seconds remaining. Oh, Peyton and Jordan having some words face to face. And Hopper guides Peyton away. And Rockman is able to hit for a four-point lead. Perkins fires it down for Shrimp. And that will do it. The Chicago Bulls to skip with the victory. A reminder that the Sonics and the Bulls are well aware of only two teams in the history of the NBA have been able to come back from an 0-2 deficit. Bill's Portland team did it in 1977 over the Philadelphia 76ers. Boston did it in 1969 against the Los Angeles Lakers. And the Bulls say they are ready for this emotional onslaught from this crowd. They know the Bulls, that is, cannot ease into this ballgame. Seattle is starting to gain some confidence. It is Irvin Johnson and Luke Longley on the opening tip and taken by the Bulls. Well, Chicago had missed its last 12 shots. That figure dating back to game number two. Here is Kuko. Well, Michael Jordan had a little chat with Tony Kukoc during the course of game two and uh, felt that he was a bit uh, on the passive side. Kept been able to save that backdoor pass. Here is Jordan for three. The Bulls continue their terrific ball movement, and I like the fact that Michael Jordan is guarding Gary Payton here. He is not going to let Gary Payton get off. Well, Payton does get it off and hit. What do you say, Bill? The Bulls able to get off to the quick start. Jordan setting up Longley. Yes. Longley. Talking to the Bulls prior to tonight's game, they're all concerned about the energy lift that this crowd would provide Seattle. Well, they took care of that with the fast start. Pippen got the step. And puts home the putback. Seattle 0 for 3 from behind the line, continuing a disturbing trend as Jordan making that statement game going at who's ever guarded. You mentioned the disturbing trend as Kent was able to go position inside. Well, that's been the focus of Chicago's defense throughout the playoffs against every team. They do not want to give open looks to anybody. Tony Kukoc with a beautiful move. He's hit two of three. And here's Kemp. Offensive foul. It's a charge on Kemp. Well, Dennis Robbins saw that one coming from about 30 feet away. And he couldn't believe it. Sean Kemp just kept coming and coming and coming. He was standing there waiting forever. The offensive charge. The illegal defense was just called for the first time against Seattle. Here's Kukoc for three. Well, Phil Jackson forced to go when Tony Kukoc is the starter because of the knee problem suffered by Ron Hart. Shrimp. I thought the Sonics had a notion early in this game. They wanted to go at Kukoc with strength. They went a couple of times. Detlef didn't take the shot. Long lane. Got to tank it. Kent on the rebound. Hawkins. Three on one. Payton for Perkins. He's the go. And that gets the crowd going. The Bulls with a 19-8 lead. The Sonics try to break. Payton. The Bulls, 21-10 over Seattle. The lead for Jordan, and he misses the layup, but Longley is able to convert. What's going on? We are seeing the best spurt of
basketball that the Bulls have shown over the first uh, two games and a quarter. Here's Longley getting inside. Nice move by Luke Longley and the Bulls now lead 25 to 10. It has not been impressive for the Bulls, although they did win the first two games. Steve Kerr said the other day the Bulls have actually played only three and a half good games in the entire playoffs. It's nice that they set such a high standard for themselves. That's one of the reasons they've dominated basketball this year. Kemp able to save it. Shot clock is rolled down to three. Down to one. And it is a 24-second violation. Perkins off the head fake. Sam Perkins with a strong move. Post-25. Jordan. Yes. Nine points for Jordan. He's hit three of seven. Not seeing many stops at the uh, the other end of the court as Chicago goes to the offense. They have been scoring at will in this first quarter. That's a classic example of, of just what great offense does to a very good defense. One of the top-rated defenses in the NBA, Seattle, this year. And a three for Jordan. That gives him 12. Bulls lead 30 to 12. A steal by Jordan leading to the breakaway by Pippen. Oh, the Bulls are just eating up the Sonics in this opening quarter with a minute 35 remaining. It's the Bulls 32 and the Sonics 12. Pippen on a lead for Rodman. And the onslaught continues. We're approaching one minute left in this first quarter. Now lead 34 14. Now the Bulls have brought their A game in that first quarter. And it's now Chicago 34 and Seattle 18. Askew with the floor. And the Sonics showing some signs. They are now down by 14. Eight again working on Brown. They've lost his balance. assists in the game on Friday night. Peyton, Peyton able to chase it down. Shrep eluding Bushler who just came. That left Shrep with his third field goal. He has six points. And the ball's now the 39-25. And I would say that nobody wanted the players that you mentioned. It's just that they found their niche with this particular ball. Club. Luke Longley with a nice move as uh, Rodman and Rakowski became entangled. Luke Longley with a terrific start. Five of eight from the field. Ten points. Jordan got caught. Oh, Michael Jordan with a couple of miscues here in the first half. Oh, a nice pass from Peyton. That left Trent with ten. And Chicago's lead is now 14. Yes, Steve Kerr with his first field goal coming into today. One of 11 from the field, the first two games of the series. And coming off a uh, superb shooting performance against Orlando. Get that front, a different player here in the first half. And it's Peyton on Jordan. Sally, played by Kemp. Jordan. Yes, nicely done on the setup from Kukoc. And there's nothing passive about Tony Kukoc uh, here in the first half. Sean Kemp. Six points now for Kemp. The ball's 51. The Sonics 35. Well, Tony's one of those guys who responds to the challenge. A very competitive guy, even though a quiet personality. Hard for him. He knows it's his day. And Michael Jordan picking it up. He has 20 points. The Bulls by 18. Jordan being guarded by Wingate. Shoots over. Yes. <laughs> oh, Michael is on fire now. 23 for Jordan. Jordan. Yes. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan with 
25. Here's Pippen. Yes, and it counts. Well, a symbolic finisher to a first half that has been just splendid for the Chicago Bulls. Audley comes out, followed by Brakowski. Shot clock is down at two. Here is Longley. Longley with 12 points, and the Bulls now lead 64-38. Brakowski just won. Cannot hit from downtown, and it leads to this. A fast break bucket by Jordan. Well, Kent with the spin move and had nowhere to go. Burkowski for three, and he was able to hit. That's Burkowski's offensive game. Feed off the penetration, spot up at the line. What a pass, Jordan. Longley. Becoming a factor in the third quarter for three. The Bulls 68. The Sonics 54. Kemp able to get inside. Sean Kemp got off to the slow start. He has now become a factor. He has 12 points. And a defense. Got clock at seven. Pippen. Oh, beautiful move with a head fake on Hersey Hawkins. And Phil Jackson in the Chicago bench are wondering why Steve Kerr was not credited with a three-point shot. Apparently they did wave it off. Call it a two. Here's Wingate for three. Wingate from downtown. Now Peyton Poston. Facing the double team. The steal by Pippen. Kuko chased by Pippen. The Bulls with a 73-59 lead. Wennington. Bill Wennington with a second field goal. Michael Jordan. Only two points in the third quarter. Was uh, not part of the offense, but figures to be a different story here in the fourth. Jordan now with 31. Jordan with the pull-up. Yes! And a count. Foul committed. by 18. You see this lineup from the Chicago occasionally with both Longley and Weddington on the floor, but I'm sure it won't be too long before Scotty Pippen re-enters. Absolutely, because the Bulls are so much better when they go small. But the way Longley is playing today, I, I'd go with him. And five on the 24. Pippen for three with two seconds remaining on the clock. Far with the Bulls. Oh, Longley off the penetration again. Kemp can't keep him under control. The entire cast will be on hand to recount the game with highlights. We'll hear from some of the players. You'll see some of the press conferences as we look back at the game three here in Seattle. Murkowski with a second field goal. And Jordan fouled by Hawkins. And Rodman and Murkowski getting involved. And Phil Jackson at the other end of the floor taking a very long look and now whistling to his team out there. He does not want Dennis to do anything that is not going to have him ready for a game four. You just have your heart in your throat at all times when they get tangled up. And see, Dennis initiates all that by getting his arms tangled up underneath the other player and then makes it appear that in this case, Frank Brokowski is doing the holding. If, once again, with the game not in the balance, a 22-point lead. But these, <laughs> that's, these are certainly two of the freest spirits in the NBA. We don't need it.
any sort of altercation here that would take away from this beautiful exhibition of basketball today by the Chicago Bulls. Now, will this be considered yeah. taunting? I was just going to say, why, why is that not taunting? Just a look and almost baiting Frank Burkowski to do something. Dennis has to settle down, play basketball, go play golf with uh, Michael Jordan tomorrow and get ready for game four. But if you can't stand there at attention and look at somebody with a blank expression on your face, what are you allowed to do? Shot clock, out of four. Jordan. And Rothman and Burkowski get involved. It looks like Pavetta has given the ejection sign. This has been brewing the last couple of minutes. I think he's thrown both out of the game. Jackson should do this game a favor and maybe take Rodman out. Rodman and Kemp coming together. And Kemp picks up number five. On the other hand, Phil Jackson may be enjoying the fact that uh, Dennis Rodman has gotten into the heads of the Seattle players. And uh, Michael Jordan just came over giving us a look as if to say... He's kind of amused by it, but what's going on here? We're coming up at five minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Best game of this series, very quiet. We games one and two, 16 for Shrek. And I'm sure it made him feel good and helped the whole ball club by getting after Tony Kukoc about those couple of times where he passed up some shots and jumping on Luke Longley about maybe feeling sorry for himself with those five stitches. And I think that definitely picked up those two players, and I think it woke the rest of the ball club up as well. Nice passing, Scott and Griffin. And Bill Wellington is three for three. Steve Kerr going to the left hand. Shrek. 105 to 82. Bushler able to drill it. Hawkins on the fake. 108 to 84. Wingate. Game four of this best of seven, the Bulls seeking a sweep for their fourth championship. The last six years, the Sonics hoping to push it to a game five on Friday. And Scotty Pippen able to control the opening tip. Interesting. Ahmad said Michael told him they only need one out of four. Michael told us he's got things he's got to get done. He's ready to take care of business. And here is Jordan. So the Bulls with a, a 2 0 lead. And Matt with Detlef in the locker room beforehand. It was disappointing to see the somber, almost defeated attitude. Sean Kemp from Gary Payton. Here is Longley. Luke Longley coming off a playoff career high, 19 points in game number three. Jordan to the hoop. And Rodman able to convert. Seattle's opened up one of eight from the field, and the Bulls lead six to two. Here on Sunday night, the Bulls opened up with a 19-40 to defuse the crowd. Crowd very much into it right here. Payton from three-point range, Jordan. And Hawkins took it away from Rodman. Rodman complaining to Crawford and is hit with an early tee. And you can see that the officials are not going to accept anything from Dennis Rodman. And no brainer there in game one. Dennis Rodman gave the two hand wave to Joe Crawford early and picked up the technical. Here he felt he was pushed over the top and then looking and talking to Crawford at the way and putting the hand up. Joe Crawford couldn't wait to blow that whistle to nail Rodman and try to keep him under control with that first hand. There is Kemp. Nice move. Have taken the lead for the first time since 
marks the end of the second quarter in game two. Short shot blocked by Kemp. And it will be Seattle in possession. Oh, what a fake by <laughs> Got him pippled. He lost the defender, and then was able to go glass to tie the game at eight. Percy Hawkins just can't find the range, but able to hang in to make the defensive play. And it leads to the bucket by Kemp. Sean Kemp not able to hit. And here is Gary Payton from downtown. Nice pass. The block by Longley to stop Kemp. Well, the ball's going to the double team the other day. And Hawkins is able to hit on a stunning jump shot to extend to a 15-8 Seattle lead. But like all players, Burkowski needs consistent minutes. Hawkins for three. Well, Hersey Hawkins, who has not been able to break out of this series, has hit two of his first three. And the Sonics, three of six from downtown. Luke Longley with his second field goal. Sonics lead by seven. And Marv, they're getting him off of good passing and ball movement. I mean, it's not happened in this series. Sonics have turned it over more than they've generated assists. And you saw the ball movement right there. David from Gary Payton. Pippen working on Hawkins. Pippen off the recovery. And Longley with the tip. The Sonics were looking for offensive interference. Thank you, Ahmad. Sam Perkins line drives at home. And the Sonics lead 22-15. Off the steal. Payton got the step. Leading Shrek. And he is fouled. He thought he was fouled. Back to Jordan. That's one of the reasons why I think he's a better player today than he's ever been before. He knows how to pick his spots better. He's so much smarter. A beautiful pass by Kukoc to the slashing Harper. And a nice finish by Rod Harper. 23-19 Seattle. Nice, nice pass. Setting up Peyton. Sonics by six. Wellington, he's had the touch. Bill Wellington hitting on his first field goal attack. Our Sam Perkins extends to a 27 21 lead. Opening minute, second quarter. Nice pass. From McMillan. So Nate McMillan standing at the top of the key. You're not going to see much movement, but he is able to find people on the go. Perkins shrimp with the tip. Seattle has opened up a 10 point lead. Payton for three. Yes. The Sonics by 13. Cook out for three. Shrek chased by Powell. The Sonics are able to fast break the ball. Cook out. So Tony Cook with his first field goal, it's the Sonics leading by 13. with the box out. The Sonics with a 14-2 advantage of the second quarter. Jordan able to capitalize on that steal. It's the Sonics 39, the Bulls 25. Shot clock is down to five. He is four of eight. Here is Jordan. And Michael Jordan with his third field goal. The has seven points. has been very active in this first half. Jordan not able to hit. Longley. Luke Longley. Four of five. Ten points. Perkins. Two coats for three. So Tony Kuko hitting from downtown. And the Sonics now lead 47 to 32. Perkins, yes. Sam Perkins with nine points. Sonics by 17. Shrimp working on Coco. Jordan over the hill. Shrimp. It is all working for the Sonics. Shot clock at six. 
Hendricks. Shrek again, double G. Bothered by the bad knee, you recall, did not start in game three, has not come out here as the starter for the second half. And the Sonics continue the good play. They now lead 55 32, 15 points for Gary Payton. Who coach getting the roll? And Tony Who coach with seven points. Payton. Comes Pippen, only one of eight from the field in the first half. Jordan for three. Rodman with the rebound. Feeding Pippen. Sonics lead 55 to 36. Jordan has missed his last five shots. Three of 11 for the game. Guarded by Hawkins and Shrimp over to help. Kukoc for three. Yes. Tony Kukoc. Seattle lead is now 16. 7-0 run by the Bulls. Camp fires. Lovely. Rodman with the tip. And the Sonics now lead 57-41. Memphis on the scene as Rodman and Burkowski came together. And uh, Mathis and Crawford. We'll talk it over. Rodman tips the ball in to Burkowski right there. Oh, Rod, that, that is a technical foul. Uncalled for by a skilled and good player, Frank Burkowski. Well, you saw the first elbow by Dennis Rodman to incite something there and then getting his head up against the Burkowski, and he bit the bait. Kept facing the double. Peyton, eluding Jordan. The Bulls, 43. Move by Kukoc. Tony Kukoc has been a factor here in the third quarter, starting instead of Ron Harper. Hawkins with the quick run. Mercy Hawkins with nine. The Sonics by 16. Long is passed too strong and picked off by Kemp. Our Chicago offense has terrible spacing right now, in particular Luke Allen. Phil Jackson a moment ago during a timeout upset with Longley. Here's the foul. Yes! Here's the foul. A foul called on Longley. Peyton goes right at him. And a nice shot for Kemp. Sonics by 21 points. Pippen getting inside Shrimp, but then met by the double team as Perkins. Game over. Now they isolate Pippen and Shrimp. Scotty Pippen with a nice move going glass. Sonic 67 to the Bulls, 47. Only the third field goal for Pippen. He's 3 for 12. And comes Pippen, has a 3 on 2. Jordan on the drive. Yes, and it counts. So Jordan will go to the line. Back to Nice pass from Rodman to set up Jordan. And pressure by the Bulls. Sonics able to handle it. Perkins. Foot on the line. It's a two-pointer, but Sam Perkins is on fire. Six of nine for the field. 13 points. Sonics lead by 18. Michael Jordan will score the last six points for the Bulls. Nice look from Brown fighting Rodman. Good coach. Passed on the three. And hits the two as he goes glass. Brown open, and Pippen was able to find him. And Bill Seattle has led by as many as, as 23, so the Bulls in the midst of their second run. And lands on Rodman and is enjoying it. <laughs> you can be certain of that. And Dennis Rodman gives him a pat on the back. Even Dennis, the competitor he is, had to admire the terrific. Robbins is helpless as the quickness, power, and strength of Kemp. Too much. That was a human facial. <laughs> McMillan for three. Yes. Out of 50. 
eight seconds to go. Third quarter. Perkins. One second differential with the shot clock. Set up by Peyton. The Bulls with a 3-0 lead coming into tonight. But the Sonics came out strong. Continued the onslaught in the second quarter. Outscoring the Bulls 28-11. And then a good finish to the third quarter for this big lead. Luke Longley will just step back onto the court. Now has 12 points. And the Sonics lead 84-65. Kemp with the fake. That looked too easy. Nice defense. Steve Kerr. Randy Brown for three. Six points for Brown. Hawkins for Shrek. Three point two. That left Trump has 12. And again, the Bulls take a time. Shot clock at four. Hawkins for three. Percy able to square up from straight away off the dribble. And right, here's Cap leading up Hawkins. The Sonics taking advantage of another Chicago turnover. And lead 95 to 68. Pippen. Hits the three. So Pippen is now four of 14. He has nine points. The Bulls' worst loss of the season. Regular season and playoffs. It's an end. Kemp gets inside. March 10th against the New York Knicks at Madison Square Garden. It was Jeff Van Gundy's second game as head coach of the Knicks. And the Knicks beat the Bulls 104-72. It counts, and the foul, so Jordan will go to the line. Jordan, and it's tipped home by Rodman. Sonics lead 99-76. But you're not going to throw out Michael Jordan for arguing the call. There's Steve Kerr for three. Trapped. That left trapped with 14. Pippen for three. You see the closeout defense by Seattle that time. That's the mark of their... Oh, boy. Wow. And that is the mark of the Sonics here tonight. Beating the Bulls down court. And Peyton fed it up for Kemp. Shot clock is down to three. Hawkins. Yes! Percy Hawkins with a strong performance. The Seattle Sonics will not be swept. This will go to a fifth game on Friday night here in Seattle. Luke Longley and Sean Kemp on the opening tip. Controlled by Frank Burkowski. Kemp going at Longley. Sean Kemp coming off a sensational game on Wednesday. Nice pass from Luke Longley for Tony Kukoc. Phil Jackson telling us earlier that Ron Harper will not play at all in the first half. Beautiful push by Brakowski to find Kemp. But what a way to attack pressure. Frank Brakowski taking it about 60 feet, making a fabulous play. Here is Kukoc for three. Tony Kukoc, shrimp. Nice move, but way off on the shot. And here is Jordan. Michael Jordan on the breakaway. And the hop. Did he ever get up in the air? Great play by Dennis Rodman. Bulls nine. And the Sonics four. Kemp to the crossover. Well, the matchup continues. Luke Longley defending against Sean Kemp. The quickness of Kemp on the excellent interior pass. Oh, the tip. Rodman missing on the first Attempt and then able to hang in and showing how active he can be. There's Kemp on a pull up. Yes. It's been all Sean Kemp for the Sonics. Bulls lead 12 8, and Kemp has all eight Seattle points. Here's the alley oop for Jordan, who beat Peyton for his second field goal. Perkins eluding Rodman. Yes. 
So the Sonics with their first field goal outside of Sean Kemp. Steve Kerr has has come on, and uh, Steve, after having an excellent regular season and earlier play in the playoffs, has been off in the finals. Tony Kukoc with seven points. Open shot for Kerr. And again, way off. The save by McMillan. Perkins. Passed on the shot, and now Peyton lays it home. What a job by Sean Kemp at midcourt handling the basketball against Michael Jordan. He gave him a little bit of a juke and then set up that fast break play. And Jordan able to get inside. Michael's third field goal, three of five, six points, and the Bulls lead 18-12. Mercy Hawkins has had all day to line up that shot and hit it from downtown to cut it to a three-point Chicago lead. We're just under one minute to go in this first quarter. Mercy Hawkins, yes, and it counts. Putting the ball on Steve Kerr. Randy Brown has checked in. For the Bulls as Scotty Pippen opens up the second with his first field goal. It's the Bulls 20 and the Sonics 18. Oh, pretty ball by Hawkins, who has taken over offensively. Here is Peyton. And Michael Jordan, who just returned, coming up with that loose ball. Randy Brown had a very strong game down the stretch, although in a blowout. Pippen again from in close. Pippen played very well, blocked by Hawkins. Kuko just did beat the 24. Rebounded by Perkins. Too slow by Scotty in making that play happen. He's got the mismatch against Hershey Hawkins. McMillan, yes! That left front. Rebound, Sean Kemp. Rebounded by Luke Longley. Dennis Rodman continues to be a non-factor. Scotty Pippen is trying to shoot his way back into it. Michael Jordan, yes, and it counts. Perkins posting with the shot clock running down. Oh, Kemp stealing the rebound from Rodman. Shrimp, yes. John Kemp made that play, took it away from Dennis Rodman. Sonics with a three-point lead. Jordan, yes, and it counts. So Michael getting very serious here. Dean Kerr getting the playing time here in the second quarter. Nice feed from Kerr to Kuko. Peyton on the spin. Beautifully done as he beat Jordan off the dribble. Sonics lead. By one. Peyton off the screen. A three for Peyton. Beautiful pick set by Sean Kemp. Peyton. Oh. And Rodman in a battle. And last touch by Kemp. Sean Kemp is working so hard on that offensive glass, the position, the fight. You see him hit low to establish that, that position and then these are the two guys that jump the most times for any single ball going head to head. Beautiful. Three and a half remaining in the half. Brown tried the three pointer. Kemp had the dribble knocked away. Recovered by Peyton. There's Schlepp. That left Schlepp providing a five point. Seattle lead. Jordan able to deliver out of the timeout, but this crowd is so wild, so raucous, they will not let their Sonic stop pushing tonight. Shrimp. Rebounded by Rodman. <laughs> Jordan behind the back to beat Krakowski, and that goes right at Wingate. What a move by Michael Jordan, and he's tied the game at 39. How about the crowd reaction to that? Here's Kemp right back from the Well, on the fly pattern to Michael Jordan on the catch, realizing he had a defender there, able in midair to collect himself, go behind his back, and tatter himself and still finish the play. A spectacular Michael Jordan play. A little bit of everything. You go high to catch the ball, you land, you change direction in midair. Oh, Jordan beaten badly, backdoor defensively. 
Jordan. Jordan fires. And the Sonics lead by one. Ten seconds to go. First half. Rolls with Longley at the center. Here's Pippen. Trying a three. Pippen, Jordan, Longley, Kukoc, and Robin on the floor. And trailing the play, a foul has been called on Rodman. Rodman with a hold. He was reaching out. Mixed up with that lift strap there. The outlet. Rodman impedes his progress up the court. Easy play to call. Goes on so many times. Jess Kersey has seen enough. Shrep posting Kuko. Bulls 42. Longley. Yes. Luke Longley with his first field goal. And the Sonics now lead by one. Kemp. Yes. And it's Seattle with a three-point advantage. Seattle should come right back to Gary Payton. He just draws a foul. Double foul away from the ball. Bukowski and Rodman uncalled for. Well, uh, something here beginning to brew. They were quiet earlier, but Bukowski and Rodman getting involved. Well, Dennis puts his chin and face right under the foot of Bukowski, and Bukowski trying to create some space for himself to do nothing but hit Dennis Rodman. And the Sonics have a three-point lead as they look to come back into the series, hoping to send it to Chicago for a sixth game on Sunday. for the 49, 44 lead. They double up on Kuko. Pippen. Scotty Pippen. Nice move. Passing on the outside shot and going to the drive. Kuko trying to get it to Rodman. Kuko with the recovery. And he has tied the game at 51. Nice move by Jordan. Michael again taking it to the hoop. And he's been going to the drive more frequently than throughout the playoffs and the regular season. Bill Wennington is in, replacing Luke Longley who left after picking up a fourth foul. Nice turnaround jump shot. Wennington with his first field goal of the Bulls down lead by three. Here is Schrepp. Yes! Three-pointer. And it's the Sonics 57, the Bulls 55. Clutches down to five. Pippen is rejected. the foot on the line so Steve Kerr after missing his first three shots is able to score that's his first field goal Sonics 59 and the Bulls 57 Peyton with the room 13 for Peyton and the Sonics lead 61 57 Jordan with the room yes Michael Jordan with 24 Shrek Kemp. Kemp. Oh, that's it. Call for the charge, and that is his third foul. And a risky play that time by Dennis Rodman, who's playing with four personal fouls. Really had to get the feet over there very quickly. And the big question is there, did he have him there? I don't think so. He got a ball. He got a break. The indication is that uh, Scotty Pippen will take just a brief rest and then uh, join the dream team of their training camp. Here's Kemp. Hawkins, Elaine Kerr. Steve Kerr gambled as a result an open three for Percy Hawkins. Nice play by Pippen to knock it away. Three on two. Longley from Kerr. Yes, and it counts. Luke Longley off the lead pass from Steve Kerr and Longley to the line. Michael is back on the court. Back on the floor and hits on his first attempt. 26 for Jordan. 69, 65, Seattle. Longley. Yes. Luke Longley. Three for three.
three from the field. He has 10 points and all. Kemp whips it out. Hawkins returning to Kemp. And here comes Brown with Trent back. He goes around him. And then the hook is off the box. Rebound Pippen. Scotty Pippen. Very alert. The Sonics seem to be standing around. Sonics by two. Kemp with the spin. Stripped by Jordan. Michael Jordan knocking it away from Sean Kemp. Shrimp working on Kuko. That's, that's the deadlift shrimp from Houston. Peyton posting Kerr. Sonics lead 77 69. It's still for three to 11th Seattle lead. Jordan for three. Peyton has Hawkins. Jordan traveling. Hawkins at center for an 82 69 lead. And again, Phil Jackson calls for time. Peyton forced it. And Longley off the board. The tip by Dennis Rodman. Perkins. And two points. Percy Hawkins getting a piece of it. Sonics 84. And the Bulls 71. And you have to start wondering what the short turnaround is going to be. Seattle, of course, is going to come in full of energy. Oh, Scotty Pippen hitting a three, and he thought it was foul. 2.35 to go. With five minutes and 20 seconds to play in game three of the series against the New York Knicks, it forced an overtime. Final seconds. Kuko tees it up for three. Rebounded by Payton. And that will work. And this crowd much livelier than we saw in games one and two here in Chicago. The opening tip controlled by the ball. Here is Harper blocked by Peyton. Shot clock at seven. We are just underway in game six. Pippen to the drive. We did not see that in game five. Open shot. Left shrimp. And the game is tied at two. Michael Jordan. Oh, he knew on the release. He began began to walk back down court. Here's Hersey Hawkins. Lost it from behind. And we are seeing a different Scotty Pippen here at the start. He's come out of curve. Ron Hopper and the Bulls a 7-2 lead. And they are standing and cheering here at the United Center. Pressure from Chicago. Sonics able to get it down. Hersey Hawkins. Hersey Hawkins, as Michael Jordan described, has been very scrappy, very aggressive. He's played very well the last two games. Jordan lost it. He thought he was fouled. Four on three for Seattle. Kemp. And the Bulls were looking for a charge. Did not get the call as Kemp is able to tip it home. Peyton. Yes. And the Sonics with a one-point lead. Here's a three for Pippen. Scotty Pippen. Only three of 24 from downtown the last three games. And the Bulls a horrible three of 26 in game five on Friday night. In fact, at one point, they missed 20 straight three-pointers. Shrimp, yes. And the game is tied at 12. Only from way out. The tip is Shot clock is run down. It's at one. Pippen just did beat the 24. Harper for three. And Shrimp to the ball. That left Shrimp for Gary Payton met by Scotty Pippen. Yes, Gary Payton with the touch. He's hit his first two. The ball 16, the Sonics 14. A strong move to the basket by Longley. That's his first field goal. Here's Payton again. Oh, 
the spin. What a move by Peyton. And the Bulls again lead by two. Jordan for Longley. On the double team stopped Jordan at the baseline, but he was able to hit Longley with that pass. And Kemp rejected. Shot clock is down to five. Kemp has to fire it up. And hits. Foot on the line, a two-pointer, six for Kemp. And the Bulls now lead by four. Kukoc with a shot clock running down. The extension by Tony Kukoc. Scotty Pippen continues to play perfect basketball. And leading to it. Now Perkins is it back. Shrimp for Kukoc. Yes! Then left Shrimp from downtown. He has seven points. And the Bulls now lead by six. We are early second quarter. And the Bulls lead 27 21. Kerr. Well, Steve Kerr, who has not been hitting the shot, hits on his first. And the Bulls lead 29 21. Hawkins. Percy Hawkins with the floater. His second field goal. He is four. And the Bulls now lead by six points. Bill Jackson with Rodman, two coach Jordan Hawkins on the draw. Beautiful pass. Rodman. Ch Chicago's getting to the hoop. They did not do that out in Seattle. Rodman hits from downtown. And now it's it's changed to a two. Got the foot on the line. 31, 25 the score. Nice. Can't beat Rodman. Jordan facing the double team. Rodman He's trying to draw contact, no call, but Longley got it to Jordan. Here's Jordan. Michael able to elevate. Bulls lead 33 27. Mark defensive rebound. He's killing Seattle. They can't dig that ball out. Sean Kemp once again from the outside. That's his fourth field goal. He has 10 points. So the Bulls lead by four. Play by Perkins to bring it up and hit the rim. So they got the new 24. Kukoc. And Kukoc. The Sonics screaming for offensive interference. Another Seattle turnover. They've been sloppy with the ball. It leads to Pippen. Scotty Pippen and the Sonics want to talk it over. Jordan able to break it up. Hopper protecting the ball. With the tip and the Bulls are rolling. Sam Kemp from Sam Perkins. It's the Bulls by 10. Jordan able to free himself up. Nine points for Shrimp. Bulls lead 41 to 33. Nice lead pass, but Jordan rejected by Kemp. What a play by Kemp. How often do we see that? And here's Kemp at the other end. The Bulls lead by four. Looked like they were about to pull away, leading by as many as 12. Nobody lead on by, by six and Perkins rejected. Perkins not able to hit, but a foul is called. Rakowski up front with Kemp and Shrimp. In the backcourt, Peyton. It's a Peyton opens up by hitting the three. Is Shrimp. Kemp. That spot, but could not convert. At least Kemp is still taking good shots. They open up with Peyton and Kemp handling the ball. He has seven points, and the Bulls lead by seven. Total miscommunication on the part of the Sonics in their transition defense. That wasn't even a fast break. It was a slow break. Shrimp. Oh, he was playing tough by Pippen. Hopper got the step by Murkowski. Jordan with the putback. Defensive rebounding again. You think of championship teams, you think of big guys snatching balls and firing out lead passes. There's nothing. This is just layup after layup for Chicago. And Shrek for and Jordan with the rebound. Bulls lead by seven. Two minutes, ten seconds gone by. Third quarter, Jordan for Longley. Yes. The Bulls have opened up a 52 43 advantage. Shot clock at 10. Shrimp 
went flying. Shot clock at four. Oh, what a shot by Gary Payton. Well, after terrific defense for the part of him, Ron Harper really stifling Gary Payton, forcing him to take that tough shot. Ron Harper will have to uh, take some time out to tie the shoelaces. I don't know how that was not a traveling violation. And still hits the three. Forget about the shoelaces. Open shot for Shrek. And left Shrek with a solid ball game. Six of 11. He's now the high scorer for Seattle with 15. Topper way off. Dennis Larkin, who's been quiet the last two games, has certainly had an impact here tonight. Pippen leading the three on two as they spread the floor. Pippen for Larkin on the run. Yes! And it counts. Shot clock at five. And away from the ball, the call against the Sonics as Rodman was taken down by Kent. That's three on Kent. Rodman and Kemp away from the ball. Kemp, the frustration. That was not a flop. He threw him to the ground. Sean, you cannot lose your poise here. Dennis Rodman trying to get into your head. You've been above that all series. Stay that way. The Bulls have a 15-point lead. <laughs> Pippen claiming that he was fouled. For Perkins. Sam Perkins with his first field goal. He missed his previous seven. And the Bulls call for time. As Peyton finding Perkins. And it's a 13-point Chicago lead. Fires the three. He has 14 points. And the Sonics are down by 10. Shrimp with the post up move. Rebound kept alive by Kemp. And the save by Kemp. What a play by Sean Kemp. What ball control to fight off two balls. And that makes it a 9-0 run for the Sonics. Shot clock at 7. Here's Kerr over. Yes! What a three for Steve Kerr. Lieutenant for Pippen. And back comes Payton. Here's Kemp. Sean Kemp has mastered that shot. It appears he's about to put it on the floor and drive to the basket, but he has that nice little pull-up now. Randy Brown has come on for the start of the fourth quarter. Michael Jordan is back. The shot clock rolling down. It's, it's at five. Kuko for three. with the rebound and foul by Kemp. For Kemp, it is number four. Brown for three. And chased down by Rodman, beating Askew to the loose ball. Dennis is just out hustling. He was a non-factor late in the week in Seattle. Today, beautiful. Little reminder of game two. A lot of offensive rebounds, no scores. Holding on to the game by time of possession. Shot clock at five. Kuko for three. Yes! Payton with 17, the Bulls 70, the Sonics 61 with a minute and a half gone by in the fourth. series with some few shots has hit his last two from downtown. Rodman and Perkins in the battle. It is called a jump ball. The Sonics only one of six for the field in this fourth quarter. Oh, Pippen with the save. And it is Chicago ball with 6.50 remaining in the fourth. And the Bulls leading 75 to 63. Open shot for Pippen. Pippen able to scoop it up. Second shot, the story of this game. Here is Trent. So he ends 
ends that uh, streak that you just saw. And the Bulls now lead 77 65. Seattle Barb has not been a terrific comeback team in these playoffs. When they played as the leader, they've been super. Oh, Dennis Rodman with the one hand rebound for his 17th, and he threw the foul, number five, on Kent. Uh, Dennis Rodman. Unbelievable how he works and has a nose and has a feel for where shots are going to come. And Seattle just cannot get a body on him. Shot clock at five. Pippen. Yes. Perkins. Sam Perkins, who has had a very difficult time of it. Three of 13 from the field. He now has seven points. Here's Carter. Uh, Steve Kerr turning it around after the miserable time he had in the previous five games. Standing ovation for the Chicago Bulls. Kerr! And back comes Hawkins with 125 to go. Shrek. And the ball's now in 84 to 7. The Michael Jordan comeback will be completed. Here is Jordan kicking it out. Kickback. We are just under one minute remaining. And the Bulls will have won their fourth title. And in the final second, the Chicago Bulls. at four in six years as they defeat the Sonics 87 to 75 and they are going wild in the Windy City an emotional moment for Michael Jordan the tears are flowing We'll be, we'll be talking with Michael in just a few moments, and I, I would think there is a tie-in with his late dad on this Father's Day, 1996. All right. All right. Thanks, Bob. Michael, I know that the first one was sweet, but how much sweeter was this one? Well, you know, this, I can't even put it in words. On Father's Day, what it means to me. I know he's watching to my wife and to my, my kids and to my mother, my brothers and sisters. This is for daddy. I'm very happy for him. Now you had said, Michael, that of all the accomplishments that you've made, that this may be the accomplishment. Why? Well, this goes right up there to having my kids. My kids are the most important things to me, my wife, my family. But next to them, this is going to mean a lot to me because of what, what it symbolizes, which is my father on Father's Day. It means a very... Not, it means a big deal to me. Now, you remember just a couple of years ago that early flight to Indiana where it all started. Now, all of a sudden, it looks like this is a culmination. It's been a long road. You know, it started from scratch. You know, I had a lot of support from my teammates, from my family. I'm just happy for the city of Chicago. I'm sorry I was out for 18 months, but I'm happy I'm back to bring a championship back to Chicago. I know this is what you're pointing for, but as we look back at the baseball, we were talking the other day that you've almost forgotten about that. Seems like years ago. I haven't truly forgot it. You know, those minor leaguers meant a lot to me. They really got me back on the road of thinking basketball. They showed me the genuine attitude that you have when you're playing a sport that you truly love. So I give a lot of gratification to the minor league organization, the White Sox organization, for, for giving me that inspiration. But it's always great to come back and play in Chicago. All right, Michael, congratulations to you on a great year and a way to bring it to a win. Thank you very much. The quest has begun for the Chicago Bulls as they gun for their fifth championship the past seven years. For the Utah Jazz, it is their first trip to the finals in the history of the franchise. Beautiful pass. As Carl Malone with the nice lead for John Stockton. Uh, I think there's something that Carl's earned. And, you know, people could easily say Michael Jordan was MVP this year, but they didn't. And, and to have animosity or any type of jealousy or, or use that individual accolade to motivate myself, I, I don't really want to. I think the motivation that I have is that you know, we've been to the final 
four times and win four straight, we win four out of three. This is the fifth time we want to make it five out of five. That's where my motivation comes. It's not individualistic to where I'm trying to prove something about the MVP. And I love to win, even if I'm not MVP. Carl Malone, very aggressive offensively. Michael Jordan, the gracious competitor, maybe the most gracious of our time. But that does sting a little bit. He had a chance, a realistic chance, of catching Jabbar at six MVPs. On oh, here's Jordan. So the Jazz up by the score of four to two. And uh, both clubs having their difficulties at the start. The Jazz with a 4-2 lead. Luke Longley comes off a strong game against Miami. Oh, Stockton got the step. He took Hopper off the dribble. And one of the rare times we'll see Michael Jordan make a defensive error. What a pass. Oh, Maloney. He saw Hornacek cutting inside and was able to find him. The Jazz 8 and the Bulls 4. And the Bulls have scored on only two of their first nine possessions. Michael Jordan adding to that percentile. The Jazz 8 and the Bulls 6. Team basketball again. Great block, Scotty Pippen. Pippen with the recovery to stop Stockton. And the first foul committed by either team. 5.45 left in the first. Scotty Pippen. Utah 10, Chicago 8. As we come up on five minutes to go in the first. Jordan lost it but got it back to Longley. And the Bulls very fortunate. Michael was able to deflect it back. Rodman now defending against Malone. Malone, yes. Only his second field goal. Open shot for Kuko. Joey Kuko with a three-pointer. And the Bulls lead by one. Bulls lead 13-12 with 2-15 remaining. And the first, Jordan. Yes. Michael Jordan telling us earlier he would not force the issue. Jordan. And Malone off the box out. Mark, Utah is controlling their defensive board. Something Seattle could not do last year. Gave them absolutely no chance to win the championship. That's going to be key. Who wins the battle of the board? And a strong move by Malone going straight down the lane for his third pocket. The Bulls lead by one with a minute 10 left in the first. And with Scotty Pippen's problems, Tony Kukoc becomes more and more problem and more and more important as a playmaker. Judd Bushler, who has been a, a major contributor throughout the playoff. Ice lead. Howard Isley, who has done the job off the bench, usually comes on to spell John Stockton. Isley trying to put moves on Kerr. Down to two seconds, and Isley hits. What a shot by Howard Isley. One point, Utah lead. Now, Brian Williams on the floor for the first time. A beautiful pass again. The long finding Foster. Here's Kuko. Tony Kuko with his second three pointer. Brown off the steal. He has stopped it back. Goes to the pull up. And hits. The Bulls lead by two. Chris Morris on the floor for the first time. It's Foster. Good ball movement by the Jazz. Now Jordan played by the rookie Anderson. Michael Jordan is shooting over. Anthony Anderson. Foster feeling it. Greg Foster has the good touch. All right, thank you, Mark. During that timeout, Jerry Sloan very happy with the defensive effort of the Utah Jazz. He said, offensively, however, you must set and hold your screens and take much better shots. Unhappy with the shot selection, Mark. Ten points for Jordan on five of ten shooting. Randy Brown now defending on John Stockton. Here's Carr. Beautiful move. By Antoine Carr, the 13 year professional from Wichita State. Bar strip. Stockton recovery. Shot clock running down. Here's Anderson for three. And Carr able to get to it. Nice pass from Anderson. Anderson with the setup. Michael Jordan has 12. And the Bulls lead by one. Now Michael's eyes are wide as saucers right now, going against rookie Shannon Anderson. 
And, uh, meanwhile, at the other end, Shaden Anderson uh, enjoying himself. The Bulls have not played a team like this in a long time. Shaden Anderson, a second round draft pick. Utah did not have a number one. Oh! The opening for Scotty Pippen. That's his second field goal. And the Bulls lead now 32 to 31. Got clock at seven. Out of three. Malone. Yes. Carl Malone has 10 points. It's the Jazz 34 and the Bulls 32. Stockton got the step. John Stockton with his fourth field goal. He has eight points and four assists. Utah Jazz are overplaying every post entry pass. Again, the hesitation by Pippen that led to the turnover. Stockton for three. John Stockton, the hero. The other night against the Houston Rockets, which put the Utah Jazz into the finals by virtue of his three-pointer, just hit that open three-point shot to extend to a seven-point Utah lead. And Utah getting the help off the bench. 7-0 run by the Jazz. They lead it 39-32 here to Jordan. Rockin' with the tip, Rockin' again, and took a poke in the eye. Jordan, Rodman. Terrific ball instincts and he fires. <laughs> Dennis a bit encouraged from recent development. Pippen on the loose ball. One of his great skills. And he's brought the balls within one. Russell for three. Just did beat the 24. Stockton is a tough, hard-nosed defender who will stand in against hey! anyone, no matter how big they are. Everybody's getting their hands on passes here. Oh, Scotty Pippen with a good-looking three-point shot. He drilled it. While the Chicago Bulls, during the regular season, scoring that 103 points a ball game, but it has been going down, down, down. Now, that's a lot of that has to do with playoff basketball, a lot of half-court play, very little transition, but this is ridiculous. Jeff Portisek, Pippen for three. Wild shot. In many cases, John Stockton would have flipped that ball ahead to Brian Russell, but the way that the Jazz have been turning it over, he wants to make sure. Russell. Nice lead pass for Russell. His second field goal, he has seven points, and the Jazz lead by five. Jordan screaming for Rodman. That's what it's come to. Well, Dennis Rodman looking for the offense. In fact, was a, a post-up go-to player the last couple of games against the uh, Miami Heat. That's his second field goal here tonight. The Jazz 46, the Bulls 43. Oh, the block. Pippen, uncontested. The Utah lead is one. Malone comes out to set the screen. The lead for Malone. Off the pick and roll. Well, Utah expects Chicago to send that pick and roll towards the baseline. Pick the play moves on Russell and hit it. Scotty Pippen, one of the greatest players of all time, schooling Brian Russell, an up and coming star. What a sound. Squeezing his way through. Ostra Tank with the rebound and the tip. Uh, to be over seven feet tall, what a dream. Along comes out aggressively on Pippen. Phil Jackson wanted a foul call. Hopper waving it off. Now Jordan posting up Hornacek. Going glass. The Jazz 50, the Bulls 49. At seven. Hornacek. Jeff Hornacek getting the roll. That's his third field goal. He has six, and it's the Jazz by three. Jerry Sloan up. Remember, he calls all the plays. Even with the brilliance of Stockton, who's not playing now, Sloan will call everything. Oh, what a move by Isley. And a great call by Jerry Sloan because the Bulls trying to hide Kukoc, a poor perimeter defender on the point guard. So Utah just spread the floor took advantage of it. I'm not going to get caught up in a Carl Malone and Dennis Robin situation. Uh, I've walked away of situations in my life, and you call everything from a, from a wimp to things you can't say on TV. And, but that's fine with me. I've worked 12 years to get here. I'm not going to look back when this, season, uh, this series is over with and say to myself, God, I shouldn't have did that. Uh, will I take some, uh, some elbows and things from Dennis? Absolutely. Will I give some as this series goes on? Probably so. Carl rarely gets involved with the officials. 
Only when they're taking it from him. Jo Michael Jordan with a good angle of jump shot following up on the, the Jeff Hornacek roll. So the Jazz now leads 56-54. Jordan putting moves on Isley and pops it out. Pippen for three. The Bulls 57 and the Jazz 56. 18 for Scotty Pippen. Here's Malone. Carl Malone right back. Carl Malone can get that top of the key jumper anytime he wants. Hornacek. A uh, three for Jeff Hornacek who has caught fire. And the Jazz now lead 61-57. At the open we talked about oh, Jordan wide open. It counts in the foul. Isley turned his head and Jordan beat him back door with just under 40 seconds to go in the third quarter. Isley for three. Oh, how it Isley comes right back. Uh, he's just playing one-on-one -on -one with Michael Jordan out here. It's his lifetime dream come true. Out of five seconds. Isley lost it. Here's Pippen. Chased by Horacek. And Pippen goes all the way. Five tenths of a second. Remaining in the quarter. So needs to find a hot hand and stick with him. They have not done that. Antoine Carr hits his first touch jumper. Michael Jordan sitting down, getting a rest. Scotty Pippen. Yes. Well, Scotty Pippen with 22. Carr extends to the 68-65 Utah lead. Mentioned John Stunt and not taking that many shots. Just four of six from the field. Bulls able to break it up. Utah with 19 on the shot clock. Here comes Michael Jordan. That's three on Jordan. Here's Stockton. Well, John Stockton with only his seventh shot of the game. He has 13 points, eight assists. Hopper is open for three. And that is his first field goal. Over the last two years here at home in the playoffs, the Bulls have won 17 and lost only once. And that loss was game two against Atlanta uh, this season in the second round. Scotty Pippen continues his magnificent performance. It cuts it to a one point. Utah lead. Oh, you saw that bench scoring number heavily in favor, two to one of Utah. That's been the way for the Jazz all playoffs as Carl Malone drills that jumper. And Longley got a piece of it. Malone with 17, but Jazz 73, and the Bulls 70. Well, this is MVP time. This is when you pound it inside to Carl Malone and let him go to work. And here's Malone. Or settle for a jump shot. <laughs> but he is Man. taking Luke Longley out there where Luke Longley is just not going to be an effective defender. Turn and face against a big guy. Torture him. 19 for Malone. To Utah by five. Five and a half remaining. Nice pass for Longley. And Jordan looking to reset. Hornacek is with him. Here comes Malone. Here's Jordan. Yes. The Utah lead is down to one with just under four minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Here's Stockton. Wild pass. That's turnover number seven committed by John Stockton. Utah needs to play with poise here. Jordan behind the back. Sets it up for Longley. Yes. The Bulls have taken a one-point lead. Pippen for three. And Jordan gets to the rebound, but a loose ball foul from behind on Rodman. Clutch free throw shooting by the NBA's most valuable player, Carl Malone. And the Jazz leading by one. Here's Jordan. Yes. <laughs> Michael Jordan has worked his way back in terms of the stroke. And the Bulls lead by one. And a defense. Malone with the opening. Malone with the drive. And I guess what set all that up was the fact that he has been making that outside shot and it sucked Luke Longley right out there so Malone could get the penetration. Utah by one. 120 remaining in the fourth. Jordan spinning his way on Hornacek. Ah! Rebounded by Harper. Pickle for three. Yes!
Chicago 81, Utah 79 as we approach one minute remaining. In the fourth of game one of the best of seven NBA final series. Stockton for three, yes! A jazz by one, 82 81. Jordan. And a foul is called on Hornacek. It puts Utah over the limit. Jordan, four of five at the line. And the game is tied at 82. Michael Jordan missing on the second attempt. The score remains tied at 82. It's got to be Carl Malone here. This is MVP time. Carl Malone down at the right baseline being defended by Rodman. Shot clock. Is down to five. 15 seconds on the game clock. Stockton setting it up for the three. And Malone with the recovery. And a foul has been called. Looks like a loose ball foul being indicated by Bill Oates. It's against Chicago. It's on Rodman. Over the foul limit. We're down to five. Jordan putting moves on Russell. We're down to two. Down to one. Here's Jordan. Yes! It is all over. The Chicago Bulls have won at the buzzer in game one of the best of seven on the Jackson by Michael Jordan. The Bulls with an 84-82 victory in dramatic fashion. Over the Utah Jazz, Michael Jordan going right at Brian Russell and hitting on the jump shot. A standard set play, end of game for the Chicago Bulls, and a smart play by Chicago by putting the ball in Jordan's hands, where it would be very difficult to come double team. They took Stockton away, of course, with Steve Kerr, he had to watch him, and Brian Russell at Michael Jordan's mercy. I get on the Jazz controlling the opening tip. The officials, Hugh Evans, Steve Jabby, and Bennett Salvatore. The block by Pippen, who came up hobbling following the rejection. Beautiful back cut by Brian Russell. Couldn't convert. Scotty Pippen continues to own him defensively. Michael Jordan giving the balls for 2 0 lead. And Harry Sloan opening up with a corner sack on Jordan. Fast Hopper finding Pippen, make it 4 0 Chicago. Now Malone played by Longley. And the shot affected by Longley. Well, the Bulls feel with Longley on him, it'll force Malone to go outside, which is what he did in game one. And Longley gets inside on Oster Tag, leading to the quick 20 called by Utah. Utah 0 for 5. Here at the start, Stockton with the step, and that is their first field goal. Shot clock at seven. Jordan, yes. And that is his second field goal. Bulls lead 10 5. Hopper over to help. On Malone. Carl Malone with a turnaround in the face of Brian Williams. Carl starting to feel the rhythm. He, he often misses a couple of easy gimmies early on in the game, but once he finds it, you can't stop it. Here's Jordan. Setting it up for Pippen. Now the running game of Chicago just getting the ball out, advancing it. The players can't catch up to the fans, and a beautiful two-on-one execution. Beautiful back. Oh, Hornacek converting off glass. That is his first field goal. The Bulls 12 and the Jazz 9. Utah hoping to tie the series at one. Jordan again. Hornacek. Yes. Jeff Hornacek. Utah was just so wide open on all their back cuts. They didn't have to have ever get into the big Just seems to be on fire. Totally focused in tonight. That's a three. For Michael Jordan, he has nine, nine of the 17 Chicago points. Jordan with the fake. Yes. Here's Russell. He can't find the range. Coming up on three minutes remaining in this first quarter. Jordan putting moves on Hornacek. Now Kerr for three. Yes. Kerr began the playoff 
Nets having difficulty locating his shot. As the playoffs have progressed, he has begun to show signs. Effie's pass did not connect. Russell has a three on two. Nice finish. Carl Malone. And he's shaken up. He and Pippen came together. Now Kerr is open. Yes. Boards 25. And the pass 15 off the three by Kerr. Shot clock is down to seven. Here's Russell. Oh, he went glass. Very fortunate. I don't know if that was the intent. Final seconds of the first quarter. Isley. Oh, the water by Isley. One and six tenths seconds to go. Here's Carr. Yes. Antoine Carr brings the Jazz within three. Great pass. And Carr. And takes advantage. Antoine Carr, a 13-year veteran out of Wichita State. Now Jordan, when he moves on Anderson. Yes. Well, that ends the streak. Small Chicago team out there right now. Utah should be taking it to the rim because there's just no shot blocking out there unless a Jordan or a Pippen come over. Whoa! Barnes from way downtown. Like I said, take the ball to the rim. <laughs> Or shoot from 30 feet. Mark, you talked about the offensive struggles for the Bulls. They started off the game 10 for 14. Since then, after nine minute mark, two for 12. But their rebound dominance has kept them in the lead, albeit very slightly at this time as Carl Malone gets great deep position. And it brings Utah with him to Chicago has led from the start. Proper cutoff by Stockton and try to go glass. Rebound Jordan. Well, both teams very small right now. You shouldn't even be thinking about settling for jump shots. Try to get the ball in the basket or do what Michael just did, get to the offensive class. Adam Keith has come on for the first time. Long rejected, recovered by Anderson, and it's 24. Second violation. It's one a second. Russell getting sent to a check back in. his Harper for three. With his first field goal. Bulls lead 46 29. Pippen being played by Russell. What a sec on Jordan. Longley for Hoffman. Beautiful ball movement. Uh, Michael Jordan getting in the air, thinking shot, but able to stay up there so long, make the adjustment, and a terrific look by Luke Longley to find the open man. Oh, Jordan putting the moves on. The look away. First two games of the final series. Luke Longley finds that left-handed hook. So Chicago leads by 18. Here's Hornacek. Yes. The beautiful thing about a guy in Harper's situation, when you play with a great, great player like a Jordan, a Malone, or a Bird, you just have to do your job like Luke Longley throwing down dunks. The pass from Malone finding Foster, but he was blocked. Foster retrieves. Malone. With the stuff. Hopper. Yes. Bulls lead 57-40. Right now, the, the Bulls just sharper, quicker in every aspect. And Utah struggling to find anything. Open opportunity for Kuko. Tony Kuko knocking down a three. And the Bulls lead. 20, 60 to 42, Chicago. Jordan. Yes. That's a tough way to play the pick and roll for Utah. Here's the isolation for Jordan. He played by Russell. Putting moves on. And hit him. Well, Michael gets the outside shot going, and he's starting to feel it right now. Russell. Ryan Russell. Have the foot on the line. It's a two-pointer. The Bulls now lead 64-44. Jordan. Yes! Michael Jordan going glass with the reverse. Chicago leads by 20. Jordan. Yes. 30 for Jordan. Seven.
70, 48 for Chicago. And here's Russell, a three for Brian Russell. So the Bulls now lead 70 to 51 over a Utah team that went 64 and 18 during the regular season. A franchise record, 64. What a pass, Jordan for Williams. Uh, it's all clicking now. Either the triangle offense, the spread, every defensive move Utah is making. Chicago is countering for an easy pass. Keep off the steal of fine Anderson. Oh, and the Bulls now lead 72 to 53. They don't seem to be as sharp as they have been. This is the, I think, by far the poorest game that the Jazz have played. Carl Malone now has 17. And it's Chicago with a 72-57 lead with a minute remaining in the third quarter. Williams. Ryan Williams with his second field goal. He has four. I just like putting moves on curve and hitting. Michael Jordan leading Chicago with 30 points. The show. Another assist for Jordan. That is number seven. He is three assists away from his first ever triple double in the NBA Finals. Up defense. Stockton three. Now that's one of the most fluid plays that the Jazz have run in quite some time. Olsen getting the pass to the cutting Keith. And the Bulls now lead 81-64. When Chicago did struggle, Jazz couldn't capitalize, and the shooting woes continue. Yes, this has to be awfully disappointing. Malone with, with the tip because he talked to the coaches after the first game, and they, they were not, obviously, you don't like to lose on a last-second shot, but they were not disgusted because they felt they were correctable you know, things. They could have just, uh, even talking about the turnovers, they felt that there was a lot of fault that they can certainly make adjustments, but they have not. They're just going to have to totally regroup and come out with a rededicated focus. Jordan Harper on the break. And Harper goes all the way. So the Bulls lead it 87-66. Hornacek fires one up. Oh, and hits. Jeff Hornacek with a, with a two-pointer. Everything on Carl at the front of the rim. Well, he has developed a habit, and it's become his shot where he doesn't really turn and square up and face the basket. It's kind of a half turn. Now, you were talking earlier about the Carmel shot and the, and, and the footwork. A great defensive player, great defensive teams like Jordan and the Bulls, they work nonstop on making other players use bad footwork. That's something that the Bulls have done as they continue to pick apart. Jordan getting closer and closer to that triple-double. That's assist number nine. He is one assist away from a triple-double. His first in NBA Finals play. Anderson able to hit. Chicago Bulls on their way to taking a 2-0 lead. Oh, that would have been assist number 10. <laughs> Scotty, uh, Michael's telling Pippen, hey, will you please make a layup? Russell. And the ball's now lead 91. 79. Stockton. This is all cosmetic. Shot clock at six. Rodman's pass picked off. A lazy pass thrown. And here comes Stockton. What a save for three. And the Jazz very much alive. They are within eight points with a minute and a half to go. A poor shooting fourth quarter by Chicago. Four of 17. Rodman. Dennis Rodman. And the Bulls now lead 97-85. That was a three for Rodman. Final seconds. The Chicago Bulls have defeated the Utah Jazz. 97 a chant of MVP for Carmen on right from the start, although that can do funny things in the opposite way because it could also fire up number 23, Michael Jordan. Well, Michael has said from the very beginning of this so-called controversy that it didn't bother him. Good luck to Carl Malone. He deserved it, but Michael Jordan does not like to come in second in anything. Dennis Rodman with a new look. Jordan being played by Brian Russell. Fires over him for three. 
Not a single dribble on that entire possession. Everybody touched it. Jordan beats the shot clock for the three. Jeff Hornacek for Carl Malone, putting moves on Luke Block. Now two adjustments. First of all, Utah making the switch defensively. The bigger Russell might force Jordan outside. And Carl Malone going to another familiar place at that high right elbow. Shot the clock is down to four. Hornacek with a nice pass. So Russell gives the Jazz a one-point lead. Long lead. Utah 38 and 3 here at Delta Center. Second best home record in the NBA. Again, the room for Jordan. All set up by Scottie Pippen going to the mismatch inside against Hornacek. Drew the defense, and then they leave Jordan alone. That's his second from downtown. Russell. It's a three for Brian Russell. The Jazz by one. Pippen for three. Yes. Well, both clubs have come out firing from long range. Hornacek able to hit, although Pippen got a piece of it. Game tied at nine. Four minutes have gone by. Utah has opened up hitting four of its first six shots. Oh, the kick! But all and Oster tag both five four. And the Jazz lead. 11-9. I know Jerry Sloan likes Russell on Jordan because of the six foot seven, the long arms, about 225 pounds. Jordan shooting over him again. So Michael Jordan is now two out of five, both from downtown. Malone on the move. There's Brian Williams sweeping hook by Brian. Jerry Sloan was seething following Wednesday's game, too. Felt his team did not compete hard. He was uh, stunned that the Jazz, he felt, had actually been intimidated by the Bulls. Now Brian Williams defending on Carl Malone. Off to a terrific start. He has nine, and the Jazz up 16-13. Malone again. Utah by five. Here's Harper, and tipped home by Williams. Brian Williams, able to get a piece of it. When Ostertag goes for that block, the guards have got a block. And Isley continues to play perfect ball in relief of John Stockton. Isley likes Stockton, though. The pressure doesn't bother him. He, he just goes right through and delivers again. Perfect. Oh, Malone from Howard Isley. 13 from an all six point jazz lead just under two minutes to go in the first ryan williams that'll count it is a goal tip ryan williams very active offensively Isley off the crossover Isley again seven point utah lead judd bushler has come tony kuko putting moves on Carl Malone and gets the roll Jazz 27, the Bulls 22. Isley working on Kerr, setting up Malone. Yes. Perfect pass again. Isley's decision. Isley has played better than John Stockton. Kuko, yes, and took a shot from Greg Foster. And actually, Foster on the backlash also uh, was hit on the follow through by Kuko. Foster. Oh, he's on target. Six points for Greg Foster. Jordan being guarded by Morris. And then met by Keith who cut him off. Two coach for three. Kathy's back half. Have it by Stockton. Running the floor. Final moves. Biggest lead of the game for Utah. They are up by 13. Kerr for three. Well, Steve Kerr, who's been showing signs from downtown, able to hit one from straight away. It's a 10-point jazz advantage. Good coach, off the fake, got the step. The pass not handled by Kathy. And here comes Stockton. The Jazz are the quicker, more aggressive team. Stockton just got away with a carry. Oh, what a pass. Yes, and a touch. All right, that's
Thank you, Marvel. That wound on his right hand. Mike Sheminsky, the trainer of the club, got more than 300 calls and voicemails from around the country, more than 100 Federal Express packages, lotions, ointments, creams. A lot of good suggestions, a lot of very bad ones. The worst suggestion, according to Sheminsky, he was told to soak it in Clorox on tobacco. Oh. Finally, they settled on a new skin, which seems to be holding up very well. Mark? Yes, wise move passing on that <laughs> particular suggestion. And Michael Jordan with his first field goal since the opening minutes of the game. Mark Foster has been a major factor. Jordan, it counts. And the foul. So Michael Jordan going to the fadeaway and took the hit. Stockton putting moves on Hopper. Better trade. Now Stockton looking like a different player. Jordan. And here's Mars. Fires. And How did we all know he was going to shoot that ball? <laughs> they double up on Stockton. Foster for three. shot gets that little bit of seam not to be denied tonight Michael Jordan so frustrated what's going on out here he's asking himself well he didn't want to come out of the game four minutes to go in the half his team struggling as Pippen gets one Pippen again for three wow Scotty Pippen the successive three pointers and the Jazz lead down to 12 on a sec on a quick release three rebound Foster Foster. Well, he's equal to season high. He has 13 points. Just under two minutes to go in the hand. And Steve Kerr with his second field goal. He has five points. Stopped and lost it. Adam Keep has got to catch that ball. Nice pass from Kirko. It counts in the foul. So Brian Williams. We'll head to the line. Adam Keefe was looking, looking to spot it up off a screen. Malone with the step. 22 points for Carl Malone. And the Jazz up 59-45. Head on the 24. Malone. Beautiful shuffle for Stockton. Who beat Jordan? Off the weave, Stockton handing to uh, Hornacek with the shot clock rolling down. It's at five. Stockton with the crossover to set it up for Hornacek. Poster tag. Big. Here's Stockton brushing off Pippen. Hornacek. And a tip by Oster tag. Well, we talked in the first two games about how good the Chicago defense was. The first half was absolutely miserable. Scotty should be able to post up against Hornacek. Forget the fadeaway and go to the hoop for Scotty. And for Luke Longley, that his first bucket. The Jazz up 65 to 47. Malone screening for Stockton. Open shot for Russell. For three. That's his second from downtown. He has eight points. Malone. And rebounded by Longley. Jordan waiting for teammates to join him down court. A very unaggressive offensive game for the Bulls. Pippen and Jordan. Second bucket for Longley. Both here in the third. Here's the mismatch. Pippen working on Stockton. And the pass broken up. It's a three on one. The long over Jordan. His right mind is going to get in front of Carl Malone when he's barreling down like that. 24 minutes for Rodman, only three rebounds. Phil Jackson felt the other night that uh, Dennis was not uh, in the game. Carl Malone, who has certainly been in the game. And that is now 26 points for Malone, plus a foul away from the ball. Shot clock, down to five. Back out 
the floor. He has been contributing. That's 12 points for Williams. Just under five minutes remaining in the third quarter. Williams guarding Malone, who faces up. Yes. Oh, Malone, 13 of 23. He has 28 points. It's the Jazz 77 and the Bulls 53. Oh, Malone hearing it from the crowd as he sits down. Shot clock running down and Isley not able to convert. Jordan finding Cooper. Yes. It is a 20-point Utah lead. Carr blocked from behind by Harper. Harper challenging nicely and beating him for the step. And it all started at the defensive end as Carr put the ball on the floor. That's the kind of defense that Chicago played in the first two games. Here's Jordan. Oh, what a move. Getting it over the outstretched arm of Greg Foster. Long and Stockton are back. Here's Stockton. by Tony Kuko. And here's Steve Kerr, who does not have great speed, oh. but able to hit. Oh, Steve Kerr did a terrific job there. He rarely gets that kind of opportunity, and he saw the big man bearing down on him, still able to get that shot up and in. Just under eight minutes to go in the fourth. Jordan. And the tip by Brian Williams. Now, Chicago has gone to a lineup to force Stockton, the point guard, on Michael Jordan. They don't necessarily have to do it, but they did it on that possession. Stockton uses the pick. Hopper staying in with the five fouls. Here's Russell. He continues to hit. Still no sign of Dennis Rodman for Chicago. Hello? For three, yes. Michael Jordan with 21 points. Stockton checking the shot clock. Stockton with the deceptive triple. Uh, now the last two times, Chicago has forced it down, and it's turned into two field goals. One for Malone, and the easy land for Stockton. Bulls defense falling apart. Utah by 14. Jordan stopped by Russell, able to throw over him. Michael Jordan. With 23, it's the Jazz 86 and the Bulls 74. We have five minutes to go in the fourth. And Michael has the strut, the tongue hanging out, and the look. Stopped it again. Carl Malone and John Stockton have to touch the ball every time down the rest of the way to keep the offense rolling. Jordan for three, yes. <laughs> He's too good. He had nowhere to go. Everybody on the Bulls started coming towards him. Jordan gives it up. Pippen. Yes. A three for Scotty Pippen, who has been off. But it is now an eight-point game. 3.15 to go here in the fourth. Malone with the step. That's what the MVP means. Not the numbers, but at the big moments. Shutting down these great runs by Chicago, who's so poised. This game's just getting started, though. Jordan played by Stockton. We're just under three minutes. Remaining in the fourth. Pippen again with room for three. Yes! Scotty Pippen with two enormous three-pointers. And the Jazz lead is down to seven. Stockton on the run. Leading Foster, who is rejected by Jordan. Jordan able to pick up the loose ball. Has a three on two. Pippen steps back to shoot the three. 94 86 with 115 to go. We come up on a half minute remaining. Pippen from way downtown. And that's seven three pointers to tie an NBA Finals record again. The Bulls give the foul. It's down to a seven point lead with 29 and five ten seconds to go. Chicago has one timeout left. The Jazz up by nine. Jordan hustling down. Jordan did not take the shot. Gave it to Bushler, who hit. 100 to 93, and again a foul. Given by Jordan, once again, stopped him to the line. Utah's got a head of steam. Watch out for the Jazz. Malone off the intercept. Stop 
Houston will run it out. Down to 10 seconds. And they're on their feet. Standing ovation for the Utah Jazz who have been able to get back into this series with a solid performance as they defeat the Chicago Bulls. 104 to 93.
some defense and Oster tag finally making a good move inside over to the move from Pippen who went too deep. He had to save it. Three coach. Yes. Tony Coco hits the three. He's beginning to hit a shot. Still not himself because of the foot inches deep curve. Great steal. Here it takes time. Brian Williams with the finisher. John Stockton felt that he was fat. Rolls with a four-point lead as we come up on five minutes left. This first half, Jeff Morrisek has been on fire. Five of seven from the field. He has 11. The ball is by two. Here's the coach again. Tony Kukos with his second consecutive three at Chicago 34 and Utah 29. Stockton using the pitch for time. John Stockton with his Six points, rolls 34, the Jazz 31. Pippen. Short, open. Rebound, Pippen. Scotty Pippen on a foot pocket. That foot looking much better. Short, trying to brush off Scott, and he did it. Nobody's playing well for Utah with the exception of Paul the Epi Wood. Half and one. Hornacek can't find it. And Tony Kukoc has been a major factor in the second quarter. Scotty Pippen, beautiful. Luke Longley puts it down. And the Bulls have the biggest lead of the night. They're up by seven. The crowd was looking for fouls. Hornacek and uh, Longley came together. Shot clock at three. Here's Foster. Terrific attempt by Greg Foster, who was off balance, didn't really have a good handle on it, but able to just regroup at the last second to put it up and in. Stockton. Eight points to John Stockton. It's a three point Chicago lead, and Joe Jackson upset. Carl Malone with the rebound. Chicago's not been able to capitalize on Scotty down low, but just hard to say. Oh, the Jacks. Hornacek had the hot hand in the first half. Malone stopped it for three. Yes! The Jazz with a 44 for the lead. Yes. Now uh, the Bulls finally regroup with a good offensive rebound by Dennis Robin. They've been fortunate to keep it alive. Longer. Cut off by Harvard. that Scotty Pippen is uh, shooting at and apparently had one of the fans removed a, a, a large cutout of uh, Dennis Rodman that was being waved and apparently he felt was a bit too much interference on the free throw attack of uh, Scotty Pippen. Boy, that's one you never see. Carl Malone over the head. He now has 13 and the gun is up 50 to 47. Curry with the steal. Was trying to use the screen and finished. Scotty Pippen for his first three pointer of the night to give the Bulls a one point lead. He had seven in 
game number three. Williams, yes. Ryan Williams with nine points. The Bulls lead 53 50. Williams played Russell well. No offense. They can't get it down deep to Carl Malone. Shot clock at three. Isley had a close. Met by Kerr. Ball being played by Williams. Ball. Yes. The game is tied at 54. Here's Pippen with the shot and the bucket, and the Bulls lead 56 54. Fourth quarter getting underway. Ryan Williams defending on Carl Malone. John Stockton is back, played by Steve Kerr. Malone. Yes. Kukoc with the screen. Kukoc for three. Tony Kukoc with his third three-pointer. He now has nine, and the Bulls are up by one. Malone. Utah recaptures the lead up by one. And Jordan with only two points since the first quarter. Trying to get back in. To get there, he can, or he can drop Dante. Bulls lead 61-60. Russell with Ray for Carl. Ray missing his first six. He's hit two three-pointers. Here's Stockton. Jordan could not take advantage. Now Jordan off the floor. Yes. And he has time again at 65. Here's Jordan. And to Tony Ryan Pippen. Scotty Pippen so effective at going to the boards. The Bulls lead by two. Mark Jim Gray reporting from the Utah huddle. Don't be like robots, Jerry Sloan, yelling at his guy. Be aggressive, be assertive. Don't let like Michael Jordan get a six-foot jump shot. Oh, he almost got about six feet in the air. How about that elevation? He was going to make sure he got up over everybody to release. The line again from the outside. Rebounded by Pippen. It's Jordan chased down. The shot clock. Carl's not pushing hard enough. Stockton tries to get it off. With the three. John Stockton. Opening the shot. To break the jazz within two. They are first two minutes. In the fourth quarter. Jordan to the fairway.
All right, thanks, Marv. At 3.30 this morning, Michael Jordan woke up with flu-like symptoms. He had a stomach ache and a headache, and he couldn't go back to sleep. He threw up all night, and as reported earlier, he missed the shoot-around, but he was in bed all day and continued to throw up. As a matter of fact, he got in here early. When I went to talk to him back in the back room, he was in a dark room trying to get some rest, but, but still throwing up. And Marv, I talked to him, I said, how do you feel? He said, I really feel horrible. But his history in games where he's either been hurt or sick has been bad news for the opponent. And as you can see, he's ready to go tonight. Marv? All right, thanks, Ramon. And the Utah Jazz control the tip. Bill Oates, Sue Evans, Dan Crawford are the officials. The question is, how long can Jordan go? And how will uh, Phil Jackson spot him during the course of the game? Nice pass from the the first bucket of the game. A long play by Rodney at the start. Fired up a three for the air ball. Too far out of his range there. I just don't think Carl had any idea what the shot clock was. And Jordan trying to slip it. And that was it back and hit. So Michael Jordan, despite visibly shaken by the flu symptoms, connecting from the corner to tie the game at two. Jordan to the crossover and lost it. The play by Longley to break up that uh, lead pass attempt. Stopped it over. Yes. Utah four, Chicago two. Here's the ball. Yes, it counts. Barb, Utah's got the quick start that they need to keep the crowd into it. And Michael Jordan able to line drive at home for his second field goal. Stockton got the step. Stockton coming off the brilliant finish. Sunday extends to a 9-4 Utah lead. Jordan being played by Russell. Hopper for three. Yes. Ron Hopper from downtown. It's the Jazz 9 and the Bulls 7. Ball knocked away by Malone, but able to recover. And there is the first bucket for Stanton Anderson. The Jazz up by three. Pippen trying to protect it. Host attack with a good play. And here comes Isley. Isley for below. Isley, nice move off the dribble to beat Kerr. They're on their feet here at the Delta Center. Shot clock at four. Morris. Yes. Kukos has no clue what's going on. Here's Morris. Well, Chris Morris has also been a contributor in this series. A 14-1 run by the Jazz. Brian Williams. Nice move by Williams. Crowd wanted to travel. Utah 23 and Chicago 11. John Bushler on the floor for the first time and he's defending. On Mars, here's Malone. Yes. Carl Malone with seven and the Jazz 25. The ball's 12. What kind of defense is that? You double team and then both guys back off. Scotty, emphatic dunk. And the foul. Scotty Pippen with the head fake and then drew the foul. It's, it's on Malone. And we're down to five seconds in the quarter. Isley for Malone. One and six ten seconds remaining in the quarter. Michael Jordan is back putting the move on Chris Mars. So Jordan has six points. Three of six from the field. John Stockton is back, as is Jeff Hornacek. Malone up front with Foster and Mars. The basket will count. And the foul. Antoine Carr putting the spin on the corner. Well, a fair of soup. <laughs> Pretty pass to set it up for Carr. Jordan has had to carry so much of the load as Hornacek back to back horrible turnovers for Utah. And Jordan puts moves on Hornacek. So the Jazz now leading 36 24. Chicago. Nice big. And Hornacek puts it away. That's his first field goal. Two coach for three. 
just the best spurt of the night by the Bulls. What a sack. Off the fake. And Pippen able to glide in for the rebound. Looking to get a foul call. Co coach. Jordan shoveled to Hopper over to Pippen. And Scotty Pippen won glass. The 16 point lead has been cut to seven. Jordan to the crossover. Yes. Not bad for a guy playing with the <laughs> flu symptoms. Foul on Longley. Substitution. Tony Co coach sitting down. Dennis Rodman hearing it. But the crowds he checks back in. Here's Stockton. Stockton has hit three of four. He has seven. It's Utah by seven. We're halfway through the second quarter. That's Rodman a little bit more reluctant about taking those outside shots. Pippen able to go glass. Phil Jackson has been upset about the shot selection among other activities of Dennis Rodman. And why not? Dennis, not a good offensive player by choice. Carl Malone trying to deliver and does. get the call the Jazz 42 and the Bulls 35 here's a mismatch what a second help tip it off the fake dumped it over Longley yes and it counts Oh, nice basketball by Luke Longley. First of all, when it went into Pippen originally, there went Greg Ostertag for the double team. Longley did the right thing, just following in his heel. What a follow. Hopper thought he was fouled. What once was a 16-point lead is down to three. Ostertag. Ostertag using the ball off the mismatch. And the steal by Jordan. Putting behind the back on Russell. He turned it around and fed it to Pippen. Jordan. Well, Chicago is in that mode now. Any mistake made by Utah, long rebound, steal, they are getting out and flying. Stockton's got to take over here. Without Antoine Carr, without Carl Malone, he's got to be the offense. Sets it up for Morris for three. Chris Morris off the bench for eight. The Dallas 47. The Bulls 45. Stockton running the floor. Nowhere to go. Able to dish it to Russell. Pippen with the rebound. One minute to go in the first half. Kukoc for three. Yes. Tony Kukoc. And the Chicago Bulls lead by one. Foster. And a tip by Ostertag. A, a very ill-advised shot by Greg Foster. Bailed out by the terrific play of Ostertag. Here's Jordan putting the move on. Thanks a lot. Well, I'm told by the Jazz players that Jerry Sloan really threw a tirade at halftime, screaming at them, unhappy that they were up 16 and then lost the lead. Said we need more defense, transition, keep them off the boards. Shot clock at five. Oh! Russell lost it. And Jordan with Pip of the trail. Poster tag on the box out with rebound number nine. Shaky fast break by Michael. The Bulls there actually rearranged his shot while in the air. It was the fast break of Chicago with the third quarter in the second quarter. And Brian Russell able to knock down a three. That very effective from the perimeter. Five points for Russell. The Jazz 56 and the Bulls 51. We're just underway in the third quarter. Longley got the stat. Strong move by Luke Longley. Russell, poster tag up front. Here's Malone getting inside. Carl Malone with 15. Shot clock, out of five. Pippen, played by Hornacek. Yes. Uh -huh. Scotty Pippen has 12. The Jazz up by three. Hornacek. Yes. Well, Dennis Rodman needed help with Malone. Jordan sensed it and gambled, leaving alone and the gamble did not pay off oh the tip by Longley and Luke Longley is four of four from the field and Pippen goes all the way rebounded by Malone and hands 
right to Stockton. Poster tag, so huge defensively, forcing misses. Stockton back door. Oh, and Stockton combined. The pass up by six, and Phil Jackson calls the time. When you look at the plus minus for Carl Malone, and he's in the game, the Utah Jazz have been unbeatable. Oh, there's Dennis Rodman with his first field goal in three games. Nice pass. Jordan to the cutting longly, and the Utah lead is down to two. Chicago down by two. Jordan got the step. Jordan has tied the game at 63. Yes, it has come down to a best of three series. The Bulls do have, still do have the home court advantage. Oh. Plus two. And Chicago hosts the tag with 11 points and words between Carl Malone and Brian Williams at the aftermath to the basket by Ostertag. And double technical fouls being handed out by Bill Oaks. Shot clock by Brian Williams. Oh, he enjoyed that one. A little stare from Brian Williams. Well, Brian's fired up after that technical foul. An excellent defensive play to knock one away from Malone, and he wanted that one inside. Russell from Brooklyn. Yes. Two two right now in this game number five as Michael Jordan cuts it to a five point Jazz lead. Antoine Carr and here is Chris Carr's <laughs> and, and that'll buy Carl Malone another thirty seconds or another minute of rest. Jordan, yes, the Jazz seventy seven and the Bulls seventy one with two minutes gone by in the fourth quarter. Jordan with the rebound. Jordan pops it down to Kuko. Kuko for three. Yes. Well, of course, this is not as much fun as baseball. No way. <laughs> the Jazz leading by three. Oh. Pass broken up. And Pippen able to come up with it on the deflection. Jordan fires for three. Yes. And he's tied the game at 77. And he did it in casual form. And you can see how exhausted Michael Jordan is. No reaction after the shot. Just happy to go to the bench as timeout is called. Utah has led by as many as 16. The Bulls at one point led by one. Russell on Jordan. Anderson cheating over. Shot clock at seven. Jordan shooting. Yes. Chicago 79 and Utah 77. Russell for three. Yes! Brian Russell with his third three-pointer and Curran Stockton became entangled. Malone played by Rodman and double team. Pickett off to the side. Pickett recovered though. Stockton for three. And 40 seconds to go. Chicago trailing by one. Just under two minutes. Many of the four. Out of 50 seconds. Here's Longley with the pick. There's Jordan. Foul. Hit on a reach in. And you can just look at the body language on, on Michael Jordan. You get the idea he's having difficulty just standing up. And the game is tied at 85. Jordan able to scoop up the loose ball for the possession with 40 seconds remaining. The game tied at 85. Ten on the shot clock. Pippen backing on a set. Here's Jordan. Yes. Michael Jordan from straight away. It's like he's a, a, a boxer just hanging on along the ropes, but able to hit for a three-point Chicago lead. Beautiful feed. Oster tag cuts it to one. You got a foul right now. You got a foul. Carl Malone, what are you doing? We're down to 10 seconds. You got a foul. As they open the floor, Luke able to put it home for Curry Kukoc. Three-point Chicago lead with six 
and two tenths seconds to go in the fourth quarter. That's hard to believe that you can lose track of time and score as Carl Malone did there right next to Pippen. Michael Jordan playing on heart and spirit. The missed free throw here. Everybody's standing there. And then the furthest guy from the ball, Michael Jordan, comes up with it. And then he backs it out. They post up Scotty. And then for no reason, they double team Scotty down low and leaving Michael Jordan. He knocks down this three, gives him the huge lead. And then the total exhaustion on the bench. Michael Jordan sucking air, got the back massage from Scottie Pippen. I think Chicago just fouls right here, makes it a free throw game the rest of the way. Down to six and two ten seconds remaining. And it's fourth quarter. Here's the three point attempt. Right now, now Scott can try to back it up. And we get a whistle of two tenths of a second remaining. John Stockton not able to hit, and that will do it because they're three points down. And now he hits the second, two tenths of a second remaining. The inbounds and the Chicago Bulls have defeated the Utah Jazz to take a three games to two lead. They win it 90 to 88. A courageous, classic performance by the flu ridden. Michael Jordan. Well, the Chicago Bulls making their way out of the court, seeking to close out what would be a fifth NBA championship in the past seven years. The Utah Jazz with other thoughts on that matter. They would like to extend to a seventh and final game of this series. Shot clock is down to four. Harper able to split his way through. Well, Brad Harper started out the game with what I thought was a bad perimeter shot. Made up for it there. Shot clock winding down, challenging the rim. And Jordan lost it. And both clubs off to the uh, shaky start. Stockton able to go the length of the floor. And he's tied the game at two. Longley was shot well throughout the series. Rejected by Ostertag. Stockton with the beautiful move to beat Harper off the dribble. And Hopper looking around, saying, where is the help? Utah Jazz looking to tie the series, which would set up a seventh and final game here at the United Center on Sunday night. Pippen, yes. And the game is tied at four. Malone with the outside shot, which has not been flicking. It was that little double clutch, the hitch on the way up that took it out of his rhythm. Nobody can block that shot. Just go ahead and shoot it. And here's Pippen again. This time, Scotty Pippen going glass. So the Bulls lead by two. Longley spinning his way and rebounded by Russell. Marvin Jordan has the kind of game that he did in game five. Anybody else's numbers are going to seem irrelevant. Well, Pippen, the basket counts and the foul. So Carl Malone will go to the line, fouled by Luke Longley. Now Jordan trying to go to work on Russell, and he does. Still pretty good defense by Brian Russell, thinking that Michael Jordan wants to penetrate, go to the basket. Backed off a little bit, going to see if he can make some perimeter shots. Pippen had it knocked away by Malone. Carl Malone, first team All NBA defense, as well as the MVP, his best play of the day. Portisek with the open shot. That's his first field goal. The Jazz 10 and the Bulls 8. And here's Jordan. Yes. And you can see. Michael Jordan looking sharp here in the early goal. Nicely with a nice move and then pops it back out. Here's Russell for three. Yes. Ryan Russell has hurt the Bulls from the perimeter. He's uh, been hurting it with the shot from downtown. The Jazz up now by four. He'll get a lot of those shots, Mark. He cannot ever hesitate. As a left-hander, but he has developed a good move going to his right and has had a number of them in this series. A three for Hornacek. And the Jazz up by the score of 18-12. A lot of dribbling. Isley, though, able to penetrate off the dribble. And it's a six-point Jazz lead. Carr. Oh, Antoine Carr with a nice... Turnaround move down to eight seconds in the quarter. Fusion on the state of the Jazz. Stockton settles him down, calls for his pick. Finds the open. Foster. Oh, way off. 
Watch your face. And Scotty Pippen. Oh, oh, terrific job by Brian Williams, who fumbled that rebound, but out of the corner of his eye, knew that Scotty Pippen released on the play, able to recover, and threw the ideal pass. Kukos went for the steal. He gambled, but uh, did not come up with it. And Shandon Anderson has been a presence off the bench. He now has five points. The Jazz are up by eight. Open opportunity for Anderson. And back comes Jordan. There's Michael Jordan. So the Bulls are within four. And the Jazz want to talk it over. The Jazz only two. On their last 12, this after a seven-minute drought that the Bulls went through, not able to uh, hit a field goal for nearly seven. Four second buzzer went right off. Phil Jackson of the Bulls claim that shot should not have counted, but it does. Brian Russell with a three. Stockton setting it up on Kerr. Trying to use the screen. Russell for three. Yes. Beautiful setup. Malone came over to set that wide pick up high, and it freed up Brian Russell. Chicago actually in the midst of a 5 0 run cut into a 10 point deficit, but John Stockton able to put an end to that run. How about Chicago with 29 points and just under three minutes remaining in the first half? Jordan for three. Yes. Still tough to get a feel on the physical condition of. Michael Jordan is coming off the flu very queasy the other day. Four of ten from the field, five of six from the line. He has 14 points. And the funnel by Malone. So Carl Malone with only his second field goal. And it's the Jazz by six. Jordan trying to put moves on Anderson. And then met by Hornacek providing help. Kukos for three. Tony Kukos. Hitting from downtown, from deep in the corner. 42-35 the score. Malone from Stockton. John Stockton with the one-hop setup. Out of three. Here's Jordan getting the step. And hitting. Six-tenths of a second remaining. Oh, Malone and Rodman bumping each other. Joe Crawford on the scene immediately, indicating at least one technical, and then checking it over. Let's see. Well, it's a double technical on Malone. And Rodman. No one has ever done it winning game six and seven on the road. Several teams have won game seven uh, on the road. But the Chicago Bulls are hoping to wrap it up here tonight. And Michael Jordan cuts it to a five point Utah lead. And back comes Stockton. Met by Hopper. Malone from Stockton. Carl Malone with 12 points. The Jazz leading. 46 to 39. It's a Chicago team that went 39 and 2 here at home during the regular season. That's the best mark in the league. It counts in the foul. Scotty Pippen. Now Jordan posting up and finishes with the fadeaway. So Michael Jordan has 20 and he's picked it up from the second quarter on. It is a five point. Utah lead. Oh, great defense, Scotty Pippen, and here comes Jordan. Jordan putting moves on Stockton. Jordan putting moves on Hornacek. Going the distance. The Utah lead is down to three. Beautiful backdoor feed. Malone finding Stockton. It's like automatic. Once a game, they, they get that little give and go cut for John Stockton. You can back it. Rodman. Terrible shot. Jordan wide open. He's hot. You're going to go away from him. Why? Hornacek. Yes. Jeff Hornacek at the foot on the line. It's a two pointer. The Jazz up by seven. Stockton. Nicely done. Off the fake. John Stockton. He has 10 points. The Bulls have missed their last five shots. And some sloppy pass work. Jordan. Yes. He thought he was fouled. Six point Utah lead. Jordan shaking off Russell, going to the reverse. Rebounded by Williams. The Jazz 58 and the Bulls 54. Shot clock at seven. Jordan fires. Rebound Williams. Brian Williams rejected by Brett Hilsketown. Rebound Rodman and a foul against Utah. They double up on Isley. Hostetown, nice pass. Carl Malone 
inside from Greg Ostertag, and the Jazz have a seven-point advantage. Oh, Jordan scooped it up on the steal. And the Bulls are hoping it gets the crowd going. The crowd has been quiet. They have not had much to cheer about. One of the first illegal defense that was called. It counts in the foul. Jordan with the step. And Morris on the rebound. Eisler. And set up. Here's Russell for three. So, Brian Russell with 14 points. That's his fourth from downtown. And a big bounce back performance by the Jazz. After the Russell. Oh, what a shot by Eisler. Utah by nine. As far as got a piece of it. Jordan. Way off after the fake. Bushler has to fire it. And it hits. That could be a huge shot. Here's Kerr on a quick release. Steve Kerr with a two-pointer. It's down to five. Anderson way off after the setup by Stockton. Pippen. Yes. Utah needs a timeout. The Bulls are within two. Curves to three. Yes. The Chicago Bulls have taken the lead for the first time since the opening minute when they led 2 nothing. Malone. Yes. Carl Malone got the roll. Jordan. Yes. Time again at 76, 31 points for Michael Jordan. Jordan on the pull-up and rebounded by Russell. Well, they had a change on that foul. It's Hornacek, not Stockton. Here's Hornacek firing. Yes, a three out for Jeff Hornacek. Jordan. You can't just open up the floodgates. Well, there's no shot blocker in there. The whole weak side defense had their back turned. As Michael has been thinking, take the ball to basket. You better have some help in there. It is a one-point Utah lead. 33 for Jordan. Anderson got the step. And uh, Pippen had a kind of pullback. Did not want to pick up number five. Two goats. Played by Morris. Second is five fouls. Good job, goes Oh, that's what Tony Kukoc could do. Have not seen it at all in the series till that point. Yeah, Bernie Scotty Pippen and Shannon Anderson cannot convert the layup. That's the second time he won the layup, and this time Jordan comes right back. Anderson thought he was fouled. No foul called. The Bulls hoping to wrap the series in this game number six. The Jazz looking to extend to a seventh game. Jordan with the spin. Yes! And the Bulls lead by three. 84-81. Malone over Rodman. Yes! So, Carl Malone with a big bucket as we come up on three minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. The Bulls lead by one. Jordan saw the opening and then gave it up to Kerr. Jordan. Yes! The Bulls, 86, and the Jazz, 83. How you respond to pressure, that's going to determine this game. It's been Jordan Hughes so far. Now it's Carl Malone's time to battle the MVP. Well, what a sec, got to save that pass. For the left. It's Russell for three. An enormous shot by Brian Russell. He's five of eight from downtown. He's tied the game at 86. All right, Jim, 25 seconds. In regulation, game tied at 86. Four-second differential between the 24-second clock and the game clock. It is Michael Jordan time. Scotty Pippen looking, looking for Michael Jordan. Checks the clock, five on the 24. Here's Jordan. Did not have the shot. Kerr does. It hits. Five seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. The Jazz take a timeout. Remember the statement from Charles Barkley about a month ago? If he had a game on the line, one shot to take, the man to take it, according to Barkley, would be Steve Kerr. Well, he wanted it, and he told Michael Jordan in that huddle, 
as the bottom shot told us, if you let my man leaves to double stop him, I am stepping right into that shot, and Steve let it go with confidence. Five seconds remaining in regulation. The inbound. Michael, you're named MVP, but as you accepted the trophy, you said to Scotty that he was your MVP. Scotty Pippen, is a, we're a tandem. It's hard to split us up. He means a lot to me when I go out and play on the basketball court. He relieves a lot of the pressure that I have to deal with. I try to do the same for him. It's hard to take this MVP by myself. He's got to take half of it. I take the trophy, he may get the call. <laughs> Scotty, the first one had to be real sweet. What about the fifth one? This one is great. It was a lot tougher for us, a very difficult task to beat the Utah Jazz. We take our hats off to them. They gave us a hell of a series. But we stepped up as champions should do, and we brought it back home for number five. Yes, sir! The Delta Center in Salt Lake City, one of the loudest buildings in all of sports, a place where the Jazz enjoy a distinct home court advantage, and where a sellout crowd is ready to rock the Raptors for game one of this rematch in the NBA Finals. Good news for Jazz fans. In the past quarter century, prior to this one, there have been five rematches in the NBA Finals. In every instance, the team that lost the first time came back to win the second. Malone's first shot. Doesn't get the roll. Foster trying to follow. Knocked away cleanly. Out of bounds to Utah. Five on the shot clock. Kukoc. Out of the corner, it's Harper. Somebody's got to shoot it. Harper will, and it's 2-1 Chicago. We know that's the guy that's going to have to make jump shots. Stockton, the NBA's all-time leader in assists and steals. Bounces to Malone, guarded by Longley. He's 0 for 2. Kukoc has it. Bulls looking to run. Harper, the trailer, tries another one. Same result. Harper's two jumpers. Put Jerry Sloan's team behind 4-1. to one. And we've played a bit less than two minutes. Utah has missed its first four field goal attempts. That's the end of that string as Stockton waltzes in off the left side of the lane. Pippen, his first shot. Rolls around and doesn't drop. Hermesek has it. Ahead to Malone, to the hoop. And Utah claims the lead. For a man so big and strong, Malone runs the floor so well, even as he approaches age 35. Jordan hands the turnaround over Hornacek. Now that time they didn't come double-team Jordan in the low post. He took his time and was able to elevate over Hornacek. Pippen got in the passing lane, cuts in front of Hornacek. Now it's one on two, but Scotty takes it to the hole himself for the emphatic slam. Stockton's jumper. Got it. There's that screen roll we talked about. They forced it baseline, and Malone stepped up and screened baseline. No one stepped out, and Stockton can make that shot. He's a 50% shooter. Malone, underneath Foster. Contact, but they let it go. No foul. Back comes Chicago. Malone with a great pass to a cutting Russell. Good look. And the Jazz in front again, 9-8. Hornacek looked for Malone, threw it over his head, and Longley takes it. Pippen, stutter step, into the lane, lays it up and in. A year ago in the finals, Michael averaged more than 30. Pippen, 20 against the Jazz. No other bull averaged more than eight. Michael, turn around, sandwiched by two defenders, count the basket, plus the foul. Isley takes it into the lane, throws it up with the right hand, and hits the floater. Meanwhile, Ahmad Rashad tells us that Phil Jackson wanted to put Rodman in, and Dennis hadn't made it back from the locker room to the bench. That's why Simpkins is in. It's one thing to be idiosyncratic. It's another thing to be idiotic. Kukoc, got it. Isley. Inside Morris for the reverse. Isley penetrated as he blew past Harper. He's lightning quick. Malone from Isley to the basket. And with pure strength, although he took a hit, he maintains control and lays it in. Here's Randy Brown. 
The matchups in this series may allow Brown to play more minutes than he did against Indiana, but not if he does that. He threw it away. Isley, pull up, open. Utah has the lead. Out to Pippen. In the lane for Simpkins, knocked away and stolen. It's a four-on-one break. Isley to Anderson. Rodman's pass to a cutting Bushler was a good feed, but they couldn't finish it. Russell on the run. And suddenly it's a wide open game with the Jazz up by half a dozen. Kukoc hits the hook. At the other end, it's Morris. Bumps off a defender and lays it in. Isaiah, can't you feel how Utah is trying to run? They're trying to run the Bulls. They're saying they have played a lot of basketball games, an emotional seven-game series. They're really trying to push this tempo at home. Anderson around Bushler. Little up and under move. And the Jazz in front by eight. Listen to this crowd at the Delta Center. Jordan quiets it just a bit. Stockton into the lane on Kerr. Off balance and got it. The chant is beat the Bulls, beat the Bulls. But first, you have to stop Michael Jordan. Nine points now for Jordan, who's guarding Isley. Isley spins around him and cans the jumper. Hard to believe this kid was caught once by Utah and also by Minnesota and San Antonio. Dennis, fans taunting him. Kerr pops a baseline jumper and hits it. Quick release before Stockton could get there. Pippen with Jordan on his left. His pass knocked away by Stockton, who flips it to Russell, who pushes it up the floor. And it's finished by Shandon Anderson, who coached to Kerr. Head fake, jumper, missed it off the glass. Pippen has the follow. Anderson on Jordan. Hornacek trying to guard Pippen. Coming over to help us Malone to swat it away. Bob, I've never seen Chicago miss so many wide open and easy layups. But how about that one? As Jordan whirls through the defense, seems like almost every member of the Jazz had a look at him before he laid it in. Jordan, quick catch and shoot. 15 for Michael. But the Jazz will live with that because he's not getting to the free throw line. They're going to hope that maybe if he shoots under 50%, they'll limit the offensive rebounds with no double team. And the end result will be a good one for the Jazz. Good pass inside from Hornacek to Malone. Great high-low action there, and Rodman was just completely sealed behind Malone. Yeah, Malone is too big for Rodman. He caught him that time on his back, but Chicago will keep going inside with their big guards. Kerr from Scotty. When he gets a look like that, he won't often miss. Michael, single coverage. And that's what happens. Same spot, same dance, same music. Stockton. Has a good look and puts the jumper down. See, they come out of that timeout, they run screen roll. They know that Rodman is not going to help off of Malone. So he set that sideline screen once again, and Stockton is an excellent shooter. Kerr to Michael as they go to the man with the hot hand. Again, single coverage by Anderson. Hornacek comes over. Michael with the up and under. Count it, and he'll come to the line with a chance to reach 20 points in the first half. Stockton on the move. And banks it home. What a tough shot by Stockton. They tried to run the same play. This time, Kerr forced him back into the middle. So they'll hold it for the last one. Stockton fires. And hits again. Big first half. Just a step inside the line. Malone over Rodman. In and out. And Harper takes it. Pippen to the hole. Or hole. That's a combination of hoop and hole to the hole. Don't use that, Zeke. Hornacek has it. It'll be Stockton who has 15. What a great pass, Isaiah, on that give and go to the top. You fall asleep a little bit, and Hornacek finally gets off here with a layup. 0 for 4 in the first half. Harper into the lane. Tried to find Rodman, poked away to Pippen, and his three is no good. Rodman with board position. Michael hits the open three and matches the number on his uniform with 23 points. Two coach looking for help. Five on the 24. Dribbles it off his foot. And Russell, battling for the loose ball, comes up with it. Pull up jumper. Utah by six. Timeout Chicago. Here's Foster. Deals to Russell. Drives on Pippen. And hits a tough hoop. Russell's got game. He'll take it to the basket. He'll shoot the three on you. He's a good defender. Longly inside off a nice feed. Jordan, turn around on Hornacek. 
Rebound Longley, and there's the follow. Stockton to Foster, who hits the jumper. Longley drops it off for the driving Pippen, who had to change the shot, but was good enough to do it. It's Malone over Longley, little bump. Doesn't get the wall on the shot, but it's tipped in by Ostertag, who takes about three seconds to make his presence felt. Bulls inbound, and it's Michael. Off the dribble, against Hornacek. Misses over. Rodman gets it to Longley, and Longley with his third basket in a short stretch here in the third quarter. Isley drives by Harper, shoots on the run, and banks it in. Russell to Malone. He takes it to the basket and scores around Longley. Trying to get himself on track offensively here. That was great ball movement, and Carl Malone did the right thing. Drive it to the front of the rim and score. Jordan. On the sec up on him. With the left hand, he leans into the lane and tosses it home. Well, Bill Walton said earlier, part of the reason why Utah lost the final a year ago was that Malone became a jump shooter too often. Set play out of a timeout, realizing Michael Jordan overplays. Pressure release, good backdoor pass to Jeff Hornacek, who makes a tough shot. Longley. Ostertag collects the carom. Rodman all over him, but he gets it out to Isley. Bounces to Hornacek. Two in a row for Jeff. Utah by eight, matching their biggest lead. Pippen hits a two-point bucket, just a step inside the line to cut it to six. Isley in the lane to Malone. Blocked by Longley. And out of bounds to Utah. But Doug, I get the feeling that Chicago is just trying to hang around, hang around until the last five minutes of the game, and hopefully Michael Jordan can take them home. Well, they trail by eight. That's Russell a, connects. Bob set play to get a two for one possession. Got three second differential on the clock. Through three quarters, both Pippen and Jordan had played 33 of 36 minutes. So they need a breather, and Kukoc gives them the offense that had been missing from him through most of the game. Russell, behind the screen from Carr, takes a leaner, and the bank is open for him. That's one of those, that's one of those when you're playing against him, you make him call that one. Carr, Rodman picks him up on a switch. His pass outside, picked off by Burrell, who's all alone. The steal and the hoop as he cut in front of Russell. And Utah wants a timeout. Here's Burrell on the run, and he banks it in. Outside Kerr, splits the defense, but trying to get rid of it, the Kukoc has it picked off by Russell. Ahead to Stockton, now Malone! Carl Malone, an MVP candidate this year, and last year the MVP will eventually make those shots. Eventually they will go down for you. You just have to have enough nerve and enough heart to keep shooting the basketball. He'll take it to the basket and slam it. Utah by seven. See Scotty Pippen trying to chase him out of the double team by running at the ball. Chris Morris off the glass and good. We move inside four minutes. Michael, good look, and he puts it down. Jordan from 20, good again. Now when Jordan shot that shot, he turned around and made a little sound and just said, woo. Jordan just screamed at Pippen, he wants the basketball. Scotty to tie, brand new game. Malone screening out high. Stockton returns it to him. Malone drives, lays it up, blocked by Rodman. Great play by Rodman at a crucial moment. Stockton trying to get it to Malone in the post. He fires again and finally hits one. And John Stockton looked at him and said, look, you're our guy, take us home. They come to their feet. Every last soul at the Delta Center. Stockton, shot clock winding down. Malone has to. Two in a row, and what a time to come alive. It's Scotty back to Michael. Russell's on him, around the Longley screen. Michael dishes to Longley. Up with the shot to tie the game. Timeout Utah with 14.3 seconds, even at 79. Russell into Hornacek. Now it's Stockton, out of the corner for the win. Bounces off, no good. And it's overtime in game one. Malone from Stockton all the way to the basket. 
21 for Malone, hooked away by Hornacek, taken by Stockton, who's chased by Jordan, but lays it in anyway, and he was fouled by Kerr! And Stockton looking around with the great finish and a chance to put his team up by five. Which he does. And Michael wants that basketball back again. Pippen flips it to him. Turn around, fade away. Got it. At 33. That's amazing. What this man can do under pressure. Chicago doesn't have to foul because of the overlap. It's Stockton on the run. And it's Utah by four. Chicago uses its last time out with 9.3 seconds remaining in overtime. Kukoc looking to get it in. Jordan back to Kukoc. They need a three. And Kukoc delivers it with 5.4 seconds, bringing them to within one. 4.8. Malone into Stockton. And he dribbles a bit of time off the clock before they can catch him and foul him with three seconds left. And not the guy that you want to send to the line if you're Chicago. Three-point lead. Kukoc, down to Michael with Russell on him. He tips it to Pippen. Can he beat the horn? He can, but he misses it. And game one goes to Utah in overtime. Major decibel levels being reached at the Delta Center even before tip-off. And with the Jazz up 1-0 in the series, the trends point their way. They have now won seven consecutive playoff games dating back to the San Antonio series, while the Bulls have lost four of their last six playoff encounters, including the last four games on the road. Pippen had it poked away by Russell, regains it, but eventually loses it to Hornacek. Stopped it. On the move. Got it! Hornacek on Michael. Fade away. Ties it at two. Stopped into Hornacek, left hand, no. Pippen accelerating. Double pumps and banks it home. Hornacek to Malone. That's the play they worked on in practice. They were not patient and made the, top, the pass to the top in game one. They made the extra pass, high-low. Malone had him sealed right underneath the basket. Pippen into the lane. Lost control of it. Back tap to Michael. His floater. Gives Chicago a 6-4 lead. Malone against Longley. Stockton for three. John Stockton at age 36. Coming up big in the NBA Finals. Kukoc hits off the baseline. You can see early the Bulls are going into the post and the double team Flashing to the open area. Here's Hornacek. Out to Russell. He'll fire a three. Utah did not hit a single three-pointer in game one. And they've got two of them tonight already. Jordan's miss is tipped to Pippen. And it could be a three-point play as he banks it home and will come to the line. Hornacek. Jordan got a piece of it. Hornacek recovers. Muscles it up and in, and this could be a three-point play as Utah has taken the lead, 12-11. Jordan, his third field goal, and the Bulls are back to within one at 14-13. Malone helping on a double team with Jordan. Pippen slices through the defense and slams it. See, when you come with size, Malone came to double team with size. Forced the long J over in the corner, and then Pippen penetrated the lane for the easy dunk. Russell pulls up and hits off the glass. I see Tony Kukoc was back yelling at the referee, and nobody got back defensively to Brian Russell. You cannot be concerned that you didn't get the call. You must get back. And Jordan just told Kukoc, don't argue with the officials. Do that instead. Score and give us the lead again. Rodman to Pippen. Outside to Harper. Now Michael baseline. And he starts the same way he began game one, on fire. Malone with the slam. His jumper is still missing in action. But with his strength, if you can get him inside, it's over. Kukoc, quick first step, and finishes it with the layup. Malone tries another jumper, and this one is there. That's the same shot he got in game one, and he's got to make that shot. That's within their offense. He made it all season long. Kukoc. 
spins on Russell and hits the little left-hand hook. See, Russell has just given up too much size to Kukoc on the low post. Shandon Anderson's first shot, the up and under works. It's exactly what they did in game one. The moment Shandon Anderson came in the game, they went into the post. He got two quick fouls the other night against Bushler. This time he gets the score. Rodman screening for Kerr. Pippen in the lane with the hook. Scotty Pippen now has nine, pulls by one. Kukoc makes it three as he continues his outstanding play. He has ten. Malone to the bench, replaced by Carr. And there's Shandon Anderson. Well, they tried to change the matchup. First, Farrell fouled him. Then they went right back to him, and he scores once more. Carr sets the screen, then gets it back. Takes it to the hole, and hits with the left hand. Luke Longley to Pippen. Great feed. That was a great feed and a nice cut. Jordan gave Pippen a little brush screen, and Pippen cut really hard, and Longley hit him with the pass. Pippen draws two defenders. He finds Longley. Knowing Jerry Sloan the way I do, the thing he's going to be upset right now is Chicago's in a great flow offensively. And Utah's got to be really careful right here because Chicago has the two best players in Jordan and Pippen on the floor. Isley drove around two defenders to lay it in. Last foul on Chris Morris, his second. Morrell, a three, got it. Antoine Carr returns the pass to Morris and a great look, but Chris couldn't finish it. See, those are momentum breakers right now. If Chicago comes down and scores, it's a six-point game. And they do come down and score on Michael's great assist to Longley. Here is Malone after the timeout, right to the hoop on Longley. Now you see Malone taking it, go aggressive right there, and Tim Gray just told us that Jerry Sloan really got on his team in the huddle and wanted them to compete harder. Stockton snap pass to Isley, gives it up to Ostertag, and Utah moves to within one. Stockton on curl. Kukoc open, passes up the three to find Jordan beneath the hoop. See, Jordan caught Stockton on the screen and made him switch and went right to the rim, and Kukoc found him for the easy layup. Malone over Longley, short, got his own, lays it in. It looks like Carl Malone is trying to shoot that jumper a little quick. Kukoc lets it go and cans the three. There's a fan that hollered behind us, shoot it, Tony, and he lined up the three and knocked it down. Anderson gets inside Jordan and finishes it. How about the respect for Shannon Anderson? Michael Jordan on him in the post. They still go to him. Long lead to the cutting Jordan. And Michael has a dozen. Looking for Michael, guarded this time by Stockton. Ostertag is there with help. They swing it around, and Kukoc is open again. This time he misses the three. However, Longley pokes it back to him. Kerr for three. And Jerry Sloan has to be gritting his teeth over on the Utah bench as Chicago continues to dominate on the offensive glass. Well, Malone started running out instead of getting the rebound. Nobody there to guard Kukoc, and he gets the second shot. Jordan swats it away from Anderson and out of bounds. The Utah fans contend that Anderson was fouled, but the officials say Michael got it cleanly. Here's Ostertag. One out of one on that one. Hornacek lets it go. Kukoc got there late. And Hornacek connects. Stopped it. Out to Malone, driving on Pippen, gets his own rebound, goes to the floor, no call, gets it off to Russell, now stopped it. But Jerry Sloan is livid, he feels like it. Michael Jordan is getting his call, why isn't Carl Malone? Stopped into Ostertag, and Longley fouled him, and the shot fell anyway. Who coach, off the dribble, finds Harper in the corner. Now it's Michael, double pumps and connects. 16 for him. That was an unbelievable shot. The ball was knocked away from him. Hornacek came from behind. He had to pull it down and shot a trolley wire jumper. I don't know if the thing went into the basket. Hornacek with room and with two. First two plays of the game, Utah run right at Michael Jordan. They said, we've got to make him use some energy. Hornacek hits the open jumper. Dennis is on Malone. Stockton fires a jumper, and it's there for him. See, when the ball goes into the post, the guards split on the outside so you can't double team. And Stockton is shooting the ball very well. Foster's back in. Here he is guarding Kukoc. Ostertag has gone out. Kukoc on the run. Air ball. Jordan there to clean up the mess. 
For the 31st time now in 31 NBA Finals games in six different series, counting this one, Michael Jordan has scored at least 20 points in every game. Hornacek, spinning move. Harper bumps into Stockton, no foul, and the hoop. Once again, Harper in the post against Stockton. They're going to try to punish him down there, make him play some post defense so he can't roam. Pippen looking for Michael, trying to post up on Hornacek. Spins around him. Two Jazz defenders surrounded him, and they take the ball away. Hornacek throws it right to Rodman, and Jordan is all alone, and he saunters in. How about Dennis Rodman? Before he even touched the basketball, he knew Jordan was down court. And he just touched it real quick and flipped it back. Russell on Pippen. Michael inside. Missed it. Rebound Malone. Stockton bumps off Pippen. Finds Russell for three. And Kerr is stripped by Stockton. Here's Keith ahead of the field. Blew the layup. Malone is there. Hornacek for three. It works out better for Utah. The game is tied. Harper's open. Stockton takes it. Pushing it up the floor. All the way to the hoop. Utah has the lead. Hornacek will bring it back. Now takes a little lunge and somehow hits it. Man, he's got a wide array of shots and seems to be able to change it in midair if the defense makes it. Nicely around Kerr. Pull up floater. Good! Pippen finds Burrell all alone. Behind the Rodman screen, he overshoots a three, but Jordan grabs it and slams it. Just the power of Michael Jordan. Hornacek was trying so hard to block him off the glass, Isaiah, and he just sort of pushed him to the side for the second shot. 24 for MJ. Game tied at 68. Isley, another pull-up, another basket. See, that's Isley's shot, that little floater, that little mid-range game. Isley to Carr. Head fake on Wennington, then the pass inside for Keith, who bats it to Isley for a three. Rodman shoots from the head of the key and connects. Even he has to say, hey, go figure. Here's Steve Kerr, an open three. It rattles in and out. Pippen clears the offensive glass. Kukoc is open, but gives it back to Scotty for the turnaround, and he gets the roll. Utah has got to rebound. Hornacek is on Jordan. Michael, double pumps, and hits off the glass. Jordan with 26. Pippen to Michael with the shot clock winding down against Hornacek. Michael's going to do it. Two defenders, a whistle, count the basket, plus the foul as Jerry Sloan contends from the bench that Michael traveled. It's the fourth foul on Hornacek. Now, how can you guard a guy any tighter than this? You got two defenders over there. You make him take the shot you really want him to take, and he just hits it. See, Bob, Michael Jordan understands right now that it's time. It's time to put on the push right now, and he's going after it right now. And can Utah stop the adrenaline and the push that Jordan is getting ready to exert in this game? Malone, Russell, wide open, hits the three. What a big shot by Brian Russell. Malone now is on Jordan. They better help him. He's got five fouls. Russell comes over. Michael into the lane, left hand, got it! Taking this game over now. Jordan on the run, dishes out to Pippen. Scotty baseline, Chicago by six. Stockton to Russell. Russell on the move, nice feed to Shannon Anderson, and this could be a three-point play. Michael behind a Rodman screen. Russell fights it off. Jordan forces the shot and misses it. Utah can tie it. It's Stockton. Hornacek for three. Utah has the lead. Kerr has to guard him. Stockton gets by him, but his pass is
is intercepted by Kukoc. Kerr, pull up three. No, got his own rebound. Michael hits it, and Chicago reclaims the lead. There's a foul as well. Michael Jordan has taken 33 shots to score 34 points, but what's important is that his team now leads by a basket. Russell, again the trigger man, having trouble, Malone. Now Russell gets it back, good look at a three, and it rattles in and out. Morris follows with 3.7 seconds, making it a three-point game. Now the Bulls have to get it in, and knowing they have a timeout remaining, Rodman uses it. Harper into Jordan. Russell pushed him. They didn't get the first call. Then Stockton makes contact with 1.7. And they whistle play dead and send Michael to the line. And Sloan is arguing that he was fouled the first time. 37 for Michael. Stockton from half court. Chicago comes into Salt Lake City, weary or not, and gets out with a split. Longley and Ostertag, each at 7-2, jump it up, and Jordan grabs it for Chicago. Malone wastes no time and hits the jump shot. Prior to that, through the first two games, he'd hit three more jumpers than a dead man. Three of 22, but he starts out by connecting on his first one tonight. Hornacek, who scored 20 in game two, hitting seven of 11. Malone, two of two. See, the thing that I like what Carl Malone has done, his first shot came from inside on the post. He was able to get inside, get the easy shot. That gave him confidence, and then he stepped on the perimeter. Malone bumped Jordan, no foul. He back rims the jumper, and here comes Utah. Three on two. Stockton to Malone, threw it behind him. Now John recovers, a rare errant pass from Stockton. Well, Stockton was upset because his big man had a dunk and he would have been three for three. He took away an easy basket. He's three for three anyway as he slices through the defense. Meanwhile, Jordan is 0 for three. Michael with Longley trying to scream for him. Spins around for the sack and hits off the glass. Good pass inside the Longley with the assist to Harper. Just the second field goal in nine attempts in the early going for Chicago. Malone again, squaring up over Longley, four in a row. The rhythm, no. He, he's catching it, Isaiah. He's taking his time. He's not in any hurry. Malone, this time he drives. Same result, though. Whether it's to the hoop or from the perimeter, he's 5 of 5. Ahead to Russell. On the run. Nice move, but it won't fall. Back comes Chicago. Three on two. Jordan against Hornacek. Gives it up to Pippen. And that cuts it to 10-7. And although his team leads by three, Jerry Sloan has to continue to be displeased with Chicago's dominance of the offensive glass. Stockton becomes the first player, other than Malone, to score for Utah. Malone, fade away on Rodman. Six for six. Longley against Ostertag with the hook. Isley with four seconds to shoot. Isley has it blocked by Harper. Who continues his outstanding defensive play. Michael in traffic. Deals to Kukoc and now Longley. The bounce to Kukoc on the return. And he lays it in to tie the game. One of two, but Kukoc is there to turn it into a three-point trip down the floor. Rodman turns. His shot is blocked partially by Malone and taken by Russell. Stockton on Kerr. Around a Rodman screen with the bounce to Pippen. Scotty into the lane. He banks it home. That was a nice hesitation move by Scotty Pippen. He froze the defender, went down the lane, shot the runner off the glass. Here's Scotty. Morris is on him. Into the lane, another runner. He hits it. Plus he's coming to the line. Shandon Anderson against Burrell. And he finally puts an end to a long Utah drought. Burrell gave Chicago 15 decent minutes in game two. This is Anderson inside, and it drops for him. But if Burrell does not hit open jumpers like the one a moment ago, he's not of much use to Phil Jackson. Pippen behind Burrell's screen. And Scotty drills it. He's got eight. Michael got Anderson into the air, but doesn't unleash the shot. Now he will. When you overplay that man in the corner, their pressure release is to cut back door. How often have we seen it in the playoffs? Loose ball battle. Scotty to the floor. Anderson finally comes up with it. Stopped it. Inside to Morris. And the assist for John. 
As you know, the all-time NBA assist leader, Jordan, at the other end, gets the two for Chicago. Chicago trying to add to the game's biggest lead. Jordan can't. Kukoc has the loose ball, and Chicago has a 12-point lead. Stockton on the move, back outside the Malone. Now it's Russell. Just before the shot clock, he hits a two-pointer. His foot was just on the arc. Harper inside, dealing it back outside to Kukoc for three, which hits the front of the rim. Stockton now pegging it ahead to Russell. The trailer is Hornacek, and he's got it. Pippen. Give the assist to Harper. Jordan into the lane. And he gets the roll. He has 14. Stockton to Malone. Carl on the run. A little hook is an air ball. And Jordan protects the rebound. Robin's doing an excellent job on Malone taking away his drive. A great catch by Kukoc. That was more impressive than the basket itself. Kukoc looking for Michael and finding him. Spins on for the sec to the left hand. An absolute beauty. As the shot clock winds down, Stockton trying to find somebody. Hornacek looking to create on his own. Nice move, but he doesn't hit the shot. Harper bumps off Stockton and lays it in. Stockton looking up at the official Bavetta saying, hey, come on. Where's the charge? Well, he was, but in he was inside dotted the dotted area. Chicago by 16. And Hornacek takes two off of it. Now, Kukoc likes to drive left. Rodman gives it right back to him. Three on the shot clock. Fader. That's the way it's going for Chicago. A steal by Burrell. Can't add two, but Harper pumps it away. And finally, mercifully for Utah, the half comes to a close, but wait a minute, Burrell took a tumble. But see, that's a careless play. You throw away the inbounds pass, you get John Stockton a foul. And it's after Kukoc makes the great shot, now they're going to end up the half with two free throws. That's a terrible momentum play for Utah going in at half. Chicago has been stifling with their defense. The Bulls look to take their advantage to 20. Kukoc does just that. Longley fires from 20 and makes it a 22-point Chicago lead. Bulls going for the kill. Longley batted away by Ostertag. No goaltend despite Michael's pleas. Here's Russell. And finally, Utah is in the scorebook almost three minutes into the third quarter. Hornacek, baseline, reverse. Got it. And that was a nice seal by Carl Malone against Luke Longley underneath. Jordan to the hole. Wrapped up by Ostertag, and somehow, some way, he scores. Ostertag doesn't give him a good, hard enough foul. See, you got to grab that right hand. Don't let him get the shot off. Here's a man, 7'2 two and 280, trying to wrap you up, and somehow you have the strength and the body control to get off a reasonable shot. Ostertag. Flat-footed rebound to Luke. Ahead to Pippen. Harper alone. Chicago by 23. This is just target practice right now for the Chicago Bulls. And some of these Jazz players may be gun-shy. Looks like they're bypassing open opportunities. Who coach won't? Isley has it knocked away, but Hornacek is there to pick it up. To Malone, inside, and now he has 20. Russell with the head fake, and the miss. It's batted to Jordan. And Utah just can't cut in to this 20-point deficit. Make it 22 now, Michael the assist, Harper the slam, and Harper could be closing in on a triple-double. Russell blocked by Burrell, into the arms of Harper. No look, flip back to Scott. Chicago advantage as they run a clinic on the Utah Jazz. Jordan takes it upon himself and builds the lead to 26. Rodman gets it from Burrell and can't finish it. Second try, there it is. 
Anderson from Isley hits the three. When you get embarrassed, you don't have to say much. These guys all have great pride. Isley steals it from Rodman. Adam Keith now with the slam. And Chicago have more playmakers that can make plays than Utah does at this point in time. Here's Burrell. He gets the roll. You know, at some point in time, you're going to lose games. You just got to have enough composure, discipline, and concentration to stay true to your character. Pippen, Burrell, how about that? Rodman threw the long touchdown pass. Pippen caught it backpedaling. And Burrell finished it with a nifty left-hand lay-in. Malone and Stockton both on the bench right now with this game out of hand. Morris spinning and hitting off the glass. Chicago by 27. Burrell cutting through and Longley finding him. They're just picking him apart right now. Utah didn't even talk on that interchange. You know, a lot of teams, Zerg, at this point in time in the game, you see players try to do things that they're not capable of doing. Maybe that was one of them. <laughs> he missed it badly, Morris did. Kerr, wide open look at a three, and finally he gets off. Now that was in character. <laughs> Keith sends it back outside to Morris. Rainbow is almost banked in for three. Kerr. Bushler. Kerr for three again. Good again. He had that shot the first time. He said, I got to get my buddy Judd Bushler from Arizona. A shot, he gave it back to him. Got a little piece of tape on the floor. Back-to-back -back threes now for Kerr. And maybe sometimes the less you say, the better, because this team won 62 games. They didn't do that by accident. They have great pride. The crowd erupts, and so does Michael, as Judd Bushler cans a three. It is a virtual certainty that Utah will set a new low for points in a finals game. Bushler bats it to Simpkins. He gets the dunk, and now only Randy Brown and Bill Wennington have to be accounted for. Vaughn again, and he comes up empty once more. Ostertag can't find the handle. Two and a half minutes until this nightmare ends for Utah. Bushler wants another three. He's got it. I don't think Phil Jackson can believe this. I, I looked over, and the, and the look on his face was, I wish we could save some of these. It's not going to be this easy on Wednesday night. Vaughn to the basket, no again. Well, Utah's going to break the record. Dubious as it is, for fewest points, Randy Brown. He gets his bucket, and now it's only Wennington who hasn't scored among all the players in uniform for Chicago. Wennington, the only bull who hasn't scored, so let him do it. Well, the evening is complete. Every I has been dotted, every T has been crossed. Vaughn at the buzzer. A total humiliation for the Utah Jazz. Beaten by 42 and held to the lowest scoring output in the history of the NBA. Steve Javi, Jack Neese, and Hugh Evans are the officials. Utah wins the tip. Harper on Stockton. Inside Malone for an easy two. Well, that was great execution there, Bob. You, the front by Luke Longley. Stockton took his time. Over the top. Easy score. Scotty has it slapped away. Kukoc comes up with it. Five seconds to shoot. And Pippen chases it down. They'll have a third chance. And they'll have the lead on Pippen's three. Jordan from 20 gives it up instead to Harper, gets it back, and lays it in. See, Michael is so good at giving the ball up, and then he doesn't stand. He immediately cuts to the basket, the give and go, the easy basket for Michael Jordan. Hornacek's free and connects on the open J. Malone. He was able to score on Longley in game three. It was Rodman who stopped him. And he hits the hook over Longley here. Malone over Longley. He opens by hitting his first three. A little lay-in, a hook, and a baseline jumper. Jordan. Pump fake, double pump, and a miss. But somehow he comes up with it. Again, they're all over the offensive glass, and Pippen converts his second three. Here's a Utah steal. Well, at that time, Scottie Pippen was laying at the free throw line, and the referee didn't know who he was guarding because the weak side, everybody was jammed up over there. Hornacek missed, but Malone was there with the tip. Jordan oh, ties the game. 
Michael has five and he's hit two of his first six. Pippen and Longley guarding Malone. He finds Hornacek. Baseline drive and a bounce to Foster. They love some offense from him. They don't get it here. Rebound Russell. Malone now comes up with it. There's his first miss, but he'll follow. And now Foster. And suddenly it's Utah all over the offensive glass. Isley in trouble along the sideline. Foster on the run, and Foster contributes a bucket. They'd like to see more of that. Right to Michael. Around Hornacek with the scoop. Bob, he is so powerful inside. He just punishes you. Kukoc with room. Poster tag in for the first time. Malone gets inside position and brings Utah to within one. Isley given room behind Malone's screen. And Utah takes a 19-18 lead. Pippen, his third three-pointer of this first quarter. Scotty. Chicago by four. Utah loses it. And naturally, it's Pippen in the vicinity of the ball. A pull-up three. He's got four. Scotty Pippen is having a monster series right now. See what happens is Pippen's coming down in transition and shooting the three. No one's getting up close to him. You got to get up to Scotty. He's shooting the ball too well. Chicago left Russell alone and he converted the three. Here's Pippen feeling it and banking it home. Morris, head fake, open, cans it. Pippen with 16 points goes to the bench. Kukoc back in. Who coach from Kerr. And it's Chicago by four. Here's Stockton with a lunging jumper that's good. Go right back to that right screen and roll again with Stockton. To Malone for the jumper. They ran it perfectly, but Malone shot it poorly. Loose ball scramble won by Keith, who puts it back in. Kerr can't snap the tie. And Anderson skies for the rebound. But Steve Kerr continues to search for his shooting touch. Stockton on the move, banks it in, and Utah takes the lead. Suddenly, Stockton asserting himself here. Anderson tries his luck on Jordan. Pass to Harper, reverse. Ron's first basket. He played a terrific game in game three. Michael. Over Anderson, who blocks it on him. Pippen picks it up. Shandon Anderson with the block on Michael Jordan. Pippen's turnaround. Misses it badly. It comes to Michael, and he finishes it. That just so dispirits you as a team, Isaiah. You're playing great defense, and you just can't come up with a rebound. From 20, it's Michael. Finally finding the range on his jumper, which hasn't been there for the most part in this first half. Who coach? For Michael, against Russell, up and under, and two to end the half, as only he can. Malone, got it. And Malone came off that little screen, and he sat right in the post, and when he didn't get it, he just moved out two more feet, stopped and delivered it, and he turned it around for the post up Jay. Harper into the lane, got it. Utah's back to within one as Carl has 15. Pippen to Michael, spins into the lane and slams it. You can't dive for the steal, not on Michael Jordan. If you're going to go for that steal, you better be 100% sure you're going to get it because if not, what you give up is the dunk. Malone, stamping through the lane and hitting the hook as he gets the roll. Isaiah Luke, Luke just cannot handle him tonight. Pippen, the head fake on Hornacek. And he connects on the jumper. His first after five consecutive misses. Here is Harper. And Kukoc, the beneficiary of his pass. See Harper's force and stop into that left side of the court again. Keith. And he delivers right there with the pass. And here is Pippen. Does the game turn here? Crowd more into it than they have been all night. Harper on Isley. It's Malone through the lane. And silencing that crowd just a bit. Jordan wants it in the low post against Hornacek. He's got it. And he's got the hoop. 23 for him. 
Russell from Isley over Kuko. Got it. That's a huge shot. It's a two-point bucket. He was just inside the line. 55-51 Bulls. Isley with the four. Burrell from Rodgers. Eric, count the bucket and bring him to the line. Nippon look for a quick two for when he hits the three, Bob. Man, oh man. Isley, can he answer? Yes, he can. With 7.8 on the clock. Harper looking for a long pass, but Utah regroups defensively. Michael, ready to work. Got it. Remember, he was able to rest the entire fourth quarter of game three, then had two days off. There was a practice mixed in, but two days off without having to play. Stockton bounces to Carr, open, and hits. Stockton double team. Finds the open man. And Chris Morris connects on a two out of the corner. Stockton with a good pass to Anderson, and this could be a three-point play. Of the two other members of the big three for Utah, besides Malone, had to step up offensively. Neither has. Stockton does have eight assists to go with his five points. Hundersack has scored only four, and he shot Portland. Stockton now with seven as he was left alone at the foul line. Kerr slipped, and now he's limping. Anderson from Malone lays it in after Harper's fourth foul. Gave Utah the ball on the side, and it's a one-point game with 5.25 remaining. Kukoc is open. But it's short. And Stockton takes the rebound away from him. To Morris on the run. Utah claims the lead. Michael gets the lead back for Chicago. Michael, Anderson alone on him. Jumper over him. Won't go. Rebound Malone. Again, they can tie or take the lead with a three. It's going to sec to the basket. And it's a brand new game with 3.15 left. Anderson, who's done a good job defensively on Jordan. Michael tests it again, and this time gets the hoop. Remember, Anderson's playing with five fouls. Malone into Morris for the dunk as Jordan got there late. Again, a one-point game. Jordan, Anderson leaning on him. Michael spins and scores. Bob, you got to run at him. Right now, they got two guys on the floor. Harper Burrell, you got to make somebody else make a shot right now. Stopped it. To the basket. Knocked away from him, but it comes to Hornacek. Who hits? It's a two-pointer. Jordan with Russell on it. Leans in baseline and misses. Loose ball. Crucial loose ball. Picked up by Stockton. There's a foul. It's on Malone, his third. You know, Bob, so much is said about Dennis Rodman. A lot of the things that occur when he's not playing basketball. And I know, Isaiah, you played with him. But look at the will that this man has to go to this ball. He just wants it a little bit more than everybody else right now. They call it on Malone for pulling him down. And if they win the third row, he's been a huge part of all of it. He makes them both. A 55% free throw shooter who has canned four crucial ones in the last couple of minutes. Malone has to shoot the three. And actually his foot is on the line, so it becomes a two-pointer, which only cuts the lead to five. And Stockton fouls Jordan. That's Jordan's 34th point. And now they just play out the final seconds. Hits a three at the buzzer. It counts. And Chicago wins it by four. The Bulls are 30-2 and two at home in the playoffs over the last three years. And 8-0 and oh on this floor in the finals. This year, last year against the Jazz, and the year before against Seattle. Remember 1993 in the old Chicago Stadium. Phoenix down three games to one. Managed to win the fifth game in Chicago and force it back to America West Arena for game six and potentially game seven. And if John Paxson doesn't can the three, Phoenix is looking at a game seven on its home floor. Chicago fans should not view this as a foregone conclusion. And then Stockton again. He scored only seven, but he did have 13 assists in game four. Malone's first shot is there. Against the defense of Luke Longley, he's shooting 54%. When Rodman guards him, it falls to 32%. Michael's first touch over Russell. 
can't tie it. Stockton grabs the rebound. They've got a three-on-one if they hurry with only Kukos back, and it's Keith to finish it. Bob, great start here for the Utah Jazz. Pippen's back inside for Kukos, and it's Chicago's first basket, plus a foul. Jordan to Kukos. Tony with all five of Chicago's points, that time off a great assist from Jordan. Malone, again over Longley, and he hits two of his first three to echo the earlier thoughts of Bill Walton. I think Carl Malone has got to go out, if he goes out here, with guns blazing. Kukoc inside. Another chance for a three-point play. Kukoc getting off early. Stockton, all kinds of room. And ties the game at eight. Longley. Knocked away from behind by Malone. Good defensive play. Here comes Utah. Stockton to the hoop. See, I like the way Stockton has come out approaching this game. He's attacking. He's their leader, and Utah will follow his lead. Stockton gives it to Malone. Oh, that was beautiful. Scotty Pippen jumped out to try to get over that screen roll, and Stockton crossed him over. Malone slipped it. Now, that's Utah basketball right there. That's, that's the screen roll, and it's beautiful bass. Here's Foster returning it to Malone, getting it back from him, and laying it in. Pippen over Hornacek. Kukoc. Tremendous body control, and he now has 10. Right through Foster's hands and taken by Rodman. Kukoc for the tie. He has all but one of Chicago's points. Hornacek on Pippen. Rodman hits the reverse. See, they're looking to exploit Pippen against Hornacek, the smaller guard. Malone over Rodman. Hits the jumper. And that was an aggressive move. Even though he didn't get to the basket, he put the ball on the deck, made a good hard dribble, pulled up and shot it. That's what he's going to do. Last 20 seconds of the quarter. Tied at 16. Jordan. There's his first field goal. Jordan sitting as the second period begins. Malone over Rodman and got it. This is what he has to do. Pippen against Morris. Isley's on Kerr. Scott Burrell in for the first time. Guarded by Shandon Anderson. Kukoc has been hot. And he stays that way. What a great up and under move. Tony Kukoc gets the defender off his feet. The little lean in. That's a tough shot. Jordan just one of six from the floor. Changes that a bit. Anderson connects on the turnaround. That's been the whole series. Anderson in the block. They go to him, and he's been able to score down there. Five on the 24 as Pippen backs away. It'll be Michael to beat the shot clock. And hit it. I okay, that's what you talked about, Michael. Two field goals in a row. Pippen with six on the shot clock. Michael baseline fadeaway. High archer good. A beautiful rainbow, and he's beginning to feel it now. They swing it over to Harper. He misses off the baseline, and Morris takes the rebound. There's a whistle in the backcourt as Rodman and Malone were entangled, and it's number one on Dennis. Keep our eye on Dennis Rodman. He just grabbed him. Not a whole lot there. He just sort of grabbed him by the waist. I thought Malone tripped Dennis Rodman right sure there. Sure looked that way. Hornacek behind Malone's screen. Got it. There's Pippen. Doubled. Finds Michael, who was stripped. And Hornacek takes it. Ahead for Malone. Rodman racing back. Malone slams it. Uh-oh. Malone gives Rodman a shot. Gave him an elbow after the play. And, and Billy Oak saw it, Bob. Hey, but you know what, Doug? I'm, I'm glad Carl Malone in Utah has finally got mad. This is the first time in five games that one of the players has gotten a technical foul. It's about time to show some anger and a little, a little emotion and say, hey, I'm not going to take this anymore. But well, you see Malone going in here for the fast break. And Amar told us it actually looked worse with the naked eye than it does in this replay. And I think the officials are trying to get control of this game right away. I don't think I would have called that. But if you go back to the last play with Malone and Rodman getting tangled up, and now this play, you see the officials are really trying to keep a tight lid on it. 
Let's go over to Jim Gray. All right, Bob, Jerry Sloan asked Carl Malone during that timeout, was it a foul? He said, no, that's a bad foul. As we watched Michael Jordan go in, fouled by Shandon Anderson. He said, that's a bad call. I didn't even get a good shot in. Bob? Malone, a little bit of room, hits it over Rodman. 14 in the first half for Malone. Hornacek poking at it, but can't take it away from Pippen. And now Scotty wheels to the basket and hits off the glass with the left hand. Malone on Kukoc, all the way to the hoop. 17 points in this first half. Down court to Anderson, trying to get it back, and does just before the buzzer. A huge hoop for Shandon Anderson. Jim Banks, third quarter underway. Malone operating against Longley. Trouble with the dribble, but recovers. Pippen gets a hand on it. Five seconds to shoot. Malone will. And that's the way the third quarter starts. A good sign for Utah, although their offense was not executed well on that possession. Malone continues to shoot well, especially from the perimeter. Carl turns to face the basket. Shoots over Luke. Two in a row to start the half. Harper left alone for three. Harper's first basket of the night. Coming just when Utah was making some headway. It's Malone again. Inside of Longley. Six quick points for him at the outset of the third. Par in the lane. Left hand. Got it. A one-point game. Jordan. On Russell. Into a crowd. Dishes out to Kukoc. He is just on fire. And intermission did nothing to cool him off. And we're back to Malone. Backing in on Longley. Looking for help. Now shooting one off balance. And he gets the roll on it to bring Utah back to within one and give himself 22. Jordan scoops it up and misses. Pippen and Jordan clean it up. Malone again. Count it and one. Stockton to the basket. And Utah in front. Stockton took a tumble, but he's okay. Pippen misses the three. Hornacek back the other way. He pulls up. Antoine Carr has really helped this team. He's given him another offensive player. He's given him a physical presence outside. This is the best win to make it in all night long, Bob. Michael again. Oh, no. That's the foul. That's his first basket of the second half. It's the third foul on Russell, and Michael has 15 for the night. Jumper over. Carl did everything right. Michael just did it better. Kept him in front of him, had a hand in his face. That's why he's the greatest player in the game. They go to Malone, who kicks it back out to Stockton. Carl with the turnaround. Good over Rodman, who fouled him. Michael's given a little room by Russell. Drives on him. And he's got 20. Kukoc thought about it. Gives it back to Pippen. And a sack on him. Jumper over to but the rebound bounces to Longley, who can't finish it, but eventually the tip is there. Malone, who continues to carry the Utah Jazz as they try to stave off elimination. Five on the shot clock. Kukoc for three. Kerr hits the three. Three pointers by Kukoc near the end of the third. And Kerr at the beginning of the fourth. Make it a one-point game. Stockton looking for Anderson. Rift offensively without Malone. That's one way to cure it, though, as Russell sticks a three. Stockton's going to have to carry the load in this fourth quarter because I'm not so sure Sloan's going to trust Isley down the stretch. Malone again. You know what I loved about that? Brian Russell cut through, and when he did, Longley had to step back and give him some space. When they stand, the Bulls can dig and get back to their own people. Scotty. Misses the three. Longley. Cuts it to four. Anderson into the lane and to the basket. Now remember, that's the guy that missed the two critical layups last year that might have won the game here for his team. Game six that would have pushed to game seven. Longley finds Michael. Picks him out of three. Instead, spins it up. Scoops it up. No good. We got out to Russell. Three on two if they hurry. He actually missed it, but it popped up out of the basket and fell through, luckily for him and Utah. And now the Jazz have their biggest lead at eight. Malone into the lane. 
Ow! Doesn't get the roll this time, and Pippen smashes it down. Kerr, win for three! Michael, with room, and no one to do it. They need your advice and give it to Malone. And he has 35. Utah by five. Steals to Longwood. He shakes himself free for the layup. See, now with Malone getting off on the inside in the post, now Chicago has to come and double team. Malone the floor, then up and in. They're afraid to double team because everybody can shoot the ball now for Utah. They've got to stay at home. 37 for Malone. Utah by seven. Here's Malone. Eight on the shot clock. Out to Hornacek. The dribble. Gets rid of it to Carr. Can he hit again? Yep. He's been the man tonight. I don't know where he's been early in this series, but Antoine Carr, if they win this game tonight, will be the key factor. They're up by seven with a minute 50 on the clock. Kukos. from Stockton. 39 points and personally pushing this series back toward Utah. Kukoc will play it in. Pippen, he's had a poor shooting night. Out to Kukoc for three. With five points, five seconds, it's a one-point game. Into Stockton. Stockton gets away. And Pippen dives to foul him, but with only 1.1 second remaining. They couldn't catch them to foul him soon enough. A two-point Utah lead. Timeout Chicago. Bulls ball at half court. In the Jordan. Rip up the headlines. It is very much a series. The Bulls are just four and four on the road in the playoffs, and in fact have lost four of their last five road games against their toughest opponents, the Pacers and the Jazz. Jordan guarded by Russell. Hornacek will open on Pippen. He'll try and post Scotty on him. They go to it right away. Stockton comes over on the double team. Now back to Scotty, and they couldn't recover. Hornacek was left alone with him, and an easy two for Scotty. It looks like Scotty Pippen is laboring as he moves up and down the court. Ahmad told you he's suffering from a bad back. Malone gets his first. 17 of 27 in game five. Pippen against Hornacek. Draws the double. Harper's the guy they'd like to leave alone. Kukoc isn't, but this time he misfires. Hornacek lost it to Longley. Now Pippen has it. All alone, Kukoc. The one thing you don't want to do if you're Utah is get into a quick turnover battle here and give them easy points, especially Kukoc. Hornacek from Stockton ties the game at four. That was a great screen by Carl Malone. Kukoc. You wonder if the Bulls went to Kukoc enough in Game 5. With Jordan and Pippen struggling, Kukoc was on fire but got only 13 shots. Stockton drives on Harper. Ties the game. Hornacek is free but can't hit. Hornacek is now 18 for 46 in the series. Jordan. There's his first field goal, and the Bulls take a 10-8 lead. Utah has not been hitting the threes in this series. Now 11 for 51, around 20%. They shot 37% as a team from beyond the arc for the season. Pippen with the hook. Here is Pippen, out to Harper, open three, missed it. Malone battling Rodman, and it's tipped to Stockton. Utah on the run. But Stockton circles back outside to set it up. You watch Malone and Rodman battling under the boards. Malone's going all out as he runs the floor. They both kick each other a little bit. The referees may clean that up. Jordan for three. Got it. 
Jordan with five. And Chicago with a seven-point lead. Malone on that left block, this time against Rodman. Takes him into the lane. Tries to muscle up, but loses it. Pippen back. It was tied at eight. Now Chicago's on a 7-0 run. Who coach? Underneath to an unguarded Harper, and the Bulls have scored nine unanswered points. So you watch Carl Malone in the low post. They're not double teaming him. They're letting Rodman play him one on one. Consequently, when he goes up to put up the, the shot, he gets stripped. Ostertag and Foster have given them nothing in this series. Good pass from Malone inside the Hornacek, who converts it. R against Kukoc. Jumper over him is good. So they've got to go to that matchup. There's no way Tony Kukoc can play him. He's too powerful down there. Got to shoot it quickly. Jordan Will with a hand in his face. Burrell skies for the rebound. Loose to the side, and eventually it's Utah who has it. Here's Hornacek. A pull-up three. It's Malone. And it's Utah with the lead. Only moments ago, they trailed by nine. Jordan. Rodman on the offensive glass. Wennington, a good look. Wennington will hit the open jumper. Isley bounces to Malone. Tough shot, but he cans it. Jordan over Russell. Tied at 22 with half a minute to play in the period. Malone against Wennington. Off balance, hit it, plus the foul. As Jim Gray reported before the game, Isley has been suffering from vertigo. Apparently not dizzied by the heights of game six tonight. Shandon Anderson with a nice move. Rodman, good pass to Kukoc. Great back cut by Kukoc. All right, Bob, I just found out that Scott, they're working on Scotty Pippen in the back, and I've been told that Scotty says he's telling the medical staff that he is not able to play. So that could be the end of it for Scotty tonight. Bob? Judd Pushler, who may get more minutes as a result, hits the shot from the side. Michael Jordan is also back in. Jordan, in and out on him, and Carr claims it. Carr from Stockton. There you go. There you go. Jordan wheels inside around Anderson. And again, it's a two-point game. Michael has 10. Malone in traffic. Got his own and put it back in. That's that first offensive rebound that you talked about. Malone get it and got two points. Jordan, daylight for three. 13 for Michael. Utah by one. If Pippen can't go the rest of this game, and if there is a game seven, inside it goes to Carr, and he hits the layup. How much more of the load could Jordan possibly carry? He played 45 minutes on Friday night. Here is Tony. Michael springs free and takes the lob from Kukoc. Great roll off for Russell. Faked up and spent off him. Kukoc put it right there for the easy lay-in for Jordan. One a sec. Returns it to Malone. Now has it back in a crowd. And misses. Anderson flies in. Can't hit the tip. Malone, another try. And there it is for Utah. You see, Rodman didn't even try to contest that shot underneath. Malone in the lane. Up and under against Rodman. He's getting such deep position right now in Rodman. The, the Utah Jazz are executing their offense to perfection. Jordan for three. And there's his answer. I think that's his third three of the game. It is his third tonight, and he has 19 points. Malone tries to answer, and can, and he has 20. A Jordan-Malone duel shaping up in game six. Kukoc on the run. He's in double figures now with 10. Kukoc on Russell. Gives him some room, and Russell accepts the challenge and drills the jumper. Utah by two. Here's Michael. He's got 21. I'm watching Jordan, and he's in such a nice rhythm offensively. Everything is coming very easy to him. It's Hornacek. Jordan's the guy they want, even more so than usual, and that's why. 
15 of his 23 have come in this quarter. Stockton from Malone. Beautiful slip on that play. Stockton went across like he was going to set the screen on Longley. Michael relaxed just a moment. He slipped it. The give and go, Isaiah. That was a beautiful play. Malone, the bounce to Russell. Two big assists in the last couple of possessions for Malone. All right, Jim, and here we go. Utah in possession as we start the third quarter. Malone right to work. Out to Scotty with five seconds to shoot. It'll be Kukoc. He has 12. Russell for three. Malone in between two red shirts, pulls it down, and now he and Rodman all tangled up. And it's Malone's turn to laugh and taunt a bit. It's a great hustle play by Carl Malone. You're going to see him. He just wants the basketball. Two Chicago Bulls, and he reaches in there with those powerful arms and just rips it away. The foul on Dennis Rodman. His second. Jordan pulls up and connects. 25 for MJ. This is Scotty out high, immediately returns it to Harper. A little jump hook is good. Along from Hornacek. Rodman managed to wrest it away from him, then Harper takes it. Malone argues that he was fouled. Now Malone got great post position here. He's got to finish this play. He leaves it short on the rim, and then the second effort, he thought he got fouled on the wrist there, and he did get fouled, so he should be upset on that play. Here's Jordan. Off the back iron, Rodman trying to keep it alive. A tremendous hustling attempt, but Utah gets the ball. Malone had it go through his hands, and Rodman takes it. Four seconds to shoot. Jordan missed it just before the shot clock sounds. Rodman battling like crazy, but can't quite hold on to it. Hornacek, he and Malone, Rodman and Malone, and Rodman just trips Malone up. They gotta call a flagrant here. They've got to call a flagrant. It's the third on Rodman. He and Carl Malone, regrettably, are scheduled to wrestle in one of those bogus events next month. Why Malone wants to lower himself to that is anyone's guess. And Rodman apparently wants to start the wrestling now. I tell you what, I love what I'm seeing, the battle between these two guys. They're fighting, giving it everything they got. Both of them are trying to push and shove and gain position. Carl Malone gives them a little knock. But at the end of the play, what I like the most is Malone and Rodman both gave each other a pat on the, on the butt and said, hey, that's the way we play, that's the way we like to play. Here's Pippen. The bad back makes Hornacek's assignment on him a whole lot easier. Left alone, he doesn't take the three. Michael, fade away. See, if I'm Hornacek, I make Pippen make one of those shots. He's really rushing out to, to close out on him. Michael's pass to Scotty. And finally, the tip drops. Rodman gets credit for the basket, but it looked like Pippen was not able to show us the usual body control. Pippen, giving it his best, and that time it was good enough. Hornacek had a good first half and hits this one. They're really making Michael work on a lot of splits. Hornacek is being very active. 15 for Hornacek, now trying to guard Pippen. Scotty splits the defense, can't hit the bank, but Rodman with a second tip. Here's Burrell. He's off target. Back comes Utah looking for the lead. It's Chris Morris. Hornacek in the right place at the right time. You see early offense, they got the shot up, and they didn't let Chicago get back and get set up. And so even though they missed it, they got a chance for a second shot opportunity. Isley hands it to Carr. Huron Isley around Keith's screen. Now he gets it back and hits just before the buzzer. Jordan is the one individual that I've seen in this game since I've played that can carry his team in the fourth quarter even when he's fatigued. He's already played more games and more minutes than at any time in his career. Isley, big hoop for Utah. Tell me confidence isn't an unbelievable thing. This is the same kid we watched in game five who didn't even want to dribble the basketball. Today, he's making some big plays for his team. Jordan against Anderson. He's still Michael Jordan. Rodman drills a 20-footer 
and gives it that go figure gesture. Now remember, in game two in here, he hit that same shot to tie the game. This one brings him within one. Malone hands it back to Morris, who converts on the reverse. Kukoc to tie it. That was a great screen by Steve Kerr. Utah's got to get some movement. Morris to a cutting Anderson who was bumped the basket. A count. It does. Jordan with the jumper. And with 37 points, as Utah falls behind now for the first time since midway through the second quarter. Michael again. Russell takes it down. Stockton has a little daylight. And Utah has a three-point lead. Who coach? Kerr. Pippen in the lane. Connects on the turnaround, playing through clenched teeth. Malone. Rodman wins the rebound battle. That's a bad foul on Malone now because that's the 15th foul. 4.46 left. If he hits this, he can tie it. Stopped it. Five seconds to shoot. It's Hornacek. Malone. They'll bring it back out. The jumper by Carl. Utah back in front. Great patience. Offensive rebound, kick it out, and Hornacek got it right back to him. Three seconds to shoot. Harper's not the guy they want to have do it, but he has to. And he beats the shot clock and cans a huge shot. Stopped it on Harper. Out to MJ for three. It's short. Hornacek pegging it ahead to Russell. But Michael, with whatever gas is left in his tank, gets back to pick it off. Malone, lots of room. Got it. That's their pet play. Malone goes over like he's going to the post and screams for Stockton, and he rolls out and hits the huge jump shot. Gordon spinning, double team, has to get rid of it. Gets it right back from Pippen. Double pump, knocked away by Carr, and a foul. He hits them both, making it a two-point game. Stockton for three! That would have been a dagger in Chicago's heart. Instead, they can tie it or take the lead with a three of their own. Jordan. And a blocking foul. Stockton is down on the floor. Jordan's going to come to the line at Stockton's fourth. Jordan ties it. 50 seconds. Malone. Cross court, Stockton. A three. It's there! Pippen into Jordan. Michael working on Russell. Brings them to within one. They scored within four seconds there. That's how quickly that changes now. Now it puts the pressure on the Jazz to score once again. Jordan with 43. Malone is doubled. They swat at it and steal it. Here comes Chicago. 17 seconds. 17 seconds from game seven or from championship number six. Jordan, open, Chicago with the lead. Timeout, Utah, 5.2 seconds left. Michael Jordan running on fumes with 45 points. This was really the play that hurt Isaiah because they scored so quickly. Michael got in there and scored within four seconds. And what, and what happened was Michael doubled back. You're going to see he's in the play. Look where Hornacek is setting the screen. Michael never clears. So Malone doesn't see him. He comes from the blind side and strips him. So three crucial plays here by Michael Jordan now as he gets Brian Russell with a quick crossover. Look at Brian Russell slips. And Michael pulls up and buries the shot to give him a one-point lead. That may have been. Who knows what will unfold in the next several months. But that may have been the last shot Michael Jordan will ever take in the NBA.
Watch Jordan's left hand here as he gives Russell the push. The referee can't see that. Jordan frees himself up for a clean look. The greatest thing about Jordan is he has all the tricks. That's why it's so difficult to guard him. If that's the last image of Michael Jordan, how magnificent is it? Stopped it. Harper's on him. Behind the screen. Harper got a piece of it. It comes off. The Chicago Bulls have won their sixth NBA championship, and it's their second three-peat. Jackson and Jordan, perhaps for the last time. Michael, you have won this award before, but somehow I have the feeling that this one is more special than all of them. Well, let me say hello to my wife and my kids at home because they desperately wanted to come. I didn't want them to come here today because I wanted to focus on the game, but I wish they were here to help me celebrate. I know they're there cheering, and I can't wait to get home. But to the Utah fans, you guys are a tough bunch to play in front of. You guys came out with a lot of loyalty and respect for your team. You made it really tough for us. Uh, we really, after losing game five in Chicago, a couple of us dread coming back to Utah because we had to deal with the fans because of the energy that they bring to the game. But we had no choice, so we had to come in and play our best, and you guys made it a very competitive finals, and you know it's very worthy to win this. And I, I think of all the championships that we won, this is the toughest. It doesn't get any easier, but at the beginning of the season, this was the goal that you set out for. How wonderful was it to make this into a reality? Well, I tell you, when you start the season, I'm pretty sure every team next year is going to start with the focus of finishing and winning their last game. We started with that focus. It was a long road, a lot of different tasks and little bumps in the road, but somehow we made it. And I think everybody who looks at this year is going to have some lot of, a lot of gratification and understanding and a lot of dedication. There were a lot of times during the course of the season that people doubted the Chicago Bulls, doubted that you'd be able to come back and pull this off. Even during this, uh, this finals series here, people doubted you. How did you guys stay so confident? Well, I mean, this team is, is, is one. Our leadership is strong. Our leadership is, is very positive, very determined, and it filters down to the rest of the players. And we never let anybody gave, give up. You know, we, we believed in it, and, and we kept coming for it. All right, I've asked everybody if they're all going to come around to try to do this again one more time. I would love for that to happen. I think that something's got to have to be determined over summer.